Yo, today is the big day, dude. It's a new phase, man. We got a couple hours to kill. Okay, word on the street is that the phase isn't dropping until two hours from now. So 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. Let's go ahead. Let's start with the rounds, and then we'll get it popping, yeah? What up, odd one? Hey, good to see you, bro. Rotho, hey, P3 hype indeed, dude. Great to see you. Hey, Sonny, good to see you back, man. Hope the game's still treating you well. Thanks for coming in. Good to see you, bro. Good to see you. What up, Nero Lowatup? How we doing? Alasser, indeed, dude. P3 and me. It three, P3 indeed, dude. Good to see you, Alasser. What up, Alyssa? How we doing? Mero, hey, a greetings to you as well, dog. A greetings to you as well. What up, Doc? Hope you're doing well. Dano coming on down. Good to see you, Dano. Good to see you, bro. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Uh-huh. I'm sure you are, dog. Because you're coming in with those big day biddies, man. Hey, thank you. Dog, starting off the new phase in a big way, bro. And we always appreciate that, Dano. Thank you, dude. Thank you. And hey, I'd be lying if um I said I wasn't either. Yeah. What up, Geoffrey? How we doing, dude? Good to see you, bro. What up, Rant there? Hope you're doing well. Davidson, no one is 50 yet, bro. Phase is not even out yet, dog. We got two hours, dude. Two hours. What up, Warcraft customer support? Hey, good to see you as always, man. What up, Gil? Good to see you too, dude. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Double T, a good afternoon to you as well. How we doing today, bro? What up, Nasilla? Hope you're doing well. And Jen, hey, good to see you as well, Jen. I'm going to assume that that was an oopsie. What would Deej do? So I'm going to shoot you back with the points. But regardless, great to see you, dude. Great to see you. What up, Juice Bag? How we doing? A C6. A greetings to you as well, bro. Hope you're doing well. Zesty, hey, an evening to you as well. How we doing? Uh, you got that show helm unticked, bro. Full set. Indeed. Didn't come with a helm, funny enough. Didn't come with a helm. But hey, that's how, that's how it goes sometimes, man. Those Amazon specials. Hey, what up, Just Around? Great to see you, bro. What a boss, man. Good to see you as well. If you were a flower, you would be a damned lion. I'm flattered, dude. Thank you, man. Hope you're doing well today, bro. What up, Hollow? Good to see you. Pudding Tater. I'm pooping. Can you look deep in the cam with those doe eyes? I fear for the repercussions of that action, but I wish you some very pleasant toilet time, dog. How we doing, bro? How we doing? An offinator? Hey, thanks, dude. I'm glad you dig the fit, man. Appreciate it, dog. Hey, hey, rebuy as well. Happy launch day to you, dude. Happy launch day to you as well. What up, Gilthorn? Hope you're doing well. Mancini, pop it off with the peanut butter jellies. Hey, good to see you, dude. Yo, look at that. Look at that. Wait, wait, hold up. Jin got some good health news? Hold up. Got great news this week. Looks like they got all the cancer from the surgery. I don't have to do chemo. I wish I had a really fucking nice sound effect to play here. Like, um, like, like the Final Fantasy boss kill thing where it's like, dun, 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 dun. That, that would have been really good if I had planned that, Jen. But hey, regardless, that's fucking great news. Congratulations on that. I'm incredibly happy for you, man. That's great. Great way to start it off, dude. Hell yeah. Congratulations on that one, Jen. And yo, Dano, thank you for the biddies as well. Wishing Jenna congrats on that, on that behalf. What a bullet fire. Good to see you. Glad you're digging the fit. Same with Pinky. Also a fan. Hey, good to see you, Pinky. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. What up, Daddy Oana? Good afternoon to you. Nice armor. Thank you, Gil. I'm glad you're vibing with it, man. I'm glad you're vibing with it. Okay, I think I got everybody, right? What up, Ted? Hey, good to see you, dude. Good to see you. All right, here's what we got. Here's what we got. So obviously, you know, P3 is dropping today. We're going to get it hot and we're going to get it heavy as soon as it comes out. We got two hours to kill. Um, now, I, I have been perusing the launcher and it looks like we could get in there and actually like do some stuff. Uh, it's probably going to be a live launch. So what we're going to do is we're going to get like in a spot, maybe like, I don't know, Tanaris or Feral, wherever we feel like we're going to quest. Um, I Well, technically, wherever Rested XP tells me to go to tell you the truth. Then, um, you know, we'll get situated. Make sure the bags are good. Make sure the bank is good. Do all the things that we want to do. Meme around a bit. I got some light news to share with you guys today. All good things. All good things. And then hopefully, by the time 4 p.m. rolls around, we'll be ready to vibe, dog. But hey, like always, let's get the day started with that wild, oh, huh? Is EU launch time the same as US? I 
honestly don't know if they're doing a global launch or not, man. To tell you the truth. Does anyone know if they're doing a global launch time? Classic. Let's see. Malfurion has always been our go-to guess. We got another... Damn, we've been having a lot of female guesses this uh, this week. Yeah? So it's not Jaina. Let's go Garona. Ooh, a Kata from female that's a rogue? Valera, but I don't think... Yeah, she's not from Kata. Kata female rogue? Hey, what up, Jubilthon? P3 hype indeed, dude. P3 hype indeed. What's going on, Trish? Good to see you as well. Later stream today, Daddy? I'm feeling so. I mean, that's usually what we do. That's usually what we do. Lily and Voss. Hey, let's get it. I think you're right. Yeah, dude, because they redid Scalo. That's right. They redid Scalo. Hey, thank you, dog. Excellent snipe there. Yo, Trish. Trish. Is that a 14-monther? That's a 14-monther. Yo. Wow, Trish. What a wild 14 it's been, huh? Thank you for just enjoying the memeage with me for that long. Thank you for providing the wholesomeness, and thank you for just vibing and pushing us closer to that partner plus. Parent. Trish, what a what a strange, long journey it's been, but a big dick cheers to you. Stick it all the way through it, man. Thank you, Trish. Thank you. Hey, what's up, Kelly? Appreciate the biddies as well. Wait, what is a, a golden Kappa train? The fuck is that? Trish, I don't know what you did, but you just started a golden Kappa train? That's pretty fucking cool. There it is, dude. Thank you again, Trish. Kaz, hey, good to see you as well, Kaz. How we doing? How we doing? Yo, Pinky, out here sniping as well. Bumping it up to Ingram. Hey, thank you, dude. Pinky, I appreciate you reaching out, sniping them, making sure they can enjoy that stream ad-free, dog. Thank you, Pinky. What up, whatnot? Look at that big armored bish. Hey, that's me today, dog. It's a big day. We got to come in with a big armor. Okay, for today's uh, shot, what is this? Is this a hoof? We get a little bit of blue, but that's it. Yo, Tr coming in with the biddies as well. Doubling it down. Thank you, Trish. Thank you. Thank you. Better donate. Donate for the golden train. Oh, shit, that's rare. What it, What does it do? Thalissa bumping the biddies as well, dog. Thank you, Thalissa. Fatal, how we doing, dog? How we doing? And I'm, I'm thrilled that you like the fit, dog. I got to support Big Daddy Pinky. I thoroughly appreciate that, man. Thank you, dude. And Marrow sniping as well to Jubilee Thought. Hey. Juby's been along for a long time, man. You know they're going to use that sub. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you looking out for him, Meryl. Thank you, dude. What a fourth quarter. Good to see you as well. How we doing? Bits because Jen is stuck with us. Golden shower train for Deej. Yo, thank you for the biddies, dude. Meryl sniping everybody today. I'm all topsy-turvy because of the armor, man. It's weighing the cam down as well. Yo, thank you, Meryl. For hey, fourth quarter as well. Look at that. Thank you, dude. Warcraft coming in with the biddies. Thank you, Warcraft. What a moist. How we doing? And Jen. Hey, cheers again on that on that clean bit of health, Jen. Thank you, dude. I'm right back at you, Raw, though. I don't know what this is. What is this? I, 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 I'm just going to say Rexar because I don't know. It's It looks like a boot. Maybe Varian's boot? I have no clue. Yo, thanks, Holo. What's up, Electro? It was a few weeks ago, but thank you for the gifted sub. Yo, thank you for reaching out to him, man. Thank you, dude. Yo, Meryl slinging the biddies. Thalissa coming in with more biddies. Pushing it to a 93%. Yo, thank you, guys, man. Thank you. Appreciate you guys pumping for me, dog. Deej, is your hair in a comb over because you're losing your head fuzz? No, I just haven't had a cut in a long time, man. It, it, so, whenever I don't get my hair cut for a while... Like, the top half just kind of lays flat. Like, there's too much weight. Loses the, the bump of the volume. You know what I'm saying? Yo, it's about to pop. It. There it is. There it is. That level two, man. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Dano. Kelly sniping as well. Marrow, Thalissa. Thank you guys for the biddies, dog. And Pinky as well. Thank you, thank you. Look at that. Popping on in. I, thank you guys so much, man, for all the love today. Centaur hoof? Ooh. Maybe Bane's hoof? Yeah, let's try that. Well, there's only Cairn. I don't know why, but the... Ooh, this might be a pant belt. You know what I'm saying? 
Like uh, like an alliance belt. I don't know who this would be, though, because this kind of looks like male armor, right? Deej, I'm going to need your phone number now so we can text when I'm having a bad day. Lol. Dude, just hit me up on this, man. Honestly, I check my Discord more than my actual phone because my phone stays muted since I stream a lot. I, you, Discord has actually better to reach me than, than my actual cell, funny enough. Yo, Dano, thank you for sniping Ted, dog. Thank you, dude. Dude, this is rolling me for a loop. I don't know what this is. Maybe Anduin? Nope. This is a glove, though. This might be a dwarf. This might be a dwarf. Or Pandaren's belt or something. I think this is a glove here, which means this is the chest and this is the pants. So it's got to be relatively short. This could be like a black beard of like a big uh, of like a dwarven character. You know what I'm saying? Is definitely Harris Pilton. Unfortunately, not in the logs, dude. Uh huh. Hey, hopefully we don't run that bitch back today, Cass. Thank you for the biddies, dog. Hopefully we don't repeat that uh, snafu, yeah? Bolvar or Tuscar? Oh, I like the Bolvar play. I can see it being Bolvar. Ooh, close. Wait a second. Yo, that's a bicep. That's a Torin bicep. I think. Yeah, because look, here's the broken horn. Yeah, that's a Torin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the broken horn. This is the bicep. But which Torin could this be? Ebon horn? I don't know why it reset. I, I didn't, I didn't hit Control R or anything. Big ribbage. Yo, what up, Deathbringer? Gammon? Ooh. Hey, hey, nice virtue. Nice dog. Gammon, it was. Damn. Good snipe, bro. Good snipe. Yo, Mero coming in with the biddies as well. Panky coming through. D damn, y'all pushing it to level three, man. Thank you guys for bumping it, man. Mero slinging the big dick biddies. We got Trish sniping. Kelly coming up the bits. Hey, thank you guys, man. Thank you. Thank you. That's a weird angle. It's because they always zoom in on the crotch. That's why. And so technically he's like, his crotch would be here. That's why it's zoomed in like that. Very odd. Very odd. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, this or that. Low drop rate. Point, uh, 0.1% style for rarity. Event mounts or earn always currency. Event mounts. Ooh, I'll go for the lowest drop chance. That's what I would do. I think on average, that's going to net me the, the biggest Benny. So yeah, I'll go with the lowest drop chance possible. Because if it's the if you go for something that's an always currency event, you can get it any time. But like a 0 0.1, dude, that's so rare. I'll lock that in. I'll lock that in. And then you want to do some lore uh, on that, Dano? Who the fuck is Gammon? So... There's not a ton of um, lore on Gammon specifically. Um, he's basically just like player lore. But what this beautiful Torn is, is um, he was the only neutral innkeeper, I believe, in vanilla. And because of that, players just mercilessly slaughtered him. Actually, I don't know if he was an innkeeper, but he was a neutral level 10 mob in Orgrimmar in the end. And then again, people KO'd him over and over and over and he just kind of became a, a meme to tell you the truth now he would be remain a meme until cataclysm and the mist of pandaria expansion when they did the siege of orgamar thing we'd find him uh in the raid we would find him like chained up in the back and we would free him i was hoping it would have a little pick of him but we would free him he'd get his axe and then he'd go on a tear after his uh heroic deeds in the siege of orgamar he would then become a venerated member of the of the horde army um he would settle down with his companion his partner and he would retire from being a lowly neutral npc that was spawn killed over and over mercilessly to one of the most iconic members of the horde today that's the lord behind gammon just a meaningless npc but became uh more of a thing because of player memeage there it is though dh wants that drop rate increase so we can finally have invincible it's like, I, I, here's the thing when it comes to rare mounts for me, bro. It, it's like, I, I don't even want the mount to ride it anymore. I just want the mount to have it. Do any of you guys that collect mounts have that like same sort of frame of mind? It, it's like, you have so much nowadays. We all have our favorite. There are so many things that I'll farm for that I know I'll just like maybe mount up once and be like, oh, nice. Okay. 
I, that's that's done sweet and then just never return again yeah invincible would be one of those man because i'm not getting off my fell corrupted hippogriff until that becomes a twitch drop that's still my tried and true that's still my love right i can't i can't dismount that bad boy it's too good um it's too good okay let's go ahead and um let's get all of our to do's ko'd and out of the way yo marrow man Slinging the five gifted just like that, dog. What up, Smug? Indeed, dude. Indeed, man. We are. Good to see you, bro. We got to make our way to org. Yo, Mero, thank you for pumping for me, dog. If anyone is here and got one of those from Mero, please reach out to him. Let them know that you're thankful. And Mero, thank you for sniping all those people in a massive way, dog, and supporting me too, man. Thank you, dude. And the Lissa coming in with the final 500 biddies to bump us up to a, what is that, level four golden trick? Thank you, Thalissa, for slinging in and out of the game for me and keeping that hype train rolling, dude. Thank you. Thank you. To org we go. Boom. Let's get that game sound pumping, too. Damn, what a day so far, man. What a fucking day already. Had to finish that up, Beach, bro. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, dog. Thank you. Has the next band dropped yet? We got a couple hours. Comes out at 4 my uh, four o'clock my time. Did you ever get a portal to spawn with the imp yesterday? I wasn't around. We did. This is what we got. Uh, where did it go? Fuck. Here it is. Uh, fell male wristbands of striking. So it would appear that the bag can have a plethora of things in it. I don't know if it's only like very good low level gear. Cause look at this thing, man. It's level 10 male, three strength, three agi, three stamp bracers. That is really good for low levels, right? Now, I don't know what the range on these things are. I don't know if we're going to be slinging up there on the high end. But that's what we got. One for one there. Yo, and Thalissa coming in as well. Yo, on top of the uh, on top of the biddies, man. Coming in with the five snipes as well, dude. But there it is. Level five on top of that, dog. Thalissa pulling it over, man. Thank you so much, Thalissa. Thank you. One of those subs went to Deej in prison equals loose. Yo, look at the third name on that list. Deej in prison equals loose. I'm so happy they got that sub, man. Now, thank you, Delissa. And Cass Snipe and Purple. Dude, appreciate you looking out for Purple as well, man. Thank you, dog. Thank you. Do you know if the Horde is still locked on Crusader Strike? I don't think so. Deej, is today a longer stream than normal? That's the plan. Oh, yeah. Usually when the big stuff comes out like this, we'll do a longer stream than normal. Of course, if like, you know, I don't know. Like a Toyota RAV4 just rams into my office, we'll have to end the stream. Yeah. So like barring extreme circumstances. Yee. Yee. Uh, ADH, can you start the TikTok stream? As soon as I get caught up with uh, the Twitch stuff, I got to be very, very uh, cognitive of when I start the TikTok stream. Because the first 20 minutes of it are very, very important for the algorithm. If you have a slow 20, it'll suppress the entire stream. So that's why I always get it started late. I have to be very picky and choosy about when I start it. Or else I get punished by the, you know, for the performance. I would be such a good prison boyfriend to Deej. Bro, but like, you don't have to be though. We could be equals. Yeah. We could just be cellmates looking out for one another. Go tit for tat. You don't, you, you don't gotta be my prison boyfriend man we could just be chill and equal why is warlock the pick for a main for p3 um well rogue just felt big bad for me last man minus the pvp stuff um warlock seems to be in a really good spot and we're getting things like pandemic and felguard which are two incredibly strong spells pandemic might make affliction incredibly good um and warlock's got a really really strong pvp uh style at the moment so it's just, I, I just feel like it's going to be a better play this go around. The tank is better. Um, really good talents coming on through. And then the new pet too, I was curious. It might be the imp still, but time will tell. Time will tell. Deidre Breastplate is looking mighty big. Yeah, they really put a lot of padding in this, didn't they? Happy actual birthday. Bro, thank you. It's not my birthday yet. It is my birthday weekend coming up here though. But real talk, memes aside, man, I appreciate you wishing me a happy birthday. Also, why do you hate Alliance? Hey, to tell you the truth, man, I'm faction neutral. I bop around between both. But if a Jeep comes through, we still lie, baby. Now, a Jeep we can handle. I think the drywall will be able to support that bitch. But, um, you know, a Toyota RAV4, I mean, that thing's got some oomph. 
Am I right? So we got to borrow those. Yo, thank you, Thalissa. Coming in for the birthday weekend as well. Thank you, Thalissa. I appreciate you celebrating in a big dick way for, with, with me as well, dude. Thank you, thank you. What up, Grim? Tank Warlock got nerfed? What did they change? Was it, um, because I saw this stuff with the Lake of Fire, but that's all I saw. Hey, Mero, sling it through. Sling it through with even more biddies, dog. Thank you, Mero. Thank you. Happy birthday, Fuzznuts. I appreciate it, King. Okay, thank you, Overdue Cake. Hey, S tier name as well for the occasion. Thank you, dog. It's like a sub only chat. Idea. Yeah, dude. Pretty much everyone's got hooked up with the sub, dog. It's awesome. Need you need to follow the girls on TikTok and copy them. They get a lot of views. I feel like I, I'm, I feel like it's it's a skill issue. I can't do what they do. Yeah, skill issue, dude. Um, for whatever reason, man, I just don't have what they have, and skill issue. That yeah, what what I could I can't I can't hang. I can't hang. They got me beat. They got me beat. I'll uh, I'll concede to that. Because again, I know what I've been bested. I'll concede. Um, we need to make sure that we grab all these two. Oh, what would Deej do? Delete your bank tunes or delete your level 40s? I mean, I'll, I'll delete the bank tune. I actually don't have a ton of shit on there, to be honest with you. Yo, Trish, thank you for the birthday wishes as well, dog. Thank you, thank you. And the biddies popping through. Thank you, Trish. All right, level of priest. Bring the warrior to 50. Which one, guys? I'd go priest. I've heard warrior is um pretty slow. All things consider, yo, dude. Thalissa slinging the big dick biddies as well. Thank you, Thalissa. Damn, pumping it almost, almost doing the entire thing through. Hey, thank you, Thalissa. We ended it. A big cheers to you, man, for slinging a thousand biddies on top of that dog. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Hey, what's up, Roids? How we doing? How we doing? Damn, I'm already horrendously behind. Thank you, Just Round. Appreciate the birthday wishes, bro. Thank you, thank you. And Pinky Slinging Biddies. Thank you, dog. It's a it's a breast issue. I mean, look at this, dude. That's pretty sizable, right? Especially today, bro. You know what? How about this? I, I I could roll it back and see. Yeah, because today, since we've we're we're done for that special occasion, you know, maybe we got some good stats today. We all getting Applebee's this weekend. Yeah, what we sipping on? A little coffee, a little espresso. You know the vibes, dude. Little little coffee. Usually that's all I drink on stream. Coffee and water, most of the time. Okay, I got to make sure that I've got all these pages. Um, we are missing. Okay, we got one. We need four, six, eight. I got eight. Actually, I have an extra eight, but that's fine. There's six, so I need four, right? Boom. What? Okay, must have been a typo. Sweet. I was like, there's no way that that specifically is gone. Next up, we need 10, 11. Okay, I have 10. We need uh, 11, 14, 16. Let me go check the bank. Let me make sure that I just don't have anything lurking in there. Daddy can take us to Chili's. Dude, I fuck with Chili's, man. They got the free chips and everything. I fuck with Chili's. Hola, Deej. Uh, not the Anduin armor that caused Raheet to steal your burrito? Bro, that's exactly what Cass said. Is that all this thing is? Is this just the, the, the burritos gone suit now? Oh god, look at all those like little little boxes. Hey, it is what it is, dude. It is what it is, man. Chili margs aren't that bad, or chili's margs aren't that bad. Never had them. I just like the little chips and salsa gang. You should check your bank alt for the pages. Oh yeah. I wonder if they got sent back. Well, it's gonna take an hour to go through, right? Well, no, I could just return to sender. Oh my god. Uh, oh, how long has it been? Let's just mark all this shit, dude. Oh, God, dog. See, I, I never, to tell you guys the truth. Oh, thank you, Funky. Oh, it's sad that you're deleting the character, but I appreciate the gold, dog. Thanks, man. Clam meat. Shredding operator pages. Oh, greetings, Defender of Azeroth. <laughs> thank you for reporting someone for cheating or exploiting in the game. Your recent actions, uh, or your recent reports of the actions against one or more of the player accounts, 
We can't provide any details, but your reports make World of Warcraft more fair and friendly for everyone. We hope that you'll continue to make similar reports in the future. Stay the course, and thanks for being... Uh, thank you again for helping us make Azeroth a better place. Regards, Blizzard support. That's kind of dope. All right. Hey, we'll take that. Yo, that was probably for that one bot that we bullied in, um, and what was it? Arathi Highlands. Kaz, I think you were, you were bullying it with us, dude. I'm invested in the burrito lore as well. Wait, you don't know the burrito lore? Hey, look at that. We have a couple pages. Oh, yeah, we have a lot of pages. What the fuck? Look at all this cloth. Okay, that goes back. Holy shit, dude. Uh, I guess we can make some silk bandages with this much cloth. Um, that's all fine. All that. I, I mean, do we want to... We could just DE shit. Oh, I'm swimming in all this. Okay. <laughs> Look at all these greens. That's going back anyway. Bro, it's been forever since I've checked my bank alt. Jesus. Yeah, I, I guess we'll just start with all this. Are these shredders? Nope, those are green hills. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm really a hoarder. Like, it, it's actually a big thing. It's not just a meme. I, I have actual problems with hoarding. Look at that. Armor that can defend against anything except the piercing of a pain or the piercing pain of burrito theft? Doll, that's what I'm saying. That hurt, man. That hurt on just like a deep level. It, it, it was one of my biggest L's I think I've taken lifetime, man. We never got it back, and it, but it, we did get our money back at least. At least we got the money back. It could have been worse, right? I guess we'll just start with all the pages and then like come back whenever we want to uh, deal with all these, all this, whatever the, all this is, <laughs> man. Uh, okay. Bang. Take these three, and that should be it, right? Cool. Okay. Now let's see what kind of stock we got. Watch it all just be dupes. We got 10, 11. We need 14 and 16. No, we don't. We No 14 or 16. But that's okay, because I think we got others. So we'll start with that. Boom, 14. Good to go. 16. Sweet. 18, 20, 21, 24. Okay, we got 20. 24. 21. 18. Nice. 25, 26, 27. Got them all. Exquisite. Let's get it. Now, let me check the, uh, wow, wool. Oh, damn. We're hard stuck on wool, are we? All right. Oh, you know what I did? I must have leveled up my, uh, my first date on a, on the rogue. Yeah, that is likely what I did. I don't even know if I have that, uh, the, the little recipe thing on, unlocked on this dude so we need to go grab that too let me grab all the wool at least we got some spare wool hanging around here uh some lol we got more than some Ooh. all right i guess we'll just start with all this huh let's head our way uh let, let's head on down to that first aid trainer take it from there holder hoarder you need help i know dude that mail was sent 31 days ago yeah it's been a hot minute been a hot minute, bro. That customer support is 335 days old. No, no, no. It, it gets deleted in 335 days. That's the idea. I guess I didn't know that, but I guess the uh the customer support stuff hangs around for a little bit longer. Did Josh send you love mail? I wish. I wish. I'm out here reporting everyone that I see trading gold and I get lots of those mails. Hey, doing the Lord's work, man. GG's. GG's. Nah, dude, what's the burrito lore? So on the eve of the drop um p2 i ordered a chipotle burrito bowl because i was famished um and the delivery driver said that they like dropped it off and they did but the problem was they dropped it off at a house that wasn't mine and this basically ensued a two week back and forth between myself and doordash customer support where i would constantly have to call in and explain to them the situation, I'd be like, hey, I didn't get my burrito. They'd be like, okay, we'll look into that, sir. Oh, no, you did get the burrito. Because here's the picture. I'd be like, that's not my house. That's not my door. They'd be like, okay, we'll escalate it to this next, uh, to the, you know, higher up team. They would do that. And then the higher up team would instantly deny it. 
had to do this nine times. But we did eventually get the money back. That's the lore. Deej, can you use the picker wheel to choose me a new tune for all the horde classes? Hey, cash in a point, dude. Cash in that picker wheel. Pull. What is this? Yeah, cash in the spin the wheel. I got you, dog. Absolutely. Wait, did it just auto learn? Oh, nice. Okay, I see. Boom. Next up is 150. Cool. Cool. So we have to wait for the profession shit to go live, right? So we should probably hold off on making things past 150. Yeah, until everything goes up. That's what I'm feeling. We'll make like maybe a light stack or something and just have like on our person. But aside from that, we could just uh, rip it. DJ, I have the exact same problem in reverse. I tend to just vendor everything and then I go, shit, I need that. Hey, well, at least you got the uh, restoration thing, right? Uh, please, dear God, the amount of hoarding you do is driving me crazy. Put all that shit in the auction. I'm working on it. I'm working on it, dude. I got you there, bro. Uh, that shifty bitch Raheet stole the burrito and centrally spanked himself to your live with it while you carried on with the insurmountable hunger pain. Something like that. Something like that. Yo, Franken, eight months. Damn. Eight months, Franken. Hey, what a fun eight it's been, man. Almost a full year at this point. Almost a full three financial quarters, dog. Hey, big cheers to you, Franken. Thank you for the eight months of BDE, dude. Thank you, dog. And the Vita coming through? Yeah, that's weird. I just saw. Yo, thank you for the double biddies, man. You said happy launch day to all you classic Andes. I don't know why. Yo, maybe Brian is a... TTS Brian's a classic Andy Davina. And then he said, nah, I take offense to that. Regardless, I don't. Cheers to you. Thank you, Davina. Great to see you, dog. Great to see you. Thank you. I'm so ready to get home from work and start grinding. I feel it there, dude. We'll keep the, we'll keep the servers warm for you. We'll keep the servers warm for you. I'm about to call Josh and disable DJ's ability to send mail. Well, hold up. I'll fix this, okay? Just, you should give me the opportunity to fix it. Yeah? You can shame me all you want, but I, I, I think I reserve the right to turn this around. Yeah? Uh, hey, Deej, if you're region locked, can you still see people in the same server? Yeah, you can. You can. I know you can always handle it, but when random people make mean comments to you, Deej, makes you want to choke and slam them, half the time I don't see it, and, uh, I guess the other half I tend to ignore. Some, some do kind of annoy me, but I don't know. It's like, it kind of comes with the territory, but thank you, Rotho. Thank you, dude. That's a good point. Deej, you just time to clean out your fucking bank hole. I'm working on it right now, dude. Right now. Spin the wheel, clean up your bank hold, or keep living the consequences of the actions. I don't even think we need to spin. I'll shoot you back with the points, dog. Yo, Pinky, you you said you need one. Uh, how how do we do this? <laughs> Yo, thanks, Davina. Okay, how do we do this? Is, is it all classes, Pinky? Like, what are the stipulations? Yo, dude, the pop off is real today, man. Davina, thank you for the biddies. And, and Link of Thyme as well. Coming on in with the 13. You said got to send the prime love. Dude, 13 months of it, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you, dude. Thyme, I'm just thrilled that you enjoy being here, man. But the fact you want to come over the top like that for me, dog, that hits, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Deej, please choke slam me into an Applebee's Red Booth. Not a violent person, man. I got to be honest with you, Dano. I... Maybe, maybe we could take a, we could take a little ticket on that. Damn. My wife just got me the burrito from Chipotle. Oh yeah. Mmm. Must taste real nice. Must be real. What do you get on your, what you get on that burrito there? Thalissa. Hmm. What you, what, what you getting? <laughs> Jen. No level stuck at 150. Gotcha. Gotcha. I'm just going to make like a, a, a couple of bandages. I've got so much silk, it just doesn't matter. Because I don't think I'm going to start, like, in a city or anything, or near a first aid vendor. I I'll start, like, probably near the Green Hills questing area, turn them all and go from there. Dog, I don't think my system's going to be able to handle that. Bro, I want my first time back at the bees after this spoil to uh, to be in person. I that's what I, I want to do the, the, the first IRL stream like that we do i wanted to be back at the bees man we got to save the we got to save our applebee's redemption arc for a very special occasion yeah i've got to be in there immersed in the applebee's like leveling zone you know what i'm saying that's my goal that's my plan 
the first time that these buds will taste the bees again will be in person, in a booth, with a dimly lit, slightly family-centric atmosphere. That's my plan. That's my plan. So I was looking up some guides, and it mentioned utilizing rested XP. Can someone explain it for me? Like, the, the guide, or, or, or like, um... So you don't mean the guide, do you? You're talking about, like, the yeah, actual double XP shit, yeah? God, look at all these pages, man. Hold up, hold up. Let's, um... Alright, I guess we'll start by selling bandages and cloth. That'll be the next play, yeah? Let me get all this rolling. All these shitty bandages, out the bag. Out of sight, out of mind. Silk bandages. The good bandages. On and ready to tumble. Nice. Next up, let's uh, go fill that bag again and then drop all the shit that we don't need. Like, do we really need these level 12 health pots? No, we don't. Yeah, we'll keep the next the next ones, but we don't need the level 12ers. Like this linen, I'll put on the AH. Yeah. Uh, I will actually keep like the, the enchanting mats and shit because those I... Um, I need to level up the enchanting at some point as well. Go to Dust Malo and learn more first aid. I don't think you could learn. Um, oh, wait a second. No, no, no. It, you could learn up to 225 now. Yeah. Why do I have that backwards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's 225 now, right? It just goes above 225 when it drops. How long do you have to rest here? Or rest there? Um... I, I think it's inst well, the rest of XP doesn't become a thing until um the the stuff goes live, I believe. Like right now, even though we're in the city, we're not really uh earning anything to rest it. See how it's kind of disabled? So uh, I don't think it becomes a valid thing until the ban drops. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. But I believe that's the case. Oh yeah, okay, we'll just sell those. Is that it? Dope. Might take a second to get through all this, but eh. We'll be there. It's kind of asked to find the spot to claim the code and then paste that code in the game's rested XP options. Yeah, I got to go through and re-enable that guide as well. We're going to cross all those T's. What up, Nappy? It is a suit of armor that my mother purchased for me from Amazon.com. It's pretty It's pretty cool, isn't it? Good to see you, bro. Good to see you. Uh, I guess we'll just slap that on there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I know this pains so many of you guys who hate to see me hoarding like this, but it's just like, y'all kind of knew what you were getting into. You guys know this is my vice. I mean, what am I to do, man? I'm just a lowly adventurer who just enjoys collecting things. Yeah, that's it. 225 is the max, you're right, sir. Okay, we'll add that to the list. We'll add that to the list. We'll go down there. Dust Wallow was a very, very nice and chill visit, we could say. Oh, he's talking about retail? Oh, my B, my B. Mm, elemental. Keep the rest, yeah. No results found. Wait, what? It, oh, it's that's thick Kodo hair? Dude, that looks exactly like linen cloth. I bet that's exactly what I did, too, um, when I mailed it to myself. I was probably like, hmm, got some linen here. I guess I'll just ship off. Bang. There it is. Choose for me, Deej. No Druid. Oh, my bad. Um, No Druid, huh? Shaman. I'd say Shaman. Yeah. Lock in a Shaman, man. Because that's like the Horde flavor of the month. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yo, Pinky, I may have missed yours as well. Uh, I, uh, for your spinach. My apologies. Everything's popping off today. Uh, for your rolling of the Horde character, any class okay? Or do you want me to do something in particular? And uh, for all this, man, I just got to get rid of all these, man. All this shit is just like collecting dust in my bank. Like, these are just random boxes, I guess, that I saved for, uh, probably just because I didn't want to even fill them. Do I even want to fill these now? It might be worth, some of these might be worth, I'm going to see how much these are. If some of these are, are, are fillable, I'll fill them. Deej, could chat order you a pizza? Well, I, I mean... I, I gotta be honest, I'm not really hungry at the moment. Usually when I eat, uh, or usually I eat right before I get on stream, like an hour or so before, you know, that way I can kind of go the distance. Um, you know, as 
as long as y'all don't have control on what goes on it, yeah, I could definitely see some, uh, like, anchovies and shit, dude. See, like, I, that, that would be a big pass for me if that made its way on there. As long as I could choose my toppings, I think I'd be chill with it. Yeah. Yeah. As long as I could choose my toppings. Uh, I don't want to purchase that many. Okay, cool. That one's filled. Oh, we do actually have to purchase that many, huh? A lot of silver bars. A lot of silver bars. Uh, let's get another six. Okay, that's good. Two ornate spy glasses, yeah. Three stacks of one. That's fine. Okay, that's filled. Medium leather? I got plenty of that. Or there, there is plenty of that on the auction house, at least. What do we need? 12? One stack of eight? Boom. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just go over. That's fine. Uh, elixir of firepower? That might be pricey. Yeah, that's not getting filled. <laughs> that's, dude, yeah, fuck that. Uh, bruiseweed. Okay, this I could do. Yeah, 20 bruise weed. That I could do. So we got like five. Nine. Twenty. Okay, that worked out nicely. Green iron bracers. Lol. Big iron bombs. Lol. Wait, actually, how much do you get for turning in these big boy shipments now? Didn't they make it to where you get a lot more? Hey, what up, closest? Good to see you, dude. My apologies, too, if I'm missing you guys or getting a little bit late. Uh, getting y'all a little bit late coming on in. It is, uh, I will say, it is oddly difficult to get all the shit rolling with the auction house and keep up with everything. So my apologies. My apologies. Good to see you, bro. That should take it all, right? Yeah, don't sell. Okay, I got you. I got you. Am I missing a silver bar? Yeah, I'm off by one. Wait, what? Did I uh, not pick some shit up? Oh, maybe it, uh, maybe it did that little glitch. You know how sometimes you buy and it's like this auction's not available anymore? The way they drop percentages way down, make the most of what you have saved. Good lookage. Good lookage. Yeah, we'll turn we'll turn it whatever we got here. So that's 15. That's a 30. I mean, I'm pretty uh I'm decently leveled on this dude. Like uh I I'm not maxed or anything. I guess we could save these like or we could just see how many I'm one off. Okay, wow. And then I'm three leather off here. Sure. All right. Dope. How much were the big iron bombs? Oh, what not? Let me get you the guild. Bang, you're good. Oh, wait, hold up. Boom, you're in. Okay, big iron. Oh, that's eight for three. This person knows what they're doing. Boom. All right, let's see how much these are These are to turn in and go from there. Ooh, Gil, I got you with the life lesson. Let me get caught up with everything first. And then we'll go from there. Dope. All right, let's see. Uh, how would we be ordering you a pizza? Uh, if we don't get a pickle on it, just order yourself a pizza. Yeah, I could probably roll with that. <laughs> I could probably roll with that. I, I mean, I don't know. I was just kind of spitball. I wouldn't want to like um, waste food or anything if I, it's like, I don't know, because I wouldn't eat something with like anchovies or something on there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not picky, but at the same time, oh, that's 550. Oh, dude, you make it back. Yeah, yeah, that's five gold, 50 silver. So the bombs, you actually make a profit. Sweet. Okay. Well, that's easy. And then uh, what do we want? Iron green brazers? Yeah, green iron. And there's five of these? Sure. Uh, 
Cool. All right. Well, the only thing that I know I'm not feeling is this elixir of firepower, yeah? Maybe we could let him drop. Those shoulders are best for sure. Hey, thanks, Dom. I'm glad you did the shoulders. Uh, just a thought. It always shows you a bit odd. Uh, oh, I see. Uh, maybe it's the indecisiveness, yeah? That's how I take it. Thanks, Razo. I'm glad you're digging the fit, bro. Thank you, dude. Thank you. No worries. You're fantastic and on a mission. That's what we're trying to do today, man. Detail cute is Sony J's profile picture on Twitch. It's a cute little cat. Very, very cute cat. I agree. It's talented. DJ, forget my spin. All good, Piggy. Uh, any class. Okay, I got you. Let me turn these in. Let me get on a flight path. We'll go from there. Dust wallow is where we're headed. Because then we'll just pick up the first aid shit. And then we'll go from there. I've already got that, that little hub spot, too. So that's perfect. All right. Nice. And I, I know I'm... Well... I mean, in case this does, like, rebound, I'll just throw it in the bank. But I really don't think it's going to rebound, man. It, we're so far, like, down on that. Be from become, It's 15 elixirs, man. That's, yeah. All right. But, hey, you never know. You never know, right? Uh, hey, DJ, 10 hand-stitched leather belts and six brown leather pants. You know what? I'm good for, like, 20 minutes on searching through the auction house for very specific things. I'm on cooldown on that one. Yeah. But I'm down to pound for you. Classic just sent out an update. Hmm. I wonder if it was a live one. Like, if, if I had to relaunch. Yo, Deej, your fit kind of gives Alliance vibes. Seems a bit traitorous behavior, if you ask me. It is an Anduin Lothar vibe. I mean, they just, you know, don't sell thrall linens on Amazon, bro. That's the, that's the angle, dude. Mm-hmm. Be good to see you. Good to see you. So my new job has me traveling all over the country. I think I need to start setting up dinners with guildies in different cities. And if that's the vibe, let's get it, dude. All right, let's do some wheel spinach. Uh, Pinky, you're up first. So any any class for the horde, yeah? So we've got warrior. Well, let's start with the races first because that's easier to spin. Uh, we'll do orc, tauren, undead, troll, Is that, that's it, right? Just those four? Orc, Torrin, Undead Troll? But I feel like I'm missing one. No, I th that's it, yeah. Orc, Torrin, Undead Troll. That, those are the four. Yo, what's up, Marisol? Good to see you as well. Good to see you as well. How we doing? What up, Gukas? Afternoon? Yeah, that's weird, dude. I'm sitting here like, wait, what? Only four? Blood Elf didn't come until Cla- that, that didn't come until Cla- uh, what? The fucking BC. Yeah, we're doing classic spinaches. We're doing classic spinaches. That's the idea. DJ, I dare you to change your PFP to Applebee's logo? I think I'm good. I think I'm all good. I don't want that Applebee smoke. Okay, we got Troll first. So we got Shaman. Uh, we've got Priest, Warrior, uh, Hunter. Let me make sure, dude. Shaman. Wait, let's do like Troll, Classic, Classes. Mage was the one I'm missing. Hunter, Mage, Priest, Rogue, Shaman, and Warrior. Okay. Cool. Those are the six they can do. Those are the six. Let's roll it. Damn, you guys got those on lot. What up, Dabber? It's that piece of change my name to Twitch. Hey, good to see you. Or to, to the Twitch name I want to stream with. Good to see you, bro. Warrior it is. Troll Warrior for you, Pinky. Troll Warrior. Cash in. Oh, did you get in the Cata beta? Looks like a lot of people got access to it. I didn't try. Like, I, I, I didn't apply to it or anything like that. So, unless it's, like, automatic. Nah. Do you get, like, an email notification? Did anywhere, anyone else hear spinach? Like, spinach? Like, spinning? But, yeah, that's, that's very fucking... That's close. Spin it. Yeah. Nice pick, dude. Nice pick. Warcraft, what would DH do? Keep funneling trash and bullshit to your bank and create a mailbox full of abyssal disappointment? Yep, that's exactly what I would do. Mm-hmm. Create a dark hole of despair with infinite items I'm hoarding to oblivion. And then, Gil, you got a life lesson. If you get logged out of your WoW account, how should you deal with it? Um, reset your password. And if all else fails, contact customer support to get back in. Usually, if you have your payment method on file, 
that you have a sub with, they'll they'll help you out. Yo, what up, hot and stinky? Yo, the Lissa coming in too with a gifted the closest man and marrow sniping dabber as well. Yo, cheers to you guys, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you. We can go back for that Morse, bro. Let me get the talk stream started up too. Now that we're nice and not got a little stride, yeah. All right, talk stream, good to go. Good. To go. Hey, thank you again, Thalissa Barrow, for the snipe bitches, man. Send me a DM if you have an account issue. I just need your address, full name, and social security number. Don't you need the full credit card details too? What server are we on on Horde? Crusader Strike. Prasad, Crusader Strike. Boom. All right, where's this dude? He's like chilling over here, isn't he? And then we gotta buy his book. Yeah, there it is. Hello, uh, one book, please. And uh, heavy silk for sure. And we're here, so like I might as well grab the mage weave. You know what? Fuck it, dude. Let's just buy the spirit too. Why not? Why not? Hey, what's up, Gil? <clears throat> Expert. Expert first dead. It's going to take approximately 10 seconds here. Just, uh... Ooh. Just got to read through it, I guess. Skim it. Yeah. Let it do its thing. Bang, there it is. Yeah, might as well. Go ahead and get this ripping, too. Why not? Why not? Sorry, I spelled Hort. Nah, I got you, dude. Hey, we figured it out regardless, man. Nailed it. Mm, let's see what we got. The waylaid... Uh, no, we got you on that one. My fault. My fault just around. Bro, we're gonna need pineapple, Alfredo sauce, and anchovies. I mean, I fuck with the pineapple sauce. Or not the pineapple sauce. I fuck with pineapple on pizza. Um, I like... Or I'm not opposed to having like different sauce bases on a pizza. Like I've had some barbecue chicken pizza with some squirrely ones. I haven't tried Alfredo, but anchovies is definitely where I draw the line. Anchovies is definitely where I draw the line. I can't fuck with that. I don't know, just the fishiness. Like I like sushi and such, but anchovy it feels like a very, very fishy fish. You know what I'm saying? What up, Bobby Deeves? Good afternoon to you as well. I took your advice from yesterday, and I did some research on both general leveling guides and some rogue-specific tips. Hope to be max level and doing some higher-level stuff with the guild soon. Oh, yeah, dude. You'll be right up in there, man. Especially, like, when you, uh, like, have those big XP buffs for, what is it, 1 to 40 range? And then even when you get up here, you'll have 50. Hey, what up, Sushi? You look like me. We're two peas in a pod today, dude. You got a fit, too? All right, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hey, thanks, Blue. Did I tell you that I bought a house the other day? Nah, dude. Really? You bought a fucking house? Yo, grats on home ownership, man. That's a big adult step. Proud of you, Yang. Nice armor, bro. Thanks, monster. The horde race is locked on Crusader Strike. That's odd. I know Sonny was able to correct, uh, create something yesterday on Crusader Strike. That's really odd. If it is, it, it's only temporary. It'll come back up. Ooh, Hollow, you cash in for what really lubes the gears? Mmm. Mmm. The texture of Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles, for some reason, it's like... Like, taste-wise, it's not the most advanced of the cereals, I will admit. But the texture of, like, Cocoa Petals, Fruity Pebbles... Like, a little bit of Rice Krispie Treats, too... I don't know. It, it hits in a completely different fashion than others. It's sort of like, you know how those mini M&Ms are very, very oddly satisfying because they're, so, they're like little, I don't know, they're just bite-sized, like very small. Same deal. That's what really lubes the gears, man. The, that uh, unique texture of Fruity Pebbles. Thanks, HVM. P3 today. And D, Don, you ready? It's at a super competitive market in Cleveland nearby where they're building a new football field. Dude, are you about to get a good view of the stadium? You know what's also wild? I don't know if anyone else saw this, but um, I saw a video earlier this morning where basically the owner of the Kansas City Chiefs was like, hey, city of Kansas City, I would like a new stadium, please, and some upgrades. It's going to cost $900 million or $600 million or whatever it is, but you know what? I, I only feel comfortable paying $300 million. 
do you think we could maybe use some public funds for the rest of it? So they did this big citywide vote and uh, the, the public voted no. Um, but that was kind of wild to me. Like, is that a normal occurrence in sports? Or like you've got these billionaire owners who are just like, yeah, damn, stadium, renova stadium renovations for, you know, a team that I own and, and reap profit from. I don't know. I, that's too much risk for me. I'll pay this amount, though. Come on, guys. This is it's our team. Yeah, it's our. Let's all pitch it. Yeah, that's nuts, right? That is normal. When's the launch? An hours, hour and a half, hour and a half. Go for it, Keegan. Cleveland Browns got a huge subsidy to build it up. That's wild, man. But yeah, all the homes on the market I end up losing, so it's a uh, it's very competitive right now. Yeah, even in my city, it is. It's nuts. What's up, Aminia? We will get a. We'll definitely get me extended for the week. I don't know about the weekend because it's my birthday weekend, and I have some family coming up to see him. So, um, not sure about the weekend yet, but you'll get extended during the week for sure. Bro, you really just trash Fruity Pebbles? Are you serious, bro? That's my favorite. No, no, no. I'm saying Fruity Pebbles is bis. Dabber. Um, that's what. It, if it's a real lubing of the gears, we like it. But if it's a grinding of the gears, we don't like it. Yeah. No, I'm saying I like the Fruity Pebbles. Lil, not me from the KC area. Yeah, they do that all the time here. That's nutty. That's the standard. EA Games are shutting down in April. Wait, what? Okay, that's going to be a bad. We're going to add that one. Good to see you, Kondo. All right, I got that tabbed up. There's some other light news things. That's why the Oilers left Houston and went to Tennessee. I mean, I know, like, if the market is just not, you know, you can't make it because the market's too small. I get that, but, like, fuck. Think the Las Vegas Raiders? Thank you, Jen. Thank you, dude. Hey, what up, Rigel? How we doing? How we doing? He's got the armor on? Indeed, dude. Indeed, man. Well, Dolivar, I don't think that's what it was. It, it, it's, it was the other way around, I believe. Going to 50, right? You got it, dude. You got it. I want that armor? You can get it on Amazon. I think it was like 50 bucks for like the whole suit and everything. What up, Joshua? How we doing, dude? How we doing? Grinding of the gears is irritates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. Stole it from Family Guy. Fruity Pebbles and Frosted Mini Wheats are biz. I do like Frosted Mini Wheats as well. The Chiefs owners pledged to pay 300 mil for the renovations. The total cost was eight to 900. And instead of asking for all that taxpayer's money, so small incremental changes without fucking us all at the same time. It was an additional sales tax, right? That was what he proposed. No, it's because the owners wanted a new stadium and the city said no. Houston should have been able to, well, I guess the city said no. I was about to say, yeah, Houston's able to float a lot. Like the whole, Texas is a state, dude. It's like a multi-team, uh, multi-team market. Like New York. Is phase three out now? We got about an hour. I thought you were Prince Anduin. I mean, it kind of does look like that. Thanks, Villas. King Lane, Anduin Lothar is the official thing. Anduin Lothar. Hype level check. How we doing here? One hour till pre-drop. I'm sweaty. But good to see you, dude. Kansas, Kansas City wants to move the Royals more into the city and away from the Chiefs Stadium. I mean, I, I saw a screenshot of the plan. It, it looked fucking nutty, dude. But I just, I thought that was wild. I, I guess I'm out of the loop when it comes to sports ownership. I really only follow what Mark Cuban does with the Mavericks because I'm a Mavericks fan, but that's it. Uh, D, Josh just posted some pretty wholesome tweets today and last night. Yo, if you want to slap them in reacts, let's do it. Look at or bumping and grinding, man. We'd love to see this. Look at everybody getting ready to fumble in a work. I love it. I love it. All right, let's, um, I guess we can make more silk, right? Yeah, get up to Mage Weave. Yeah, I guess that's what we'll do. Let's get all the Mage Weave out that we got. We'll start with um, the rest of the silk. Keep ripping bandages, I suppose. Up till 210. Let's do it. What's the first order of business in P3 for you? Probably to turn in all of my... Uh, Green Hills of Stranglethorn quests. That's what I'm going to do. And just like go from there. How quick is the leveling? It's a lot faster now that they've added all the, the XP buffs and stuff. I, I don't know of a time frame just because I haven't tested it personally though. But it's pretty quick, man. A lot faster than the normal stuff. Blue Note owners asking for money for the public to become bigger billionaires. It, well, I mean, I get like some subsidies, but at the same time, it's, uh, I don't know. I, I was just kind of blown away. I didn't think that happened, right? 
It just kind of blew me away a bit. Already sweating damn son. Well, it's mainly because of the temp in here. It's a little hot, a little toasty. Because I got the PCs and, and the suit. But yeah, I'm also very excited. So it's a... Kind of a double whammy. Let me get you in the in the guild here, Pinky. Am I tripping? It says you're already in the guild, so I'm assuming somebody sniped you. Did you get a video popping off right now? I even promoted it. So you can help me uh, get some traction. What was the video, man? I wish they would uh, have a little something to like click links and stuff in the talk, but they block everything. Um, like you can't even see shit, man. It's it's very odd the way that they do that. Where's the re is that it? Is that all the mage weave we got? Yeah, I know this is gonna pain a lot of you if we leave this in here. I, I mean, is is this really hurting anybody if we leave it here? Like we we can just deal with the sellage of this later, right? Yeah, yeah, that's kind of my motto, man. Uh, fuck it, I'll do it later. Yeah, dude. Fuck it, we'll do it later. We'll deal with it. Yeah, we'll deal with it later. Yo, what up, clouds? Uh, and the owners of the Oilers, the Adams family. That's that's because it's, it's not the spooky family, but I, yeah, I just thought that was funny. Said that we're bringing in crazy money, build us a new stadium, and the city was like, "Fuck you." So the Adams family took the Oilers to Tennessee. Then, like three years later, they built the Reliance Stadium, and then we just got the stupid Texans. I, I so I get the argument, like if you're bringing in tax stuff. Yeah, but like I could just say tomorrow or later again. You see how that works? I could just keep saying, ah, I'll do it later. And that's where I get slipping. Thank you for the biddies, dude. That future needs to worry about the mailbox. Bobby gets it. Bobby gets it. Hey, thanks, Grim. It won't let me log in. Any issues in NA? I haven't had any problems. Check out my man Bluebird's video. Bang, there it is. Check out my man Bluebird's video. It's like three seconds long. That's good that you're getting traction on a three-second video, man. Because they've been uh, pumping out stuff ar around a minute. So, it, you know... It, it's a good sign. Wait, did you in Tennessee too? Nah, I'm in the Carolinas, dog. So close, you know, similar region. We're both Southeast gang, but I'm more so in the Carolinas. Let's uh, buy some tea so we don't forget. And then, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, regular silk, I don't care about. Heavy silk, whatever. And then, boop. And then, boop. Cool. Okay, this is much better than what it was, though. Look at this. Isn't this so much better? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll even do this. I'll consolidate some of the silk. Yeah. We'll combine the bag spaces. I'm just waiting for the prices to tank and then he'll list. Well, I think actually some of the old school mats will probably go up because less people are farming them, right? Less supply? I would think. But I could be wrong on that. The old DJ, I was doing the old Shia LaBeouf meme. I completely forgot about that. I completely forgot about that. Can we please start to go fund me to get you a portable AC C unit in your room? I mean, I just need to go grab, like, I had one, man. It, it just fucking shit itself. That was the real feels bad. Is that I used to have one. It just... GG'd. GG'd. Um, Alright, that's fine. Do I really care? I mean, is it... I, no more buffs are going to start dropping pretty soon, so I'll keep a, a chrono displacer on me. Let's go grab tailoring. Get that bumping. I saw that cheeky gammon right click. There it is, dude. Yeah. 40 to 50 tonight for ZF on the Hunter. You're just going for it? Godspeed, brother. Godspeed, dude. Server stable? Yeah, it seems pretty chill. I know this isn't retail. Is it regular classic or what? It's season of discovery. I feel like P2 just came out. What's the max level now? Uh, Well, until 56 minutes, it's still 40. But, uh... It's about to be 50. About to be 50. And good to see you, Roach. Do I have to, like, go to a higher level, dude? Oh, fuck. Yeah. We're, like, a master tailor or whatever it is. Uh. Where's the master tailor? Don't tell me it's in, like, Undercity. Expert tailor. Oh, it's a TB. Oh, okay. The, well, there is one in Undercity. Uh, and there's also one at Camp Tarajo for some reason. So I guess we could go out there. 
Yeah. There's also one out in Camp Toraho. How much was the AC unit that crashed out? Um, I think it was like four or five hundred. I think it was like four or five hundred. Um, it was a really nice black and decker one. It lasted me though for six or seven years. Um for a little window unit and uh to to float me for that long. Plus it completely uh I mean it did its best to cool the house through two AC like outages in the middle of summer. Like uh both times like our AC shit itself in July in two separate homes. And uh this thing like literally saved us like from being able to sleep uh at night because it was pumping. So I definitely got my money's worth from it. Anything that we didn't know about uh anything new that we didn't know about so far? I don't I don't think so. I mean, I imagine there's gonna be some stuff that comes out though. All right, Camp Tarajo it is. Boom. There it is. What up, Cam? Quinn is good to see you. How do you get sod? You already have it if you are sub to the game. Uh, to access it, all you got to do is download Classic WoW and then select the uh, servers and then you'll see Season of Discovery servers. You'll be good to go. That thing saved the subathon. It really did, man. It really did. Uh, can I get into a guild and then quit the other? Silly pinky. Yeah, if you just type slash dequit, you'll be a, you, you can quit. Cool. I think I got you. Damn, dude, how's your PC not overheat with no AC? Well, it almost did. I have AC now, but it's like, it's, it's like, a just general AC for the area. It's not like a specific room thing. And like, cause this room is upstairs in a smaller office and I've only got a small vent. So it gets a little bit hotter because of the PCs and the, it's not like it's bad, but it's like, you know, if you prefer a 69, nice, this will be probably like 76 in this room. Yeah. Uh, it's not explained what classes can tank. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it did, man. I mean, what well, showed it more so, right? You had like Warlock, Rogue, and Shaman coming on them in the mix, dude. It was great. Missing lots of P3. I need a nap. Hope it goes smooth and all you pump lurking. Hey, dude. Get the rest, man. That we can truly enjoy it. All right, we got a couple things that I would like to show you guys today, too, while we're flying. Um, you said that Josh had some good tweets. We could start off with that. I'm being told there's an issue with the Blizzard launcher. If you're trying to log in, you may not be able to patch the most recent client build. Uh, completely close the launcher, try again. And then, yeah, do the task manager snafus. That makes sense. I've had that happen before. I sometimes tend to get a bit wistful before releases, the magnitude of which may or may not be directly correlated to how much or how little sleep that I've gotten recently. But with P3 of Sod coming tomorrow, I just wanted to take a moment and express how much we appreciate those that have joined us on this ride so far. Helping us keep this bullet train moving has honestly been one of the most challenging things that I've done in my 15 years at Blizz, but having fun in the game with all of you has been well worth it and worth the lack of sleep. What's really made it worth, though, is the classic dev team. This group is truly special, and it's been such a joy to learn and grow with them. If you've enjoyed SOD or anything that we've done in the past few years, don't hesitate to toss them a follow, uh, or don't, hesi yeah, don't hesitate to toss any of them you follow a virtual high five and some good vibes. Base leader, man. That's good leadership right there. And he talks about the bright side thing with the dual spec. Yep, let's talk about dual specking. Yeah, man, you'd love to see shit like that. Uh, Josh is one of the best... Um, uh, best devs that I've seen in a hot minute in terms of how he communicates with his crew and his team, man. He seems like somebody who's honestly a pleasure to work under. P3 live yet? We got a couple, what is it? Like 30 minutes or so? 40 minutes? I work at HVAC. Tough to isolate a specific room temp? Yeah, it is tough, man. It is. But we're big chilling. I mean, it'll make it work. Oh yeah, man, he's a great dude. He is, man. You can really tell. Down to earth. And that's all you really like a lot of the times, just having a developer to communicate with, I mean, that's all people are going for. They just want a little, little, little conversation, man. And it's cool, too, that Josh responds to almost everyone on Twitter. Yeah? I mean, very, very few devs do that when you look at the industry at large, man. That's a, that's a truly special thing. Excuse me. You're an expert tailorer. Can't you, show, can't you do the... Oh, is it a book? Yo, am I done? Why, why can't um, this guy do expert tailoring on me? Am I tripping? I'll just learn all this stuff because I just don't want it to sit there. Yeah.
Is it just not this expert tailorer that does it? I thought any expert tailorer did it. Do you need the Undercity guy? I thought it was any expert tailor could show to could teach it to you. Really? Huh. I swear it's an Undercity. There is a there, there's a lot of expert tailorers though, but I, I thought any of them could teach you expert tailoring. Now that I'm curious, like let's just go. Yeah, just the UC. Really? Just the UC guy? Oh, you think the artisans teach it? Really? Hey, there's, uh, no, God. Hillsbrad, Taryn Mill. Taryn Mill Hillsbrad's the other dude. Let's go over there. Yeah, just to see. So the artisan trainer for tailoring is in uh, Hillsbrad. Yeah, damn, that's wild, dude. Huh, okay. We'll head over there. It's no biggie. We'll head over there. Need artisan tailoring? The only artisan tailoring uh, that I see on here, apparently, well, no, there's another dude. Wow, that's weird. Yeah, there's a dude at uh, UC, but there's also a dude in Hillsbrad as well. Okay. Damn. Ongle. What would each do? Give bussy, give a bussy birth to a wyvern or a griffin? I think wyverns are probably smaller. Um, yeah, I'll go wyvern. Mm, yeah, I'll go wyvern. Yeah. I feel like that'd be smaller and a little bit easier to pass. I'll go with that. I'll go with that. Yo, grats on that, Meryl. Hey, cheers to you there, bro. Good shit. Good shit. Okay, as I'm flying over for my stupidity, uh, or lack of knowledge, let's do, uh, let's do the next of food. Ooh, all right. For some of you Helldivers enjoyers, man, check this out. Guess what? They added crossbows to Helldivers. This came out hot and ready off the press today in fact three hours ago Helldivers 2 here's the new patch now we're gonna see a litany of upgrades right a litany of new things coming some limp dick like capes or whatever it's but mainly guns and new explosives check it new armor sets that's standard, though. We get those vibes. Looks cool, but we get those vibes. The grenade pistol. That's huge, man. That's huge. You get a couple primary weapons. But wait. Here's the big ticket item. The explosive crossbow dog. Look at this thing. Oh, this is also pretty cool. This thermite. <laughs> it's like a like a spiked grenade. But dude, the explosive crossbow. Now they didn't demo a lot of that specifically in this. So I dug and found a little gameplay trailer or a little gameplay footage on the crossbow. Check this out. Dude, this is going to pump. This is going to be my new favorite weapon for Helldivers. Look at the radius it does, man. It's like shooting mini grenades. And it has a little bit of a fall off, too. Like, if you watch, uh, if you watch the projectile itself, you can kind of see the arc that it has, man. It's got, like, a very, very small arc. But the gun feel on this thing? Oh, my God. Dude, this is going to be nasty. I didn't think I'd be this excited about like the new guns and stuff because I, I saw the trailer and I was like, oh, okay. You got new primaries, right? New assault, right? Whatever. But then I was like, oh, dude, explosive crossbow? Really? I'm sold, man. I'm a glutton for any kind of bow or any kind of crossbow, stuff like that in games, dude. Oh, like that's my cup of tea. I remember in Destiny specifically, the, the, the bow play in that game. Oh, dude, the bows in Destiny felt so nice. And then in New World as well, like I was a big musket bow enjoyer. It just, it feels so good when you can master those like high school curve weapons, man. And you can nail it and go to town. So for you Helldivers fans out there, dude, if you're like me, you're going to love that bow. I just spent all of my super credits on the previous one. So I don't know how the battle pass stuff is going to work, man. They, it could drop a new thing or they they usually they're 
something pretty good about the Battle Pass shit. It, definitely one of the best implementations of it to where it feels fair uh, that I've seen in a long time. Yeah. So hopefully, even if you did roll through, I mean, you shouldn't be too, too far behind. Should be able to get it pretty quickly. I know you did just not call the Memorial Cape of Melvillon Creek limp dick. Well, I mean, it's not that specific. It's just, it, it's like, in comparison to a crossbow that explodes a cape. Come on, dude. Yeah. But hey, in, in the heart, the memorial of the victory on Melvillon Creek. Yeah, that's, you, you get the idea. I'll be three years sober on June 1st. Big grats on that, dog. Big grats on that. Oh, we got another Agron tree for you, Kaz? Okay, one second, bro. Let me get up and fitted. Uh, this, no, that's the CG one. This is the Tears one, one, yeah? What we got? What we got? Uh, so you'll probably get a good laugh out of the pre-story. I'm getting ready for some P3. I wanted to get some quests loaded in. However, I had to go back to the wetlands because I didn't do any of the prereqs for any zone over 24. It'd be like that sometimes, dude. There have been some instances where I've gone back off stream to collect some things that I may or may not have forgotten in the heat of the moment, dog. I feel you on a spiritual level. Uh, Re-items this patch, as there are a lot of them. One thing I wanted to point out before that we go live today is that a lot of the items that are date item stats that are data mined in the last week are not the final stats. Item design in Classic is done largely by hand as opposed to a more procedural design. And as a result, we tend to tinker and test with things throughout the dev process especially when we have sheer volume of items that we've added in this phase. Those incremental changes aren't always reflected in the data mining if they arrive via a last-minute hotfix. Keep in mind that if you uh, make your BIS lists or copy others' BIS lists, if you looked at a Wildhead post or something last week showing off items, chances are that the stats on the items that you saw may have changed, and some might not go live at all. Cool. Uh, another thing to keep in mind, not all items are perfectly optimized. This is, in fact, intentional. If all items have perfect atomization, uh, what would we do in successive raid tiers other than just make those same specific numbers go up slightly? Big true. Seems boring. True. We know what optimal looks like. We just might choose not to do it for a given item. Having some so-so items makes the really good items even more alluring. And that's a very classic feeling. That's a fair analysis. I agree with that. I agree with that. I definitely feel like having a linearity when it comes to gear prog is way better than a step function because you can enjoy that smooth ride all the way up the slope uh, towards the bis item. Whereas a step function, if you just all or nothing on that bis, it's, I don't know, it's less feels goods. Yeah, less feels goods. Love the gear. Thank you, Gramps. I, I appreciate you liking the fit, dog. Should be my next disc priest mong. Play priest for the win. If only, bro. If only. Boom. That's good to go. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? Okay, Kondo. I'm reading the, the article that you just slapped in. This is from about EA. Two EA games are shutting down in April of 2024. Dog, what? What? Kim Kardashian Hollywood in Madden NFL 20. I get recycling or, or I, I get like retiring old Maddens and stuff, but um, I'm very surprised that they're shutting down Kim Kardashian Hollywood. I know this is going to miss like 90% of you guys, but um, as someone who worked in the mobile dev space, when this thing popped off, that is incredibly surprising. Um, let me see if I can find financial data on this bad boy. I might still have access to a database or two. Like sensor tower, maybe. Yep. <laughs> This is why it's surprising. When Kim Kardashian Hollywood dropped in the App Store, it was a smash hit. It was a disgusting hit. In fact, it generated over $700,000 per day. Per day. In revenue. And not only that, but it paved the way for other celebrity uh, collabs to come on down 
in the App Store, too. This was the first one. Yeah. Then we got like Gordon Ramsay doing his thing. But 700 grand a day. How do we go from that to shutting it down? Unfortunately, for fans of EA's games, two titles are shutting down in April of 2024. I get that you, you want to call the huge roster, like bloat's a real thing. Oftentimes, these shutdowns are often coupled with delisting, making it difficult to enjoy some of EA's older titles. Yeah, they'll pull it off the stores if they do shut them down. Um, at least they're giving them some notice, it looks like. Servers are going offline. Uh, there's going to be some sad 10-year-olds that are upset about Kim Kardashian going down. Wow. While Madden will have offline options and modern replacements, Kim Kardashian's Hollywood will be completely unplayable. Let me let me find something else too. Hold up. Check this out. So you would think, I don't know, a seven hundred thousand dollar a day game, it would be pretty, you know, intense. Not really. It, it was like a little idle fashion game. Obviously, you know, the Kardashians were associated, but this is it. You would just go through, you get your little avatar, you model it up, and you conquer Hollywood. You would uh, you know, take various gigs as like a model, actress, whatever, make some bank, buy a house, get in relationships, like pretty much what you would expect out of that sort of thing. But um 700 grand a day. That is disgusting. That is way, way more than I thought it was. For reference, um, smaller projects like Flappy Bird at its peak, Flappy Bird made about 150 grand uh, a day when it was really popping off, like right before the guy took it off the store. Um, it also paved the way for like monetization in games at large as well. <laughs> oh, dude, look at the title. 45 mil. She made 45 million from one game. That's disgusting. 160 million rev. Yeah. Hey, as King Terranus Minithil the Third said, "No king rules forever, huh? No king rules forever." Warcraft. <laughs> now that one's not on the App Store. Honestly, I've never heard of that Kim K game. The majority of you, like, honestly, outside of the target demographic. The majority of you guys shouldn't have heard of it. Um, it, it. It hits a very, very specific audience, but the audience that it did hit, it hit hard. Yeah. I only knew about it because I was very involved in the space. Like, um, you know, when you work closely uh, in, in mobile game dev specifically, it moves so fast that you have to constantly be aware of the charts and performances like that to try and predict new trends, not only in advertising, but in, in like gaming in general on that. And, uh, Bro, I can't tell you how many times I, because I would check it daily, I can't tell you how many days in a row that I would refresh those charts and see Kim K just dominating. I'm very surprised by that. I want 700 grand a day. That's nuts, isn't it? Absolutely nutty. Absolutely nutty. I saw a TikTok of Amaranth being interviewed, and she was talking about how she's made over 100K alone just selling her farts in a jar. What am I doing? What, what am I doing, dude? I need to start farting in mason jars, man. I could at least, like, do what? $10? If she's doing 100K, not including the bath water or anything else that she does, which basically means that she makes more farting uh, in a fucking jar in a month than I made in a quarter century of working my ass off. Just feels bad, man. Hey, I, I get you, dog. You know what you tell yourself? Don't hate the player, hate the game, man. I'd be farting in jars, too, if I could sell that many. Do you think she actually rips ass in them, though? Or do you feel like it's, like, artificial farts? Like, think about how much you, you have to fart to sell that much, right? There's no way you could do that at scale. Even if you're ripping Brussels sprouts every night, it, I, I just don't think it's biologically possible. So it's got to be, like, like, the bathwater I can understand, like, how you could produce that at scale. Because it's, like, a 55-gallon tub is standard in the United States. But, um, I don't know how you fart in that many jars, man. I don't know how you fart in that many jars. I hate the Kardashians so much. It could be used, uh, to power most of California. Bottle that energy, dude. <laughs> Let's get it, man. Play the game before it shut down. I played it before I, 
eh, I'm, I'm good. It's again, it's not for me. And I only knew about it just because it was like dominating in that space for so long. It was one of those anomalies, man. Okay, you hear about something that makes that kind of headway, you're like, the fuck is that? I gotta look at that. I gotta check it out. It's insane. Okay, that's good to go. Um, when can we make bolts of mage weave out of curiosity? Because we got bolts of silk, right? I think from here, I I've pretty much done all the things that I've wanted to. I might just head on down to STV now. Yeah, I think so. That's 175. Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. Cool. Artificial, if you will. There it is. You could have made so much more money, Deej, but you never listened to your audience. We just wanted to see your titties. You're right, man. I just, I, it's my trump card, man. That's my, uh, that's like uh, in case of emergency break glass. Like if I'm really short on rent or something, we'll, we'll do like a nip stream. That, that's, I, I, but we have to like save that to where I really need it. What up, doctor? Bro, have you seen White Noise on Spotify? 1.5 billion plays? I haven't, actually. But that's insane, dog. I mean, talk about records. Um, I think the biggest record that was just broken was YouTube's 24-hour view count. If anyone has heard about that, oopsies. Uh, if not, I'll give you the lowdown real quick. Basically, for April Fool's, Discord made a little cutesy video about how they were going to add loot boxes. And what they did in order to, you know, advertise this is... They basically embedded the video that they uploaded to YouTube in the app itself. So when you launch Discord, the video would automatically play. Now, when you embed a video, it's kind of like baked into a site, a sort, a sort of thing. And so you would think that embedded views wouldn't count on YouTube. There would be a way to invalidate it. Nope. Nope. I believe in 24 hours, this thing got close to a billion views. A billion. The closest was GTA 6 trailer that came out a couple months ago, I think that, uh, that did around 100 million in, um, in 24. Nutty. I know some people in YouTube are, are sweating, man, because they, uh, <laughs> oh, dude, think about how much money they, they would end up losing on that video. Just as a April Fool's, man. Oof. Heck, I can't even fathom enjoying that fart process. Yeah, I feel like you, you're just, like, pumped like an animal. Yeah? You're just, like, eating a bunch of gassy foods just to you know, get the byproduct and GG. <laughs> like, yeah, man, it'd be a, it'd be tough. It'd be tough. I use Twitch to fund my bean eating fun. I've been doing it. Oh wait, since I've been doing the jars, it's my whole life now. Yeah, I just there's it's it. I kind of want to buy one for science, but like, there's no way. Like, dude, Jess is gonna see that, right? We live together, and uh, bro, I just don't want to go there. Because I'm, she's gonna be like, "Yo, what's this?" I'm be like, "Um, there's a, there's a, there's a woman that streams on Twitch and she sells her farts, and I bought that. That's a, that's her fart. I bought that. I don't, I don't think I can explain my way out of that. Even if I'm like, it's just for science. Like, it's just because I, would, we were, tr we were talking about whether or not those are real farts or like fabricated farts. She's not gonna fucking buy that. Yeah. No. No." Indeed, Gramps. You're right. Hey, hopefully. Hopefully. So all this talk is just going to lead to a DJOF account I'm in? Maybe. Maybe. I own a nice knife company. It's called Slicego. I sell knives uh, to my employees, and my employee sells knives to other people. But they are, it sounds like the, that's the Cutco Pyramid Scheme, dude. Long John, can I interest you in um, maybe some, some makeup? Or how about some essential oils? And perhaps a new nutritional drink? Or a tea that makes you lose weight. Any of those products interest you at all? Belle Delphine or Amaranth? Amaranth, I gotta give it to her, man. She's really, uh, I mean, dude, she's really smart. Like, um, the way that she talks about how she, like, invests her money in various things. I mean, she's over here playing Blizzard stock. Like, she, she's buying the dips on, on Blizzard stock before WoW expansions pop off and cashing in. Week one, season one. I mean, I gotta give respect to her on that play, man. That's that's well done. That's well done. Does the research, man. I think she used to own a bunch of, she either used to or currently owns a bunch of gas stations too. Jess would want to try it. What do you mean? I don't think it'd go over well. I think, okay, if Jess comes on here, you guys would have to ask her, so it's not like my idea. Hey, what's up, Marisol? If you guys, okay, if Jess comes on here and you guys remember to ask her and y'all ask her and she says it's fine, 
Hey, Friar, look who it is. And she says, it's fine, I'll do it. Hello, sir, hello. Don't forget about the Tupperware and... Tup, Tupper, Tup, oh, yeah. I forgot about the, of course. Forgot about the, good look. Good look. Belle is new to me, a streamer? Um, I don't think she, <laughs> I don't think she's a streamer. Um, she broke the internet because she was the first person to like sell her bath water. And she made like a million or something off that. Friar, did you just... Godspeed, friend. Godspeed. But yeah, I, th I remember that was her claim to fame. She like sold out of her bathwater in minutes. Okay, Deej, after Season of Mastery and now Sod, what if the next thing is Season of Silly? Which is just Ascension-style randomness with spell selecting and stuff. I wish I could play Ascension. Uh, I would. If I, uh, I, I would if I could stream it because I think the roguelike element to it is really, really cool. Like the opportunity to custom build like a hybrid class where it's like arcane spell hunter or like oh, there's another like a like a witch doctor or like a dark ranger, that kind of stuff. That's really exciting. But at the same time, it, it's not worth the squeeze because they ban people whenever uh, they catch you doing that. So it's a big rippage. I was mortified. I ended up. Oh, cl damn, that's awkward as fuck, closes. What would Deej do? Deej, let's say that you tell us to do something in front of Jess, okay? I blindly follow your advice and she gets genuinely upset and says to block me. Uh, are you fessing up to blocking me or are you blocking me? I mean, there have been some people who have been like pretty like malicious and she is not like played that card i don't think she would do that unless you literally like were spamming the chat with obscenities towards her and, and at that point i'd be like what the fuck dano i'd probably like if if you upset her to the point where she like uh, pulled that card you probably have already like way crossed the point where you've upset me and so i would have probably blocked you already by then dude <laughs> just straight up yeah so i guess i guess we'll go with that yeah it just depends on the genuine genuinality of it. But if you're like memeing around and she took it the wrong way, I would explain to her like, hey, dude, that's Dano. Dano's memeing about like, I don't know, some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's been 20 years. Retail characters should start balding. Dog, what if your character aged with you? Yeah. What if you like started and you created like a, like a youthful teen full of life and then fuck. Fast forward 30 years, man. We're balding. We got a reverse halo. Man, little, little pot belly. Carpal tunnel, early onset arthritis, like, list goes on and on. You probably answered this before, but do you think Sod is the future of WoW, or do they need a full-on reset? Um, I don't know if there is one future for WoW anymore, man. Because what all of these new game modes have shown me is that people enjoy playing the game in vastly different ways. But at the end of the day, what people like isn't the nuts and bolts necessarily of how the game is executed. It's more so just the general... Wow, IP. People like that base skeleton, that base package. You could put all sorts of different bells and whistles on it. You could wrap it up with all sorts of different wrapping paper. But at the end of the day, it's that base foundation that people really enjoy, right? Um, I think that's, to tell you the truth, man, I think that's the future of WoW. Um, World of Warcraft is a product that has a huge audience, millions of monthly players. And when you have that big of a reach, it is impossible to custom tailor something that hits everybody. And if you take a middle ground, no one is happy, right? So I think the devs are starting to realize that. And they're starting to realize the power of developing certain versions of the game for certain communities, certain types of players. That, I think, is the future of WoW. Having, um, having a, a product that is developed in tandem, um, you know, with a desires of its specific communities right whether it's classic retail sod whatever the case may be that's a true end game yeah because then you know you could you could actually put in the game what people want because think about classic players they want something completely different than retail players and then vice versa and it's like well no one's wrong for liking the specific version of the game right and i feel like blizzard now we're at the size where they could just do it do both so why not let's do that let's do that Hey, what up, Cheesy? Yep, you got it, Red Wing. Half an hour. Half an hour. I played DF. Um, 
it said three to five years have passed, and I can't even tell. Yeah, dude, the time, like, in the game moves a little weird. Like, year zero is, uh, is the dark portal snafus. The EU servers are down, same for the USA. US, USA is up and moving, man. USA is up and moving. Let's go over here. Ooh, I guess we'll try Swamp of Sorrows. Yeah. Mmm. Okay, if I do Swamp of Sorrows, I should start in Booty Bay first. Because then I'll just cut up this way. Boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, let's... Um, well, I could just, it, it's a flight path, right? Well, still, technically, it's faster from Booty Bay. No, because... If you take the flight... Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm overthinking it. I'm overthinking it. Among Us WoW Edition? I mean, as much of a meme as it is, I do think some cool little mini games like Plunderstorm or the new Pandemonium thing that's supposed to be like a PvE Vampire Hunter thing. And it could be really cool. Could be really cool. Boom, your tune looks like your DD tune. I, I've never had that much fun in a character creation screen ever. That was awesome. Yo, what up, Jason? What do we get our first person shooter CSGO type of game in Azeroth? I don't think they'll try it again after no, the Nova uh, Ghost canceled. Starcraft 1 and then, you know, Overwatch 2. I don't think we'll get that genre, but I could definitely see us getting something that, um, like, like uh, some sort of like micro experience, like Plunderstorm. I have a migraine today? That sucks, dog. But I figured your beautiful voice could help. Dude, that's a huge compliment because when I get migraines, uh, somebody breathing in another room angers me. I can't even hang. So I'll see what I can do with it, man. I hope I can help. Makes sense. People enjoy the world and the characters more than the original MMO formula. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And it's just like, man, you can't fault anyone for like what they like. At this point, it's like, man, we, we just got to design around what people are into now. Retail is home for me. Always will. I've played since release. Been here since BC. Yeah. Retail is one of those things that I always look forward to, especially when new expansions come out. I've had my account for forever. Uh, I'm incredibly nostalgic over it. I'd hate to get rid of it. Like, yeah, it just... One of those things. One of those things, man. I'll save my... Uh, well, I'll go ahead and rest, I guess. It's a little bit early, but whatevs. It's not that big of a deal. Go ahead and ZZ it up. Park it here for a bit. I agree with you on that. I don't think that there is a... Or there is one future for World of Warcraft anymore. I think it's going to turn into a Warcraft IP the same way that people think of Lord of the Rings as a whole, and then they will just do different games within the IP. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's a smart move, too. We will never have the glory days of MMOs back. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think... What I do think is that MMOs have failed to hook the youngest genre. Like Gen Z, they're already off on a completely different design trend um, that is very, very counter to MMOs uh, design trends. They're looking for more snackable experience uh, experiences. They're looking for those uh, faster dopamine hits. Things like, you know, Valorant, for example. Um, Fortnite. A lot of shooters, but a completely different, or, or yeah, a completely different set of, of games from a design POV. Now, that's not to say that, like, you know, it's done and, and over with, man. I mean, trends pop up and are born and die all the time, right? Um, we could certainly have like the next generation get sick of those and then people start wanting something a little bit different and then MMOs over and then it kind of cycles back, right? It just, just depends. But yeah, no, I feel what you're saying for sure. Each being a Blizzard dev working 80 hours a week just so you can make Volpiras thicker. I honestly, dude, I, <laughs> there was a time where I really did want to work for them. Um, I, I was scared after I, I got really scared to apply after talking to a, a, a Warcraft producer at BlizzCon in 2019 um, he, he said that you, you end up seeing the team more than your own family. And I was just like, oh, dude, I mean, I love WoW and I'd be such an honor to work at it. But like gaming is already like developers are, are already underpaid relative to the hours that they put in. You're expected to basically like work, work yourself rampant during crunch periods of time. It's like it, it's viewed as a labor of love. Um, and it's just, yeah, it scared the fuck out of me, man. Real talk. Scared the fuck out of me. 
Some streamer was going over the substats last week. Right now, WoW is the same number of Legion between 7 to 8 mil. However, it's split fairly evenly between Classic and Retail, unlike with Legion. That was just in Retail. So basically, uh, two games with half the subs. Not Yeah, exactly. And it's like, that's totally fine, right? That's totally fine. Um, Where's my... Where's this at? Yo, I don't know if you saw Minya, but I did um I did a big soapbox thing last week on it uh and put it up on my YouTube channel. We did the same thing. I, I went through and and talked about that that all those sub the the sub numbers uh that was leaked all over GDC man. Got a it's a, got a juice video for you if you're interested. But if you already got your fill, I get you there, dude. But yeah, it was cool. I'd love to dive into that sort of thing. Go to the plague lands. I'm gonna be capped, dude. What does the sleeping bag do? It gives you this little well-rested buff, increasing your XP by 3% for two hours. I'm so far from a WoW expert. However, after playing TPC Wrath, Era, and Sod, it's all about the same thing to me. I need a WoW therapist to sort this out. No, I mean, honestly, TPC Wrath, Era, Sod, yeah, they're, they're kind of... Um, they'll follow very, very, like, old-school WoW design. Um, for a lot of people, there are a couple different eras of WoW. The first era ends at Wrath of the Lich King, right? Uh, the next era is like Kata, Mists, Warlords. Then the, the following is Legion, BFA, and uh, Shadowlands. And the Dragonflight is the start of a new one, supposedly. So some people say you put DF in the others, but yeah. Um, so TPC Wrath era, so all that, is, it's kind of the same sort of vibe. Unironically, think you could pull off a mean Anduin cosplay? I just gotta have blonde hair, dude. Thank you, man. Thank you. So is Shaman worth playing in PvP? I've heard it's really good, but I have no idea. I haven't played it yet. Are we ordering from Raheet tonight again? We may. We may have to for the memes, man. Honestly, if you guys are talking about this kind of memeage, man, we, we may have to rip it. Bleach blonde uh, hair would help. I used to have blonde hair, man. Long John, please. You want me to yell, I need some thick bulb ass to bounce my 7-inch softy monkey -a come to join me. All right, there it is. There it is. Why 15 years on? Do I still have to spend 10 minutes fighting the stupid ads in the Gothic Encounter and Nax? Oh, dude, I hate that fight. I hate that. I know exactly what you're talking about. Deed certified sniff a moment. Thank you, Azrion. Thank you. Th thanks, buddy. I don't even know if they're they're here or not. It's, it'd kind of be better if they were. If they're not, fuck. Kaz, what is it? You got a YouTube vid for us? Swifties removed video? Dude, I grew up on Swifty videos, man. I grew up on Swifty videos, bro. I, I, I remember his whole, like, gaming house. I remember when he moved. I remember when he used to take fans to Universal Studios. I grew up watching this dude. I remember when he got the, the, it was such a big deal when he got the thing with Razor. Him and Athene, man. Th those were two of the OG, I think, WoW creators. Him and Athene, man. You guys kick, I'm, I'm okay at the moment. I, are you, are y'all all on EU? I'm totally big chilling. What about Nimvids? It rings a bell, yeah. That rings a bell too. <laughs> it's Deej. Deej grew up on black and white tv no no i did have an old school tv though in my room um like it was a big boxy looking ones you know audio wait what's wrong with the audio there's something something up with the audio i wasn't having anything weird with the audio on my end was it coming through weird standard blizzard uh they're cheap and greedy i'm i'm totally okay man to tell you the truth I've had no issues getting on. Um, I, I We read that one tweet where Agron was like, yo, if you're having issues, restart your Battle.net launcher, quit the, all the task like stuff for, for Bnet and the task manager and go from there. But you've been on for a while? That's very fair. That's very fair. I did, Friar. I did, man. That was biz. You ever watch the guild? Yeah, dude. We watched that during the subathon. I got the flying carpet from the Easter event on my fourth try, but my buddy Rage quit for today. Grats on the carpet, bro. Grats on the carpet. I logged in, but there's a notice that they're having issues. Yo, yo, yo. Speaking of games, though, I saw this. Check this out. This game is literally dinosaurs 
but with swords. Okay. This dude, apparently, he has been working very quietly on his own on this game for two years. With the premise of it's blade-wielding dinos in their mouth, okay? Check out some of these animations. Look at this. Like, so what, what these are is th these are various finishing moves. Um, so like, you know, Mortal Kombat finishing move kind of thing. That's, that's the style that these are in. Yeah. So let me roll this back and let's get like some Skyrim music going instead of like copyrighted rap. That'll get me smacked. Watch these. Yeah. We got the Spinosaurus slinging around. This is sick. The Ninja Raptor. The T-Rex with the butcher, like. Bro. Blender animations? I don't know how we made them. Yo, is that a T-Rex with a chainsaw on its head? Hold up. Yes, that is what that is. It is. And he's got chainsaws on his tiny arms. Oh my god. I'm already sold on this game, bro. Oh! Did you see the raptor with the bow? Like, okay. We talk about wild gaming hooks this year. Yeah. I've said this time and time again. Power World was really successful because it had a great hook. Pokemon with guns. Dinosaurs with swords. Also a great hook. I feel like all this guy has to do to get this thing like out and, and so, like I can hear the money coming in. I can just hear his Steam account going ching, 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 ching from all the game sales if he finishes the game. But uh, so, so far how this is going um, from what I have gathered is he is a solo developer. He's originally an animator. This is his YouTube channel. I'll link it here if anyone wants to check it. Um, but he didn't even like set out to try and make a game in the first place he was an animator by trade and then after he put out a couple of these like you could kind of see i think this may have been his first one dino sword spinosaurus combo attack people started encouraging him to make this a game and he's been steadily grinding ever since um this looks like a little like demo for it now keep in mind like dude it's not even an alpha this is i'd i'd be generous to say that this is like a step beyond a proof of concept but dude's been going ham at it for a i mean look at the combat for an early stage like for just an internal test and just to see if this is cool I, yo is that a fucking tiny dining with a pitchfork it is it is imagine th this to me really rings like the crab game you guys remember the crab game with all the different weapons same sort of vibe man I really hope this comes out because I think this could be tremendously successful if the developer takes their time with it and, and makes the, like just delivers and it's cool and it's like bug free. But this is obviously a test. Like, keep this in mind again. He's just like uploading footage and shit, but like just the hook on this alone, I'm already, I'm already like, yep, I'm going to follow this. Like, bro, how could you not look at this thing? It says Dorothy on the blade. Is that the dino's name? They all say, Do look at this thing. How could you not, man? I bet he's got investors hitting him up like crazy. Bro, if I was a big publisher for Steam, I, I would be spam calling this dude. Like, where's this thing at? You know what I would do? Where's the timestamp? Seven seconds in. Uh, the Ninja Velociraptor animation with this. Yep. I'd have his ass on speed dial, dude. I'd be flying out to the offices. I'd be buying him Roots Chris. Like this right here, dude. If he delivers on the, the premise of the idea alone, and it is decent quality, it, it, it runs well, and it's fun, it's going to be very successful. The hook is wild, man. The hook is wild. In the best of... Like, dog. <laughs> like, dude. God, that I know I'm glazing this guy hard right now, but like... How can you not with shit like that? How could you not?
But I don't know. I saw that, dude. I wanted to show you guys because we love talking about other games sometimes. And, bro, that is one of the coolest things that I've seen in a long time. In a very, like, that is... Yeah, dude, imagine this game's with dinos looting some Glocks and AKs. I mean, they might stick to medieval theme. Well, I don't know. They had a chainsaw. I don't think, I mean, he's got a bow. I don't think a crossbow is too far out, to tell you the truth, bro. I, I think we could see a little crossbow action coming on down. That wouldn't be too far to left field. And I mean, we saw yesterday too, or the other day, what was it? Russ with ducks. Like, bro, this next gen of game developers are killing it with these hooks. Are you talking about the crab champions? I think so. It, it was just a, a crab PvP game. It was dope. 10 minutes, we ready to fling. We ready to fling. Looks like only a problem with the logins are on EU. That sucks, dude. Damn, that really sucks. Oh, this animator is dope. Have you seen him before, Long John? Dino Swords, if you will. I, I think he's got a title for it. Um, what is he calling it? Dino Blade. He uses the, the phrase Dino Blade in a lot of his videos. So maybe that's a working title. Maybe he's already like registered that copyright. Dino Blade's a pretty, that's a pretty good name for what the game is, dog. Yo, what up, Dap Boy? Uh, we've got eight minutes before it turns live. Eight minutes, man. Like, I don't know, that's like a little $25 thing. Looks like problem. Oh, no, we got you on that. My fault. Some people are having big cuddle parties in Fairless. Lamau. I invited someone to cuddle with, but they didn't go for it, so. Big rippage. Big ri Suddenly the Horde actions, he's, dude, I know, right? Going from that high octane, like, mmm. Mmm. That's, it's, that's dirty. Are you going to run over for some XP? Um, I mean, if, if, if y'all have a group that is up and you guys like need a tank or you need some, a body, I'll come to a Nomer. Um, yeah, I probably won't join one from trade though. But like if, if people need me to fill, need, need a body to fill either tank or whatever, I could do that. Yo, what up, Polar Bear? Good to see you, dude. Let's see that log. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. The majority is here in uh, Stranglethorn. We've got two random things in, in Dust Swallow that I just didn't do. Uh, I've got the Stoli Shipment, Hinterlands, and then Mark the Exile. So pretty solid. And then we're about to go uh, deep dick all the green hills of Stranglethorn Quest right here. I'm off after six. Wanted to run it. Maybe we could do a guild group. Yeah. Sounds good to me. I, I mean, uh, if there's, I imagine six, I mean, a lot of you guys probably get up around the same time, at least if you're East Coast gang, and um, hopefully that'll give the server some time to stabilize if they're not doing so hot. Seems like a good, seems like a good thing to shoot for. I'm down to help if anyone needs me. Yo, what up to a bar? And likewise, dude. Nazoth sees all. Hey, good to see you too, man. What was the name of the first character that you ever created? I think it was Spartivinus. I think it was Spartivinus. And it was a druid, a night elf druid, because um I was big into I think I just saw three hundred as a as a kid, so I was really on a three hundred. I just like the Spartans, yeah, that's where I was. That's where I was. when Turek is lost, Dino Blade, great hook. Did you see Hazito's quest log? It's ridiculous, lol. Nah, I didn't, man. I didn't. For me, like my strategy with this thing was I just wanted to get it to a spot that was like you know. Like, like, oh my god, these, these spalders are fucking me. I wanted to get into a spot where I was like, you know, I had a decent amount of, of stuff to turn in. Um, and just roll it from there. I certainly didn't min-max it, yeah? I bet it's nutty. Uh, oh, I forgot to do the rest of the thing. Hold up, hold up. I knew there was something I was forgetting. Automate quest, good to go. Um, add-ons, where's my rested? Let's, um, turn this on. And then I guess we can start at the Swamp of Sorrows because that's one of the things that we haven't done. Uh, let's do speed run. Hmm. Northern Strength or Dust Wallow. Oh, there's Badlands. I guess we could... Oh, damn. I guess we could go to Badlands, right? That's fine with me. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah, I guess we could do I guess we could do the Badlands. Sure. 
I don't think I did, I've done that on this dude at all. Yeah, no, no, no. I've got a lot of shit I can accept. Yeah. All right. Cool. We'll go for it. I suddenly feel like the Easter egg hunt is going to kick off. Oh, yeah? It is really cool, man. Let me check Wildhead. It is really cool. Because I definitely want to try and get some of the runes early. I got to make sure that I have my little explorer imp out, too. There's some really cool things up for grabs, I think, on this go. Ah, uh, nothing yet. Yeah, nothing yet. But I know we got some big, uh, some big boys dropping. Would you consider them spalders or pauldrons? Ah, uh, to be honest with you, man, I don't know. I don't know. They're made out of, they're pretty bulky, but they're also made out of plastic. You know what I'm saying? What would you think? What would you want to roll them as? Cool. We're good here. Man, dude, the pumpage is real. I'm fucking... God, I, I love release days, man. It's so much better when I can share them with you guys, too. It's such a different vibe. As someone who's always done, like, been a part of, of releases, man, it's a different hype feel when you're sharing it with, with people that, that you just genuinely enjoy being around um versus by yourself man it, it's just like i don't know it, it's like uh being in a part like like watch parties for like i don't know if you'd like to you know do nfl shit or nba stuff or i don't like get together we'll all watch the bachelor or something it's like that same sort of vibe man yo speaking of shows i watched episode two of that nickelodeon documentary quiet on set last night the fuck y'all weren't kidding you guys said it was gonna get worse it did i don't get it I genuinely does it and I'm sure it gets worse than episode two. But like, what the fuck happened, man? I, I like I get that um Schneider was the 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 golden child and he kind of made Nickelodeon, but dude, at what cost, man? Like, how does that how how does so many people turn a blind eye to that shit? Like it, it you had the parents of the actors, like first day on set. Realize something was up. I waited in front of GameStop for the Wrath release, lol. I wish I was just so young. I couldn't take any part of those midnight releases, man. Hey, thanks, dude. I'm glad you like it. The full fit. Uh, full set? You got it, man. You got, I got the, the, whole, the whole nine, dog. The whole nine. Uh, kudos to you. How you rolled the gap before P3. It was cool to not hear moaning and complain. Oh, yeah. I mean, what are you getting? Yeah, it's, it's just like, we knew this was going down. I mean... I had a couple things I want to show y'all in the interim. Yeah. I mean, we're all going to be here together, right? Might as well have fun, memeing. We're all in the same boat. I'm not one to complain unless, like, it's really, really bad. Or I'm just in a mood or whatever. Yo, Kinetic. Damn, dog. Look at that. Yo, tier one and eight months, bro. That's best. That's throbbing. Hey, cheers to you, man. Thank you, dog. Thank you, Kinetic Dad, for all the support. He really was, man. And it, um, it really makes you wonder why the fuck they made the Nickelodeon logo a foot. Like, did he really, really, like, what? Why? P3 Hive, indeed, dog. What up, Sinister? How's it going, man? <laughs> Some pickling actor, dude. You think so? I don't know, Mara. I haven't looked into that as much. Is the armor hot? I'd be sweating bull. It's a little hot. It's a little hot. What up, DJ? Uh, the gear drop for Nomer last night? Nah, Amazon, man. This was a Bezos drop. This was a Bezos drop. My warrior is going to look so sexy in the PvP set. Let's get it, dude. When Wrath came out, I took two weeks on vacation to play it. I was so young when Wrath came out, man. I, I had no agency over my own schedule. I remember when Mr. Pandaria came out, I skipped class. Um... Obviously, by the time I got to college, dude, I was I, I was skipping class for like, you know, Legion, Warlords, stuff like that. Like the first day, for sure. Honestly, the first week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good times, man. What would DJ do? Can't log in panic? Uh what what it why can't you log in? Let's start there, bro. Are you getting like a just a generic connectivity issue? Is it like the launcher is freezing up? Do you feel like it's more of a server side thing or do you feel like it's like your client side? Two minutes until our lives are changed forever. Two minutes until everyone's off of the races, dog. I remember for Wrath, I was working at a gas station 
and the manage uh, management of the game crazy uh, across the street used to come in to buy cigarettes at my store. We got to talking, and I told him how disappointed I was that I couldn't get the collector's edition. He set one aside for me on release. Damn, what a G. And so many people were in line that were so pissed watching me walk out with that thing. What a fucking G, man. That's what. That's, that's a cool memory, dude. Two heads deep, love and life. Got the day off, so just enjoy the day. That's what it's all about, man. Servers are down, I get in the queue, then get disconnected. Honestly, dog, all you can do is keep trying. That's like the best, that's the, the best case. Um, you could keep trying and hope that it turns around, or you could take a little break and go do something else. But that's all you really can do. I guess it just really depends on your sanity. When Cata was, was released, I stayed up so long that after that, I went back to school for two days after the release. The bags out of my eyes were so bad that the teacher thought I had two black eyes and that my skipping was actually my parents abusing me. Oh my God, dude. Damn, man. That XP bar just opened up? Nah, I think it's a, I think it's still chilling. I think so. I don't, I don't know. It was like this yesterday. We still got technically what? Well, no, it should be good now, but uh, there's this. Oh my god, why is it always start? Why why is it already start? Can't we just all turn in our quests, man? Okay, bro. It looks like there's some people who are chill, but All right, let me turn all this on. Bro, really? Okay. Oh, cool. That persists through death. Sweet. Mind's up. We live. We in there, dude. Let's get it. What up, JJ? Want to hear something crazy from back in vanilla? Shoot, man. What we got? What we got? Well, I guess, uh, thank God that, 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 that the uh, well-rested thing doesn't go away. I was about to be big tilted. Okay. Cool. There's there's two free lows. Quest log full again? Wait, what are we uh, full with? Ah. Yeah, we're not doing the, the those elites, man. That's not happening. Same deal with the Panther Mastery. That thing is going to get got before anything even happens. We'll drop those. Wait, wait, do we need the macro thing? I forgot how these work. Okay, I got it. Forgot how those work for a second. Cool. You just turn them in directly? Yeah. All right, sweet. Damn, I don't know why that was so hard for me. Lol. Which one am I missing? 10, 11, 14, 16? 10, 11, 20, 25? Uh, I guess I still have two in the in the bag. Yikes. I don't know how I missed that. Let's go back to Grom Gold. Let's grab those bad boys. Micro, then macro. Dude, it was a cluster with everyone over here in the camp, man. I, I, at first, I was like, man, people should be uh, done and, and out of here with STV. Nope. Mm -mm. I was sorely mistaken. What I will do, though, just in the off chance that it's over here, is I will go turn in, or I will accept the uh, tiger one. I think back there is over this way, right? Nah. I could have sworn he was. I guess I already did the tiger one, too. So Because we, we could either do the, the raptor or the tiger, or the panther, excuse me. Panther one's uh, on this one. I don't think we'll get that, but we might get lucky and get the Raptor. Let's see. I love STV. Dude, same, dog. Same. Three minutes and not 50. I know, dog. You and Cass saying the same thing. The entire lot level 41. I guess I'm just bad, bro. That's to tell you the truth. I guess I just suck. I, I I know you expected me to clear, um, what was it? I know, ST by now. Full bis by tomorrow. But, uh, spoiler, I might, I might not make that timeline. Hey, what up, Joey? Yeah, yeah. New release literally just came out today, man. It's a uh, season of discovery phase three. I got proof to this day that I skipped two months of school playing WoW. I got uh, 
three months of county jail, a judge toward me like an adult because I was 17 and emancipated? What? What was the charge? How did he, what did he stick you with, bro? Huh. Truancy? What is, I've never heard that one before. What is truancy? The action of staying away from school without a good reason? Absenteeism? But I thought if you were, for skipping school, if you're emancipated, like, like, I, I get uh, slapping, like, negligent parents with it, because, like, you know, they keep you away from school or whatever, or restrict your, I get that, but, like, if you're emancipated, does that, is that still a thing? Oh no. Oh no, it's one of these it's one of those quests. Holy. That's a BS. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like I, th I thought that was more, you know, for the parents, not for the actual like person. Nice. Oh. Wait, do we get it? I can't tell if we got it or not. Oh, they're on him. Oh, never mind. I got it. Okay, we got the pendant. There's Gromgol there. And then we got a couple speaking quests. Okay, cool. Yeah, I guess we could KO these. They're, might as well, right here. Unless it gets, like, too hot and heavy. I kind of feel like maybe people are going to ball out and, and not stick around in STV for too long. Like, people are going to mad rush to the new zones, right? So we might actually find some hidden density over here. Oh, yeah, Robo, good luck on that. Good luck on that. I was living with my buddy's mom. No, I live in Texas. They charged me like an adult because I was over 17. And my parents didn't help. Damn, that's wild, dude. I never would have guessed that. I never would have guessed that. My town has a truancy officer who drives around looking for kids skipping. I think this is out of the statute of limitations. I, I skipped a fair amount. I mean, I thought they just like hit you with an absent. And like, yeah, if you got like three more than a couple absences or whatever, you, you know, you had to do makeup days or, you know, you suffered some consequences. But I didn't know you would go to jail. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, weird, I guess it's by state in Arizona. It's 616. That's the truancy they could be hit for? I guess so. Yeah, I was in the Carolinas. Anyone have access on EU? Any EU enjoyers? P3 is live. You got a GTO. Judge gave her a choice, and she told them to put me in. No two full months, like nonstop. That's wild, man. How's the bandwidth in, this, in the country? Sounds like uh, three more months of straight while. Yeah, you get some uh, private time. Yeet says, are the Battle.net servers down? I'm okay. Um, I've heard that they're having issues, but uh, I'm okay at the moment. I, I I know EU is going through some things, but uh, but I'm okay right now. Hey Nessa, did my sub just go through? Because I got a notification, it didn't. Uh, but it's showing like I have it. I'm not seeing anything on my end to tell you the truth. Like um, like I'm looking over here in my in my log of things. Where all the like listed notifications are, and I'm not seeing anything on my end. But regardless, if it's a processing time or whatever it is, thank you in advance, man. Nessa, I just appreciate you being here and meme with us, regardless of whatever we're getting into, dude. The fact that you want to go over the top and not only sub here but continue the long term sub, man. I mean, that's truly best, man. Thank you in advance, Nessa. Despite the failings of the processing stuff, I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. So you skipped school, so the judge just took you out of school for longer? Not sure that that worked. Yeah, that is, you know what? That's a good point. <laughs> I didn't think of it like that, but you're absolutely right. It's like, yeah, punishment for uh, skipping school. Uh, we're going to physically make it so you can't go anymore by putting you in jail. The mal. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Yeah, that doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Uh, who are we looking for? The Fleet Master Seahorn. I don't think that's the dude there. I think Fleet Master's upstairs. Just cleared ST again with a pally tank. That, yeah. Wait, no, no, no. You're not talking about sod, yeah. You must be talking about uh, the 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 OG ST, yeah. Godspeed, dude. GGs, man. Get anything good? Uh, does CS have a queue? I don't know. I I just was on. I have no clue, man. 
Yeah, it's crazy. It was before Christmas. My teacher sent me all the schoolwork. Oh, well, at least the teacher got you with the schoolwork so you didn't fall super far behind. Isn't that good teachers? Good teachers on that. You got to turn it upstairs, big tour new. Good luck at you, man. You always get turned around out here, bro. See, that? like, that's up there. <laughs> Spamming that nips command already, dog. Did you got to fish your commands, dude? I know, bro. I know, man. What can you do? What can you do? Here he is. Hey, buddy. Got, got you a little turn in just for you. I ran a special errand. Just logged in to see us. No problems. Excellent. Excellent. Tell us the truth. Do you have any secret commands like Easter eggs? I do. I think there are two. Um, I think there are two secret commands. So play to this day, my man. Hey, same, dude. I haven't played since 07. No drops, but some good XP. Nice, dude. Hey, that counts, man. That counts. We'll take it. Let's go back to the sea wolf. Hey, almost 41. Look at that. No big sad, no deej, no bis. There are some secret commands. It's not BS, no off rip. I like that you guys are guessing things that I say, though. That's funny. That That's actually pretty fucking funny. Um, how's a coastus? BD East, that's the yeah, dude. All my isms. Uh, it'll respond in kind if you get it correctly. Kim Car that would have been a that, that would have been a very timely command, wouldn't it? I missed more days in high school than I actually went, and I still made salutatorian. Have I had worry about police uh stopping me for skipping? I skipped a couple, but um I did like makeup school. Did you guys have makeup school? Where it's like you could stay, I think it was like an hour and a half or something like after like traditional school hours. It wasn't like detention, um, because it wasn't like a punishment thing, but like you basically just sat in a room until like five o'clock and then they're like, All right, yeah, um, this counts and you're good now. Like you can make up missed days. <laughs> Don't I mean it doesn't make sense, like because obviously they're not equal, but hey, I fucking I mean, that's just like study hall, dude. It's like, I'm doing my homework anyway, fuck. You're a beauty esthetician? I don't know where we got that theory from. That's a cool one. No, I'm not a be. I don't even know how to describe, like, what I want a hairdresser to cut my hair like, man. I have a picture that I've saved and favored in my phone that Jess is like, I like your hair like this, and I'm just like, yep, this is what I want. I, boom. Do this, please. And that's all I do. I use that same thing every time, man. I used to skip the class before lunch, so my lunch would be like two hours. Dude, I, I remember my senior year, we would have these things called, um, well, there, there were two things you could get if you wrapped up all your credits uh, to graduate. You could do early release and late arrival, which is basically like there were four blocks, and uh, so you could just like not have your first and fourth block if you had both. And then you could also like, for seniors, they would let you TA a class. And so, like, you could TA, like, classes that don't really need an assistant. You know what I was the TA in? Weightlifting. I was the weightlifting TA. Yeah, dog. I, I, I literally just, like, wiped the machines down, like, for five minutes and then just used it as a study hall. And then you combo that with, like, late arrival, early release. I had one class. <laughs> no, one class. Dude, I, it was a great last semester. No, I did nothing. I did nothing. Can we get a small hit at the secret command? Let me see if I could do it without giving it away. Hmm. Okay, I lied. I'm sorry. Um, I don't have the secret command anymore. I used to have a secret command. Um, it, it, it was, uh, fuck, Kelly knows what it was. I think it was like, um, like tough titties or something. And it was basically like a thirst trap. But like, as soon as it got to like the payoff of the thirst trap part, it just like transitioned to a dude's face that was like hyper zoomed in judging you. That's what it was. Yeah. That's what it was. My, my B. My B. I don't know when I got rid of that. 
I, I must have like gone through and called it. Nice gaslighting, Deej. My bad. That's on me again. My, not my intent. I, it it did exist. It just you know, yeah. Rick roll liar. Okay, yeah. Let me have it, dude. Let me have it. Hey, what's up, Hunter? How we doing, dog? Kim teacher would always ask me if I'm coming to class today or not. Yeah, I had some of those too, man. But it's like, those are the cool teachers you got to get a relationship with. And like, they knew you did your shit. As long as you stayed on top of your workload and like weren't, weren't an ass and not a bother to anybody, man. Those teachers, they were cool. They were cool. Love the fit teach. Thank you, Carissa. They were so gun ho uh, about being absent in Wichita Falls too. They put parents in jail here for the kids. Dude. I really didn't have that much of an issue in high school, but in college, they were fiends about being absent, especially in the general education classes, like your prerequisites, like the bullshit classes that didn't really have anything to do with your major. So like dance 101, dude, my dance 101 professor was such a stickler about uh, attendance, three attendances or, or three classes missed. She would drop you a full letter grade. A full letter grade. And then every subsequent miss after that was another additional full letter grade. And she was literally like at the start of the class, she was like, listen, this is how it's going to go. I don't care how many absences you have. I don't care if it's a death in the family. I don't care if it's excused or unexcused. Three absences, that's all you get. I've had people coming to me saying that they, they can't have this happen because they're going to lose their scholarship. And I've looked them in the face and been like, sorry. And denied them. Brutal, man. And it's like dance 101. Like, I get it. I, I guess it, I kind of get it if it's like, I don't know, um, algorithmic design seven. Like that, yeah, you probably shouldn't miss that. But dance 101? Wild. I don't know if that's any other anyone else's experiences, but yeah, that was mine. My friend's stepbrother's uh, place got raided by the FBI for something wild that he said on Twitch. Wait, what? Really? I guess they're listening, man. I better watch what I say, dude. Better watch what we say. Ooh, polar bear. Hit us with a uh, good one, stream boy, for a wild lore fact. Something super interesting. Please and thank you. Ooh, I see Sonny Cash for this or that as well. Coffee or an energy drink. Dude, I'm a coffee guy. I can't do energy drinks because for some reason, they really hurt my stomach. Um, Like, say, you, you know, like, uh, what is it called? Monster. Yeah. Rains. Things like that. They just, um, they really tear my stomach up. I can't hang with them. The closest that I can get to an energy drink would probably be Celsius. I can handle Celsius is fine. Um, but bar those, I'm definitely a, uh, a coffee drinker myself, man. Hey, what's up, Gork? In college, I had this TA girl hit on me in history class. Fast forward, she became my girlfriend. Yo, what a fucking story. Then we broke up the following year. Sorry, dog. I ended up being a TA my senior year, and that's how I found my next three girlfriends. The circle was complete. Hey, look at that, man. At least we had a good ending, yeah? What uh, what class? Oh, history. What kind of history? Was it like American history? Was it like, I don't know, like 20th century shit? Deed should have dicked down his dance teacher. Nah, dude, the dance teacher was dicking me down, bro. She was hard as steel. Pause. She was very, very cold. Um, First of all, uh, she ran the entire dance department of the university. Bro, she called the shots. Um, she, she basically was pulling off snazzy embezzlement because here's what you had to do to pass the class. Number one, you had to buy a textbook. She wrote the textbook. It was $125 and it was 80 pages. Okay. Number two, you had to attend um, mandatory uh, outside of class dance performances there were four of them um they uh, the ticket price was not included in your tuition or your registration fees for the class um and she starred in all of them she was the the main dancer in every single one and i you had to go to all four and you had to write papers on it and glaze her up like oh you, you fucking your turn and and act three was just bedazzling man the the your poise and you know ballerina pose number seven really was was bar nut like you had to glaze her up to get a good good grade um and i went to these things man i went to all four it's thirty dollars a ticket uh, bro nothing but students 
books. And there were, this was one of the big classes, like just in my class, 300 kids. She was raking it in, raking it in. Hey, what's up, B? Celsius is toxic. Is it really? Fuck. Wait, like, like, what do you mean by toxic? Like, toxic, like a Big Mac is toxic or toxic, like radioactive? Smithoos. Same. I'm such a coffee dude. What's your favorite? Um, my go-to is Death Wish most of the time. But I'm not going to lie, man. I'm, I'm a little Starbucks girly at heart. That's me. Now, I'm not going to drink all the things at Starbucks. Like, I, I get it. It's, it's kind of pricey. And, like, their normal black coffee isn't the greatest. But their cold brew, man. Buy me some Ugg boots. Throw on the latest Taylor Swift album, man. I'll be in line for that cold brew. I love it. Starbucks cold brew hits for me. Art history. So hot hippie chicks. Oh, bet. Okay. Yeah. I get you, dude. Good game. Good game. Deej feeling up that hard as steel horizontal hula style. No, she was like 47. She was, she was, uh, well into her adulthood. This dance teacher wasn't clever. That's for sure. Didn't know how to figure out how to make dance one-on-one -on -one fun. We did a uh, spoiler alert. I, I took this cause I thought it was an easy A. It wasn't, it was actually the hardest class that I had that semester. And there was no physical dancing. It was all PowerPoints and like the history of dance. That that's all it was. Um, what not, dude? Yeah, nah. There there was nothing else. My senior year, TA for history had a massive crush on me. Apparently, me being oblivious, wild nerd, I had no idea. That's how actually, I kind of got with Jess. Fun fact too. I I feel you on the obliviousness there. Uh, the week after her semester ended, like six people asked if I ended up getting with her, and I was super confused until they spelled it out. Yep. Same shit happened with me, man. That that was my play. Um, like just horrendously oblivious to the world around me and uh advances around me. And um it definitely hit like a certain demographic really hard because it was like me not really understanding like that that was a pickup, like drove them crazy. Like I had this one girl dog, um she I, I we we had a, a PE class together. Um and I was on the, the basketball team. And so we would basically like, there was like a, like they called it like PE two or whatever. We'd really just play pickup the entire time, but she was in there dog. She literally asked for my sweaty shirt after we played asked to keep it. She's like, Hey, can I have that? It's like, I really like your shirt. And I was like, yeah, sure. I took it off and walked away. I was in high school. I just took it all handed to here you go and left. The fuck, the, but it were it drove her it drove her insane because that was a as she she was like she, she was good looking she got a lot of attention usually like a lot of people would hit on her and, and I guess when I pulled that move unknowingly she it just really I don't know I guess it, I stood out so yeah but it, it I, I wish I could say that was strategic but I just didn't know what I was doing. Dutch Bros cold brew chai or half chai half white chocolate mocha is a game changer. I've heard good things about Dutch Bros. I've heard good things. Hey, what up, awesome? How we doing, bro? Happy launch day. I'm seeing people spamming SM. I'm like, been there, done that. Did you prequest at all? Yeah, I did a couple of prequests. I did a couple of prequests. Um, I had what like like 19, 18, something like that. A, a decent amount. That was a good call. Who asked for sweaty shirts? That's what I'm saying, dude. It literally made no sense. Base. D each riz equals no riz. Pretty much. Reverse riz. Join the queue for the next sweaty shirt. Fresh out. I'm fresh out of those, man. She took the only one. What can you do? That wasn't that. Yeah, dude. I, I wish I could say that was meditated, but it wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah, whatnot. You get it. You get it, dude. All right. So, something really good, lore oriented. Um. Interesting fact. Hmm. Let me see Polar Bear. What have been researching for lore videos recently for the new TikTok pops? Um, oh, man. I feel like there was something decent with the Blood Elves or the High Elves, but... Mm, nah. Nah. Mm. I'm gonna have to ponder a bit to, to find you a good one because I feel like I, I researched something pretty recently but I'm completely drawing a blank on it man my B 
Uh, Tobar, you want to join the queue for DJ's sweaty boxer shorts? Noted. Noted, King. The boring was about the disc. No, I get, I get you closest. Yeah, and I feel you there, man. It wasn't my favorite. Um, my fa <laughs> my favorite class was actually um. Well, I had a couple. I really like business law a lot. I found that pretty interesting. Um, we had this one financial analysis class where literally the entire class was you pick a stock and you analyze it. Um, it had to be a publicly traded company. And the professor was really good. Like he was the past CFO of like a big bank. And so like he knew what the fuck he was talking about. Super knowledgeable dude. But basically we'd pick a public company and he would show us how to analyze their financial documents, right? So like the profit and loss stuff, financials, balance sheet, all those things. And I picked Blizzard. That's a lot of why I liked it, but it was just really cool to have somebody that high level, like break things down and go through. Um, and then I had an algorithmic design class that I really liked too. Those were probably my top three. Bottom three was uh, Dance 101, um, Golf, because I sucked at golf. Like the, it was, it was bad, dude. I'm, I'm trash at golf. Um, and probably like, Mm. probably like environmental science yeah biology no nah, i didn't take biology i took chem i took chem have any issues yet no issues at the moment oh nasty what about you dude sell sweaty shirts like farts in a jar bro i wish man i wish sip nah dude i just uh didn't want to take physics because i always had a bunch of, i already had a bunch of math classes I'd take like vector calc and stuff. Like I, I just, I was like, dude, I need something not math oriented to just like survive. Deej, try taking one student, uh, father, see if it works. Okay, good looks. It does. Yep, it does. I mean, is there really like, I don't know. I gotta just want to slap them all now. But no, it, you're good. Yeah. Good look. I completely forgot I had those lying in the bank. Lost in the excitement. Golf is a college course. Yeah, it's one of those bullshit courses like that you just take for credit hours to like keep your scholarship, which is kind of a wild concept, man. Like uh, for certain scholarships, especially I think the publicly funded ones like the state, I think ours was like hope and life or whatever funded by the state lottery. You had to take a certain amount of credit hours to maintain that. I think it was 15. And so a lot of your core classes, especially when you uh, if you took like AP stuff in high school, you're coming in with credits. Um, a lot of your core classes, like don't get you over the 15 mark. And so you pad your schedule with a bunch of bullshit, like golf dance one one just so you can keep your scholarship. It's kind of wild how that works. I had bowling in college. It was fun. I tried to get archery uh, me and my friend, we were in the same boat. Uh, we were doing the same majors and stuff. We tried to get into archery, but archery filled up super fast. Uh, pottery was another one. Those were like the two hot ones at my university. University. Um, we we had a really shitty registration time, and so we we got like literally bottom barrel, which is how we ended up with dance and golf. Dude. <laughs> Save them until you're forty seven and forty eight. Okay, makes sense. What's the action bar add on? Um, Dom knows. Warlock first this time? Yep. That's my uh that's my plan. That's my plan. Shake it up a little bit for my rogue um for the rogue play last one. Uh so it's a real life gold thing? Yeah, it was, dude. Dude, it some of those like uh college bills, man, really made you scratch your head. Um like poking around, there was one semester where I got charged like a $1,700 enrichment fee. That's literally what it, it, it was a separate thing on top of the tuition. And we called and I was like, what is the enrichment fee? And they're like, oh, that's just an additional charge for enriching your education. That's what they said verbatim. Huh? Is it, what do you mean? In, is it that what the, you, huh? It's like a, wow. And it's mandatory. It's not like an optional add on. Go back to uh, college and do esports. I mean, there are some universities that have those. Uh, I don't know if it's a maybe a degree at this point. I know game design is another one, but like, um, 
what is it, Robert Madison University or something, gives out full ride scholarships for like League of Legends and Valorant and stuff. It's it's actually kind of crazy. We had disc golf in our college. Could never get into that class. That would have been a fun one. That would have been a fun one. Want to do some pottery together? Then you can teach me how to dance. I, you didn't actually learn how to dance and dance one-on-one, man. I know that's wild, but you didn't. I retained zero information. The only thing that I learned how to do was glaze the professor to get a passing grade. That was it. The dance teacher created the enrichment fund. Dude, real talk, she was raking it in. Because thousands of students took this, sem this class every semester. The book itself was crazy expensive. And then the tickets for her dance things that were required were also like 30, 40 a pop. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's laughable now that I look back on that as an adult. And I'm like, dog, she really fucking took everybody for a ride, man. She really did. She had the biggest bag in the entire universe. Like, forget the football team, dude. SEC football, nah. Dance 101 professor, she's making the real money. She knows what she's doing. Oh, nice art bod there, Davidson. Let me get that one pumping for you, bro. One sec. Uh, let me get it. Get the art bot up and moving. Cool. Got it in. Got it in. Uh, ooh, bullet fire. What would Deej do? I don't know much about coffee. And the last time that I ordered, I got a cold brew coffee. And then I added milk myself. But got funny looks because I felt like that was wrong. Or so I felt like that was wrong. If I want to order an iced coffee with milk and sugar, what's the best thing to ask for from Starbucks, for example? So... The reason why I think that you got some squirrely looks is usually cold brew coffee. It's like a much stronger version of traditional coffee. Cold brew is usually made from something called coffee concentrate. So imagine you're taking a bunch of grinds and you're putting them in this like vat overnight and you're letting just the really dense coffee grinds soak in water. And then you take the water out and you straight that that's like much stronger than traditional coffee because it's like the concentrate, right? Um, and typically the people who get cold brew, you just drink the cold brew straight up. Sometimes they'll have like a little drizzle on it or like some cold foam at the top, but typically you don't really add milk or anything to you. Just, you drink it straight. Um, that'd be my guess, but Hey, to each your own. I mean, I don't fault you for that, but if you like milk with coffee specifically, what I would order is a macchiato. A macchiato is essentially a couple shots of espresso, um, mixed with a little bit of milk. Um, and then if you go to Starbucks, uh, you can do a caramel macchiato, give you a little caramel drizzle on top. That's pretty good. That's what I would try. Do, do like an ice caramel macchiato. I give that a go. I used to drink those um, before I discovered like cold brew and shit. Used to be my favorite one. So like you get an ice macchiato. Yep. Yep. That's what I would do. Just go for a, just go for an ice caramel macchiato. How bad STV going to be in like 30 minutes? Oh, fuck. I don't know, dude. I just realized that I didn't even think about the uh the the event you're well i've opted out on this character so hopefully i won't get hit with it but i imagine it'd be pretty bad i imagine it would be pretty bad dog uh, i might go accept the mastery quest up here just because um i'm going to this spot anyway yeah uh the speaking with gan i will drop that that it's that's a little too out of reach here I'll ditch the Blood Cell Buccaneers. Zanzil's Secret is probably going to be a shit show, but I will keep it for the time being and go from there. This is me and you, Deej. Hold up, I got a couple things. Bro, this is too sensual for me. Is this me starting off at first? Hold up, let's fast forward a little bit. All right, so this is me, right? Just doing my thing. I got my hand in that. Oh, here, here you come. Shirtless, oiled up in jeans. Okay, I can't sleep. That's accurate. I, I, 
I, I, yo, we don't need to be romantic over pottery, man. I feel like that's an intro to, uh, <laughs> yo, I appreciate you offering, uh, I don't know, to show me how to make pots and shit, but, you know, I think I'm all right. Maybe it's, maybe it's for the best that I didn't get into that class, yeah? Maybe it's for the best. I'll stick with my dance. Mm-hmm. Stick with my dance. Hey, thank you, Geoffrey. I would have asked for tangible proof of enrichment. <laughs> that would have been the play. That would have been the play. Yo, what a full medal. P3 hype indeed, dude. Have you gone to an alumni event where she attended? Nah, I have been to no alumni things, man. No alumni. Jess was a part of the alumni club for a little bit, but um, nah. I It had like an entry fee and stuff, and I was like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. 125 for a book isn't that bad. First year law school. Oh my God. The first year law books are 1,000 to 1,500 each. Dude, I was about to say, I had some like more expensive books. Like the, the finance ones for undergrad were like three, 300 ish bucks, but a grand. Cool. God. Yo, Nessa. Hey, thank you for gifted this be here. The sub dog. I appreciate you looking out for him, sniping them in a big dick way. Support me at the same time. Thank you, man. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. It's confusing. Well, yeah. Yeah, it it is. It is. Usually the different names, bullet fire, just indicate, like, so most drinks are coffee plus something, and usually the different names indicate what that something is. So a macchiato is coffee and milk, and Americano is coffee and water. That's the idea. Yo, Nessa, going back to back with the gifted to candy lips as well, but thank you again, Nessa. I appreciate you sniping two for two, man. Thank you, dog. Can I get the brown sugar oak milk shake and espresso from Starbucks? I've heard great things about that. Jess has got me trying this lavender thing. Um, I had it. It's pretty decent. It's like a lavender, um, like some, some lavender. Uh, it's not a frap. I don't know. It's pretty good. Have you ever seen Ghost? Never seen Ghost. Most college professors who push their textbooks only get pennies off of each book sale. Really? I assumed you'd get like 10% or something at least. The dancing shows that you need to watch are definitely where she makes the most. That is true, man. Because she's putting on the whole production. And yeah, it costs money, I'm sure. But yeah, dog. It, I mean, it was sold out. It's hard to get tickets to them because all the students had to go. Like we had to book our stuff well in advance because she was like, hey, if you can't get a ticket because it's sold out, tough titties. I guess you fail that one. <laughs> That's literally. She didn't say tough titties, but like you get the idea, right? What would Deej do? Tonight I'm supposed to be going on a big third date. Yo, grats on that already, dude. Um, to Laguana Beach, where I'm gonna ask a girl if we could be exclusive. I'll be a little romantic. Should I say fuck it and play sod instead? Ooh. Ooh. How long is the date going to last? Like, on average, you think? Lavender chai latte? That's close. It might be a lavender latte. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, with the cold foam. The lavender cold foam. Yeah, 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 that's it. That's it. Basically, it's purple. Yeah, it's it's straight purple. It's like you're drinking Grimace. Um, It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'll stand by that, yeah. It's pretty good. Deej, I put the nugget quiz. Wait, nuggets quiz? Uh, uh okay. Like, we're, are, are we testing my knowledge on chicken nuggets? Is that what this is? I'm intrigued. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. Oh, I'm gonna fucking cream this. Oh, yeah, wrap it up. Dog, I'm about to go, uh, I'm about about a thousand on this quiz. Easy peasy. These are, uh, McDonald's nuggies. I could tell by the breading. Yeah. This, these are McNuggets. Easy. C. McDonald's. Those would be Chick-fil-A's nuggets. Uh, you could tell by the misshapen size and the breading. They look a little bit more natural. They're known for their golden color. Chick-fil-A. Nice. Next. 
that'd be Wendy's. Wendy's usually has like hockey puck types of nuggets. They're relatively thin, but the saving grace is that they have these little flakes on them. There's like a, it's like the breading itself is very flaky, very crispy. Um, it's got like, like topology to it. Also, these are the spicy variants because they're more orange and you got the little seasoning flakes. These are Wendy's. Yep. Burger King, um, barring the crown shaped nugget. Um, I would recognize these 49 cent bangers anywhere. These are Burger Kings. Nice. Nice. Oh, now this one's a little squirrely uh, because what's pictured, pictured here is not just the nuggets. This is a Sonic combo pack, right? We got nuggets. We got tots. We got uh, the onion ring. And of course, the two slices of Texas toast with the misshapen uh, honey mustard in the center. This is going to be a Sonic value uh, combo meal featuring nuggets. Nice. Now, this one's a little bit different, okay? But process of elimination, obviously you guys, you guys could get this. This is Arby's, okay? Arby's loves to do these little cross-section pictures with their with their food items. Their chicken selects is, a, is another big thing that they like to do that with or used to do that with. Um, kind of convince you to you know, actually take the plunge for things other than like roast beef. If you look at their colder sandwiches, like their chicken salad, they've got gyros, stuff like that, they'll do the same thing. Arby's. Nice. Um, I actually have never been to Whataburger. So I don't know if this belongs to Whataburger or not. I have eaten at Jack of the Box. I don't feel like these are Jack in the Box's nuggets, though. I've never had Jack in the Box's nuggets. I think I've had their tenders. Their tenders were actually quite girthy, and they were pretty premium. Um, these nuggets don't give that vibe. So, a process of elimination plus instincts lead me to believe these are Whataburgers. Hey, look at that, dog. Nice. Nice. Hey, I said I batted a thousand. I bat a thousand. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, new art bot. Deej at the Nuggy World Championships, Lamau. Got a great memory with absolutely useless information. And that was a prime example. I love how I can remember that kind of stuff. But like you asked me, what's Jess's blood type? Uh, I don't know. Like, um, uh, can you test that? Yeah. Yeah. Is on the license. Couldn't even tell you what the Whataburger Nuggets look like. Same, but hey, we figured it out. There it is. Burger King kind of, uh, Burger King sucks. Eh, it's on my face. It's on my face. I don't even know my own blood type. Don't they test for that if they need it? Like, I don't know. You're If they need blood, I'm assuming you're in a position where you're there's blood that's like out, outside of you. Like they could, yeah, like they, I don't know. That sounds kind of dumb now that I say it out loud, but <laughs> it'd probably be better to know that off rip. No, Applebee's? No, no, no. Nah, Applebee's, uh, it, it would literally look like a rock. On uh, the fast food theme, 4-1-2024, 4 California minimum wage on 20 an hour for fast food places. Nice. Standard of living out there is crazy. Or cost of living, rather. Uh, they just give you that standard that anybody could have it. They don't... Nah, I think... I mean, there's common blood types, but there's also, like, very rare ones, too. Very rare ones. Rayman of Nuggets confirmed. <laughs> yeah, there it is, dude. I could probably do it with fries, too. What's your plan for leveling? Um, avoid like the really dense areas and and just kind of take it in stride. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I'll I'll do a dungeon tour at some point, but yeah, just kind of do what we do with it. Why was I impressed by that? Hey, great memory, useless things though. That was literally top tier. I knew you would enjoy. It. Thanks for the knowledge, each. Absolutely, man. Happy to help out wherever I can. I suppose. That's one. Of, that's that's a talent, huh? Ooh, Trollo. Nice art bot request, dude. Nice art bot request. And then, oh, hold up. I gotta get caught up on your scenario, too. Because uh, I asked how long that date was gonna last for. But then, then, then we got distracted with nuggets. One second. Let me, like, dot this thing up so I can copy-paste a Troll's uh, art bot. You know, kind of be efficient here while I'm moving and grooving. Okay, boom. 
Okay. That's in. Excellent. All right, Dana, let me see. So I asked you how long that date was lasting for. And you said, pick her up at six, like four hours, five. Okay. Honestly, it because like that's peak hours, man. I, I mean, the servers, if the servers are having issues now, I think it's reasonable to guesstimate that they might have hours during peak issues. So I would monitor the queue until it's time to go. And then if you have to bail, uh, or if you haven't made a decision yet, and the servers are squirrely, then I'd say do the, do the date. Yeah. Spin the wheel for it. The wheel knows all. You want to spin the wheel, Amenia? Or Amenia wants to spin the wheel, but Dano, do you want me to spin the wheel for your what would you do for the date? Or the side plan? The girl will always be there. P3 day one is only once in a lifetime. If you ain't bringing her home uh, and getting her to play sod, are you really even dating? Women are temporary sod is forever. Or at least until a new season drops. A lot of strong points here in the chat. Have my professors photocopied important things to their book said? Uh, the people who failed to show up didn't get the photocopies and they had to buy the book. I had a professor like that. Yeah, it was like uh, PowerPoint stuff most of the time. But um, but yeah, you had the book for the PowerPoints if you missed it. Yo, what's up, Zerg? I just came by to tell you that you have a very nice UI. Good night. Thanks, dog. If you're curious about my add-ons, um, you can type in exclamation mark add-ons. It'll give you the full list. But um, I love a hyper-simplistic UI. I'm glad you dig the fit. Thank you. Thank you, sir. What's up, Dazi? Did you look great? Is it a full body suit? Yeah, I, well, it's not like a, you know, morph suit. But yeah, I mean, it's like a one piece here. Yeah. And then these, these come off, but yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Let's spin. Let's spin. Are you wearing pants? These are technically pants because it's like a one piece. So it's like uh, being in a Snuggie. Yeah, it's like a Snuggie. That's probably the closest thing I can think of to it. All right, we're doing a wheel. Let's get it. Two options. Very, very simple wheel for you here, Dano. Are we going to go on a date? Or are we going to play sod? Fate is going to decide. date hey maybe she's the one dog maybe she's the one yeah and this is just fate's way of showing it godspeed dude and i hope that third day goes well i hope you make it official man we need a flex it's got a little bit of pet well it's kind of awkward because of the polder i could yeah it's kind of weird these are actually more restrictive than they seem but um it's got a lot of padding it's got like a ton of padding in here man it's quite thickums. Um, do I want really any of this? Or do I just want to go like full demonology from here? It's probably I. I mean, we're going to respect anyway, to tell you the truth. Yeah, we'll just do like, uh, yeah, let's do like demonic embrace. Get, get some more health. Why not? Third option, bring date home to try to play some sod. I like that idea too. Whatever floats your boat. Hey, what's up, Steve? How's it going, dude? How's it going? Low, I'd keep it rolling until it hits Zod. There it is. He, hey, Loki, she said that she likes puzzle boxes. I got her a puzzle box. Um, and I hid one of those cheap $10 necklaces in it. It's got number four charm on it. She's going to be like, why four? I'm going to be like, four out of four. It's our new anniversary. That's cute. Dude, I, I was memeing that you're a little romantic, but it kind of turns out you actually are, man. Anyone have any info on the EU server? I can't connect at all. Uh, I know there's some EU enjoyers in here, Arl. Uh, I think it's having some issues. I, I don't know for certain just because, you know, I'm not on EU. But, yeah, I, I think it was having a little bit of a connectivity before. I know Doctor was having some problems with it. I just realized bosses don't have a debuff limit. Are SPs actually good now? Yeah, they, um, I don't, I, I don't recall if they immediately launched sod without the debuff limit or if it was a change that they introduced in a later phase but um but yeah they got rid of the debuff limit which is honestly it's a, it's a great thing great ad love that they did that 
Uh, let's get lesser invisibility up, or just regular invisibility up, uh, just so I could maybe catch back here, Thera out or whatever, if it's possible. I, I don't actually think I'll find them, but like, hey, off chance that I do, that'd be sweet. Am I snipping more people that needs? Oh, are you sniping more people that needs? Hey, thanks, Meryl. If anyone wants to sub it, Meryl, Meryl is down to snipe. Just make it known that you're looking for one. Hey, Meryl, thank you, dude. Again, just for offering to do that, man. I really appreciate it, dog. Thank you, man. No realms are listed? Wait, what? At all? Oh, fuck. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, Blizzard CS EU. Let's see. Let's check uh, Twitter. All right, here's what they... This is usually where I look. Uh, for future reference, if there's actually big issues, Blizzard CS on Twitter will tweet about it. Uh, an hour ago, they said, we're currently investigating an issue affecting our authentication servers, which may result in some failed or slow logins. Yeah, they're having problems. That's like their generic thing for when shit is like on fire. Yeah. Check, keep checking that Twitter account every hour. Um, if something changes, they'll post about it. But I would just keep logging in. Oh, okay. Hello, Goopa. Like, we can't just be chill, man. Why we gotta do all this? Oh, I I just fell. Lol. Okay. That's uh, that's ass. Sweet. Nice. Well, <clears throat> there goes uh, probably my time in Stranglethorn Vale. I'm probably balling out after that. Took me multiple attempts to log in, but I managed. Maybe spamming it. Maybe spamming it. Damn, Jeff soiled coffee on EU servers again. Hey, running out of potato, dude. What can you do? Running out of potato, dog. Uh, EU had time advantages on patch on patches. This is payback. I always thought it was weird that they didn't, like, they do some non-global releases and some global releases. It's a bit of an op. Yeah, it is a womp womp, dude. What made you roll a PvP server? I like world PvP. It's fun. But, like, there are some feels bad moments like that where it's just like, okay, we're out here questing. I mean, that's, like, par for the course. But overall, I enjoy being on a PC, uh, PvP server. Are you going to do some dungeons? Yeah, probably. Um, probably. Um, I got to, you know, get to a spot where I get my quest for them and roll it through there. I think I could pop in. I know Old Demon was doable earlier. We kind of did most of it before. Let's see what we got. I probably won't touch like SM. I know we did the down stuff. Old Demon, ZF, Mara. Yeah. No real plan. Like no, no time frame to do them, but I'll do them. Yeah. I imagine you, I probably will need to for like period business and such. Uh, I'm surprised a streamer of your size can function on a PVP server. You don't get bodied in a camp. No, not really. Not really. Um, yeah, no. Why did you steal RP player server? Eh, I was last of the boat. Well, I was one of the last ones of the boat because I, I picked Crusader Strike because I looked around. And I was like, I'm just going to go where everyone else goes. And then everyone else decided. And I was like, cool, I'm going there. I'm going to change that. Good luck. Hey, I like a straight duel, but uh, I also want to, you know, quest. I don't want to just like retreat in ZF personally. Let me quest and let's get to 50 and then we could throw it down. Yeah. Then we, 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 if you see me on the open world, give me once, but hey, I want to enjoy it too, yeah? People like uh, the guy in Anduin armor with Applebee's tendies, plus they don't want him to fart in their Uber. Big true. Big true. I say both of those things are, yeah, one of the reasons why I would stay afoot. See, like, what is this dude doing? Why, why is he over here? Is there a reason? Oh, he's probably looking for, uh, oh yeah, he's definitely looking for the Panther. 100%. All right. Whatever, I don't really care about it that much. You can have it. I'll go somewhere else. It's not a big deal. Um, I guess we'll go down and grab this trophy. Yeah. Hey, Alo. I will say, at least he didn't have a full squad. Because a lot of the times I've been owned by that those full squads. Awesome. Hey, maybe. I'm in the market for collecting Deej's ears again. Hey, we got you on the one, all right, because we had the broken macro, but that was primarily the broken macro's fault. That was all. 
I have to be honest, my project was a human warrior called Deejus Doom that I was going to kill you with on P3 opening day, but I only made it to 33 three days, so I decided to roll whore. Yo, that effort is pissed, though. And that's what counts. That's fucking funny. That's what you were kicking up? Dude, that's a... We give you the plus one honorable mention anyway, dude. That's funny. That would have been a... a that would have been funny. You could probably... Well, nah. I was about to say, maybe if you were... I like, Because I remember there was a 40 mage that... um that I was able to KO. It's like 30 on a Warlock, but kind of a completely different different realm there. Aw, oh, dog. Alright, Zerg. Listen, we could be chill and... and, and oh, okay. Hug. Uh, so it begins, huh? So it begins. Alright, I'm probably double the veil. Um, Or we could just go down. I kind of want to get the Age Gorilla Sanu. Yeah. 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 All right. Let's go for it. Yeah, Dano, that kind of blows. Kind of blows. Is camping grieving? Ah, uh, not if you're on a PvP server, IMO. Not, I mean, unless it's like super, I don't know, even if it's super low level, I think it's debatable. But I mean, I think there's like a certain understanding where if you sign up for a PvP server, you have to like know that you're going to get world PvP. This comes with the territory. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's my take. Ooh, Davidson, awkward whispering. There are so many sweaty bodies running around today. Did Thrall issue a new supply order for vials of sweat? If so, can you help me fill my vials? Big Hunts is getting this one. Big Hunts. Okay. They have been whispered. I will let you know if anything pops off on it, man. And while we run back to this corpse, let's see what we have. I think we have double art bots, right? Indeed we do. The first one here, this is going to be from Davidson. You asked the Arbot to draw you this. A blonde woman asking an amateur basketball player for his sweaty shirt. Bang. This is what it drew. Let me know if it hits the mark for you, dog. And then Trollo, you also asked the Arbot to draw a chicken champion. Or, yeah, a chicken champion of a chicken nugget eating contest. Bang. <laughs> Why did it draw, like, Dave? Yeah. Look at that. This is a little bit of Dave and Carrot Top. Damn. Eating straight out of the trophy, too? What a champ. Let me know. Same deal, Trello. If you guys like these, I'll scale them up for you. I can put them in the Discord. Uh, by the way, since when can you not have a character on both Alliance of the Horde side on PvP servers? I don't know. I, I don't know if that was always the case or if that was something that came later. Not sure. I got so mad last night from a rogue that can't gank at me that I almost switched realms. I don't blame it. I mean, it's fun when it's like an actual thing right like it's an actual battle then world pvp is cool but it's like i mean when you're like half hp and it's not really a fight then it's kind of lame right like i i like it when there's equal footing but like yeah there are some feels bads where it's a lame lame time deeds i love playing with you on crusader strike but i will loathe you for forever for picking a pvp server and you may owe me a new wall or chair suit if i keep getting ganked now i'm gonna say this guys psa uh day one pvp servers they're wild. Yeah, we saw this in PG last time. Don't get frustrated. It eventually does calm down, right? Just take refuge in like a dungeon or something. But uh, but yeah, like <laughs> I remember uh, the week, like like that first bit on P2, man, people were toxic as hell. Like you guys remember the sleeping bag pileups? Not a fun time, right? Not a fun time. It, it, it took a little bit for the PVP, uh, the fun part to cook. But once it got cooking, it was fun. Yeah, so uh, just give it a little bit of time to get simmered. Though people will get bored and pass out, right? I see, like that's fucking stupid, right? I mean, oh, you got me, dude. I guess, haha. -ha. All righty. Well, uh, I'm gonna go. We could do TB maybe. Let's see. So I think Badlands is probably the next go. Yeah. Yeah, probably. All right. We'll take Res Sickness, I'll Hearth, and I'll just head on over to the Badlands. TB, Zep, Fly Down, Log Out Skip there. Yeah, we'll go for it. Raid entrances will always be toxic. Yeah, I feel like, honestly, raid entrances should be like a, uh, like a sanctuary. Yeah. Because, like, the only reason you'd PvP at a raid entrance is to, like, just prevent people from going in. Right? It's like most people, like, go in, pop out. 
go in and out just to evade it. It's just like, all right, what are we doing, man? What are we doing? Hey, what's up, DJ? Tanar oh, you were here earlier. My fault, bro. Tanaris? How's ta I feel like Tanaris is a shit show right now. Is that the play? Oh, my God, the body scattered by the wall. Yeah. Let him have this zone, dude. We'll come back later. It's not a big deal. Um, What's the fastest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Orgamar dirt. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, hey, check out my check out the PVE Emerald. Ooh, how do we do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do we do that? So the only PVE thing that I know is by the Twilight. Well, the only Emerald portal that I know of is by the Twilight Grove, and then there's gonna be one in the Hinterlands as well. Um, like up here, I think. Though, are but are they actually at the portals? Yo, what up, Pip Daddy? It's been pretty good, dude. What about yourself? I'm about to try. Oh, yo, the list is about to do a nightmare incursion. Uh, where where do you find those? Coolest new ring discovered so far out of all the classes. I haven't discovered anything new personally, Wraith. What about you? Does your imp ever come back? Yeah, you just resummon it. Good man, hectic. How's life for P3? Pretty chill. Pretty chill. So much as the first ever could be. Yeah. Ashevale is forty to forty nine. Where did, how do you tell where it's going to come out at? Is it just a, cause it's, oh, it's up here. Was this always here? All right, we'll go check that out. I, I, well, I mean, we have res sickness, so that kind of blows, but we'll go check it out in a bit. Do I have anything I want to turn in over here? Chapter two, some Zanzil, some uh, things, the green hills. Oh, we could go pick up the last of the Green Hills for later. Yeah. Okay. How did we miss two pages? I don't know. Lol. Still updating? I feel you there. What's a Nightmare Incursion? It's like a the new PvP, PvE thing that they added. Um, uh, I don't really know. It's, it's, I guess it's just mobs coming out of a portal. You kill it for some currency and some, you know, rewards and such. But aside from that, I don't really know, man. Um, it's kind of going to be a mystery to me, too. I've never done one yet. It's just at the portal? Okay. Sweet. The portals are located in the Veil, vale, Duskwood, Hinterlands, and Feralus. Ah, it was always there. I'm just dumb. We'll take it. I suggest that you take a group into them. So if you do the Nightmare Incursion, I can swap over get, uh, to my Rogue and assist. Is it, um, is it instanced or is it open world? Oh, yeah. You go into the portal, don't you? So it's not like a timed open world event. Tons of people here know PvP so far. Maybe we wait out the seven. Can you do it at like level 40? Well, looks like I need to go check it out. Yo, if any of you guys want to, I, I mean, if any of y'all want to go check it out, what do we just need five? I mean, if y'all are down to wait for like six minutes or whatever for my rest sickness to go away, I'll, let's, I'll do one. Any enjoyers want to hit me up with a INV or something? Or shoot me a whisper? See if we can get a little group. I'm down, Geoffrey. Come on in, dude. Odd one, same deal. Yeah, just uh, hit me with the whisper in the game. Let's do it. So we got three. Yeah. Is it is it down to five? Can you do it in a raid? Are these questions no one knows the answer to yet? Are we finding that out? I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the zones from here on all out in world PvP are activated. So how is it going to be different? Wait, what you mean? Oh. Nice. We got the Gnomer buff. We're going to save this bad boy. Just slap that in there. Boom. Nice. I feel rewarded for, for saving that. I'm so behind. I haven't played P2 at all yet. Oh, you can get cut up pretty quick, man. Because you got the... um, What is it? You got the extra XP stuff. Yeah, they still got the global XP buff. Yeah, they do. They do. Ooh, the list is down. Okay. Uh... I'm going to head over there, and just a sec, I'm going to DE some stuff to, you know, nice. All right, we got our five. Um, I mean, I, I don't know if we can do it in a raid. I don't see why not, unless there's, like, um, like a quest or something. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I don't see why not. Where are we headed to? The uh, portal Northeast Ashenvale. Northeast Ashenvale is where we're going to be headed to. I'm assuming, right? 
Dude, I, you know what I fucking did? I bought it and and didn't pick it up. That's exactly what I did. Because we were, uh, we were going, well, hold up now. I saw it, but I know we were going through our mail and shit earlier. Maybe that's not, a, no, I did. Yep, that's exactly what I did. Boom, see? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Bought it, didn't pick it up. Now I completed chapter two. Why is it not letting me uh, make it though? We got what, 14, 16, 11, 10? Yeah. All right, I mean, we got them, but. I'm just gonna like throw these on the AH. Again, we still got that res sickness, so. Might as well get these uh, out of the bags, right? Out of the bags. Out of the mine. Oh, you gotta actually turn it in to get the thing. I remember now. Let's do like uh, two stacks of this, right? One stack here. Uh, all the eights. All the 25s. All this ones. Boom. And then the 20, right? Yep. Cool. Slap a wild vine in there, why not? Excellent. Alright. Three minutes. I'm headed on over the veil. I'll see you guys over there. Adij, what's with the bag slots? I don't know if I've ever seen it. Or Adij with the bag slots? Wait, what you mean with the bag slots? Oh, you because I hoard shit, huh? That's, yeah. I see now. Yep, okay. Fair. Fair game. I, de I deserve that, yeah. Yeah, I, I am a little hoarder. I, granted, it's not many. I mean, we're not exactly living large with these things, but hey. We can only do what we can do. Yo, uh, Dazaman, you've cashed in for what really lubes the gears? Hmm. What really lubes the gears? Um, they have these little drinks at gas stations. Not all of them, but some of them. They're kind of hard to find. Um, let me see if I could, like, get you a pick of them. Yeah, here it is. It's like a little, um, aloe vera drink. Boom. These bad boys. These bad boys. Th these, uh... Right here. These little aloe vera drinks. I love these things, man. They are so good. And they have, like, little bits of, like, whatever it is. Like, like uh, it feels like the little slivers of an orange in there that are just, like, kind of fun to, like, eat. And very, very refreshing. These things are packed to the absolute brim with sugar. So it's not, like, an everyday consumption unless you got, like, a juiced-up metabolism or whatever. But, uh, dude, these things are super fucking gas. I love these. The aloe vera drinks, man. They really lube the gears. The aloe vera drinks. Hey, right back at you, Jason. What's up, dude? I dropped the 50 gold for the bank slot worth. I might be right behind you, dude. I might be right behind you, man. That is, at the end of the day, a slot's a slot, right? Might have to, might have to take the plunge with you. Bloop. All right, let's go check this portal out. Let's see what's there. Let's see what's there. In the meantime, I mean, we're already going over. Over, we're talking about po uh, portals. Polar bear, let's do some wild lore for you, bro. So, about these little dream portals. There are four of these scattered around the world, and the lieutenants that guard them, those big emerald drakes, they're called the Nightmare Dragons. They're the world bosses of Classic, and the idea is that these are actual, and we'll see these in a second, these are actual portals that are connected to the emerald dream. Um, now, Ysera, the leader of the green dragon flight is she charged four of her highest and most trusted lieutenants personally with guarding these because the idea with the dream is that it's supposed to be uh very very in tune with the uh primal side of azeroth as if it was never you know 
the touched or affected by mortal rays. It's very much like the natural blueprints of the planet, perfectly preserved. So it's a very, very sacred thing for the green dragonfly, for the night elves, pretty much anybody in tune with nature. Um, as such, that's why those fearsome dragons are guarding these portals, because they want to make sure that uh, those who are not deserving of the blessings of the dream aren't able to go through. And those who want to maybe, I don't know, destroy or damage it can also gain entry. That's the lore behind it for you, Polar Bear. I hope you enjoyed that one. Thank you, man, for being patient with me as well, bro. All right, let's see what we got. All five here ready to roll? Um, What do we need to do? We just picked up a quest, so I'm guessing because of the quest, you, you can't do this in a party. So, kill demons, return to the field captain. We need a report, some imps, and some dream swarms. Okay. Oh, and Deathbringer, you cash in for an arcane mage fact. Or mages in general. I got you. So, uh, there are a couple, like, forces in the universe for Azeroth, right? There are, like, very naturalistic things, like the elements, the light, um, nature, the felt, stuff like that. But on the flip side, uh, there are the elements that mages can call. And can, well, not elements, but there are certain things that mages can call and command. Now, the magic abilities that the mages wield are a little bit different than, say, the elements. Um, like shamans, when they call like the earth element or fire, whatever, they're asking the spirits for aid, right? It, it's essentially like Thrall has got like a phone and he's calling up, you know, a fire spirit. Like, hey man, can you like blast this dude for me? The fire spirit can choose to hang to like leave him hanging or answer that call, right? But mages is a little bit different. Because their power comes from their knowledge and mastery over the the actual force itself, right? So when they, you know, wield the arcane or frost or fire, they're built they're bending a portion of that and they're manipulating a portion of that element, not necessarily asking like these big spirits for help. Um, I know this is a bit of a motif, but it's like, you know, how wizards and magic things like that are tr traditionally portrayed in some other mediums where you you know you learn it you get that knowledge thing and you're good to go now usually mages will only master one particular element so fire frost arcane etc because it's very very intensive to just master one very very few master multiple but there are some expert mages that can that's what i got for you dog there's a little bit of lore about some arcane mages and some mages in general, man. I hope you enjoyed. Excellent redemption. And I also got this thing. This is a Dream Dreamsworn Horn for a Warlock. Combine the collected reagents in into a rune that will teach a new engraving spell. Collected reagents, huh? A unique reagent that carries a fiery essence, a new rune, may be crafted if you find other components. Oh, okay. So... Uh, perhaps it's like one from each thing. So we need like imps and stuff too, right? Like imps, uh, maybe something for the dragon itself would be my guess. So what you're saying is that arcane mages shouldn't dual spec? Well, you can, but it's just really hard to. It's not as simple as like say swapping with a button. It's, uh, it's a very difficult thing to do. And very, very few people can pull it off. Very, very few. It's not a common thing. At all. Oh, there's the fang. Oh, sweet. Okay. So I'm, I'm assuming I need one from an imp and then one from something else, right? That'd be my guess. Here, let's, uh, let's eat and drink so we don't fucking die. E was up. Hey, nice. Let's get it, dude. What up, serial killer? It's hanging pretty good, man. How about yourself? How about yourself? Can the elements say no to someone who was trying to wield it? Do you have to be worthy? They can. Yeah, they can straight up deny somebody, but um, on the flip side, if you're a strong enough shaman, you you could just force them. We saw that in um, in what's it called, the uh, the siege of Orgamar. Um, the dark shaman in that raid basically were were so strong that they forced the elements to respond to their call. But when it did that, it kind of twisted them and misshaped them. They became tainted. So, like, for example, you know, winds it be became, like, these harsh, um, these harsh, like, vile winds instead of pure. Um, the water became tainted, shit like that. They had a dark side to them after being forced. That was the kiss curse. Uh, field report. Let's see. 
I'm imagining we should go through the portal, right? I, I, I don't. Oh, here it is. Maybe do we? Maybe not. But uh, the scout that we need to talk to, I think, for the field reports right here. Good man, been busy as hell um, lately, and I haven't been in the chat a bunch. It's all good, man. Life has a funny way of doing that, yeah. I get you, but bro, I just appreciate you being here when you got the time to to, to hang out, man. Hopefully, it's been you've been busy in a positive light. Yeah. Oh, it looks like you guys are going through. Yeah. Hey. Yo. I know this skybox. Yo, I know this filter. Hey, yo. This is the exact same filter and skybox that was used in the Scrap Emerald Dream Raid. I recognize this anywhere because it looks like ass in uh in the map files and Nogget. And I was like, yeah, no wonder this thing isn't finished. This looks way better here with actual things in here, but this is the exact same filter in the Verdant Fields. That really, like, green, uh, otherworldly spot. It finally saw some use after, like, 24 years. <laughs> Damn. That's cool. Alright. I don't know what we're doing over here, but I guess we can explore. I finally headed home. Need some coffee resupply. So I got some Death Wish on your recommendation. Nice, dude. It's good. It's very strong, though. Um, if you've never had Death Wish, Death Wish before, go a little chill with it, man. It, it, it's pretty strong. But uh, it's my favorite, so. Okay, I have no fucking clue what we're doing here. We didn't get prompted. Um, uh, Yo, maybe... Hold up, hold up. Wild idea. Maybe we get a quest after we turn this in. Yeah? Like, like maybe... Because we just killed the outside part. Maybe we go turn this in, and, this, and then uh, this person's like, Yo, okay. Um, now that you know the outskirts, go in the portal and kill stuff in there. Probably should check that. Uh, you need to go and direct a big-ass series around the wild lore. Be bigger than GOT. Dude, it would be so cool to have any hand in any part of wild, man. I'd be down for whatever. It's just cool to be able to, you know... I don't know. Just be part of, what, be a part of something bigger like that. That'd be dope. That'd be dope. All right. Got to got to keep an eye out for the imps because that's one of the things that I still need. I, I don't even know if they have a reagent. I'm just sort of like guessing, I guess. But wait, wasn't the dude like over here? Where'd you guys find the report? To the left of the um, to the left of the portal. If you're facing it. Yeah, he's like right up here. Thanks, bro. It's been good busy. We're picking up in my field now that winter is over. Nice, dude. Very nice. Yeah, it's never a bad thing, right? Well, it's like a kiss curse because it's like busy. Like, or because, you know, you got less free time and that kind of blows. But at the same time, it's like, ah, oh, you know, you're, you're getting some good work. Things are moving in a good direction. So, yo, thin lips. Damn, dog. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, 18 months, man. 18 months. Yo, thank you, dude. Man, what a strange but throbbing 18 months has been, dog. We've been all over the place, man. And so have you. Thank you for just accompanying us in this uh, very unpredictable time. Oh, it's been awesome. And uh, wouldn't be in the same spot without you, bros. Thank you, man. Thank you. I hope you're doing well. How are, how are things cooking? How are we feeling? I can show you a throbbing 18. Hey, thin list. Gotta beat, dude. It's gotta beat, dude. 18. Damn, dog. And Deathbringer, anytime, dog. Anytime. Listen, we got some items here, too. So we have this thing. Uh, deputization, authorization, Ashenvale mission. Uh, deputize a party member, sharing this quest with them so they can complete it for you. And then we've got this one. Um, this... Okay. See, this is the kind of shit that I'm talking about. Like, bro, that's lame as hell. Like, <laughs> we're, I, we're all trying to just figure out what the fuck is going on. Uh, so we have this. This is eight. Yeah. Okay, cool. It's got four charges, but it only lasts an hour. So I'm guessing this is how it goes. We have this. Let's just kill this really quick. And, and then I suppose we could try and see maybe if, um, 
if the, the our little deputization leads to something else, like after the fact. That's what I'm thinking. Like we go, we do this thing, we turn it in, and then um we go from there, right? But I have no idea where to where to do this at. Cool. Cool. Uh, recover the Azharan prophecy from the Ashenvale Nightmare Incursion for the small tent in Satanar. And return to Field Captain Hanala. I'm guessing it's legit in the portal. It looks like we all get a different quest. Wait, which one did you get? Oh. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so you got... Self-destruct, set to kill. Oh, that's interesting. Can you only get one at a time? That's pretty cool. Okay, here, hold up, hold up. Let me try, well, let me see where you guys are at. I guess, I guess we'll go back up here. And then I can try and share my stuff with y'all. And then we can see how it goes. Where are you at? Uh, here. Stabs, what, uh, which quest do you have? Do you have this one, the eight? Quest accepted. Defeat some satyrs. Okay. So, listen, I know you don't have this one. You have satyrs? Okay. I have dragonkin. I have satyrs, too. Okay, so I don't think anyone has mine. The Azharan pro Prophecy. It says you're invalid on this one. Okay, cool. So I've shared all this that I could. Now, I guess the rest of you guys do the same deal. Click your little deputization, share it with anyone that you can, and we could go from there. But I wonder why it said that you're invalid. I, you can accept more than, than two, which was my original theory. Oh, yo, do you have a full quest log there, Geoffrey? That could be it. I got three mission, or I have a Ashenvale mission three, defeat the Dragonkin. Okay, cool. So it's random. That's interesting. Okay, cool. Yeah, it was the quest log. So I, I'm missing one. Who didn't share? Or no, we have double satyrs, right? Yeah, we have double satyrs. Okay, cool. All right. Let's go for it. And uh, I suppose, hopefully, um, the Alliance will just kind of not be dicks here. And we could go through and, and do the thing. That'd be excellent. Uh, you late night streaming tonight, Age? Probably. Um, probably. We usually like to do that for the pop off. Why can't you hear a pterodactyl on the toilet? I have no idea. I have no idea. The share quest is uh, great out for me to share the thing on Dragonfly. Okay, so it's a little bit different. You get an item in your inventory. Yeah, it looks like the Argent Dawn commission badge. Then what you have to do is you have to physically target somebody. And then right-click on that item to share it. That's how you go for it. Because the P is silent. Okay, that's funny, dude. That's funny. When's the DoorDash order? Oh, for the burrito bowl? Probably around 8. Exactly. Feast, famine, lifestyle, and construction. Got to make the hay when the sun shines. Yeah, high, high intensity. You know, lot on, lot off. I get you, dude. Here for you forever, brother. Yo, thin lifts. That's very cute of you, dude. I'm going to think about that later as I'm falling asleep tonight. Thanks, man. Thank you, dude. Sater's going to say, indeed, bro. We get a just appearance as we're going late. Uh, I don't believe so. I don't believe so. I could be wrong, though. She could, she could make a sneak peek. But I don't... Maybe... I don't know. I don't think so. Because usually when, when Sod's stuff is coming off, I, I give her a heads up. Dude, these plants were used as well. Hope... I don't know if these plants were... Nah, these plants were used elsewhere. I think in the wetlands part. Yeah, near, near in that one like little elemental mossy guy. But these plants were in the Verdant Field Zone as well. In the Scrapped Raid. Okay, cool. Wow. That's sweet. What do we need to do here? Uh, kill satyrs, dragons, recover a prophecy, and rescue somebody. Um, it would be really helpful if this zone had a map. Let's... Uh, it would be excellent if it did. Mm. Do tear whelps count as dragonkins? Yeah. 
Oh, they do. Oh, Questy isn't working with this. Okay. Yo, something has eaten me up. I think it's this stalker here, yeah? Oh, they're, they're kind of... They're a little girthy. Okay. They're not, uh, they're, they're not very weak at all. They got the poison shit as well. All right. So I guess we just, uh, rummage through some, uh, some ads and kill shit, right? Oh, we don't have to tag on these. Be careful. Oh, whoa. <laughs> That's definitely one of the plants. That's cool. I'm glad that they're actually reusing those assets, man. I feel like they just sat there sort of un untouched for a hot minute. What's popping up up here? This looks like a spot for like a rescue mission or maybe the Ajaran philosophy or something. There's an egg chilling here. Yeah, this feels like an important area for something. No idea what though. Absolutely no clue. Where are you? We're in one of the portals for the nightmare incursions. It's like the Emerald Dream shit that they just added. Um, here's a an ad that we can grab. This is the Alliance base. Oh, there's like bases. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, I can get behind that. Where's the horde one? We gotta kill five of those bad boys as well. Wait a sec, is it? No, no, no. At first I was like, is it just a reflected version of Ashenvale? But I don't think that's the case. It doesn't appear to be. Nah, it doesn't appear to be. I feel like we'd we'd go through much more of the zone if that was actually the the thing. Maybe we cut down this way, see if there's anything down here. Can we finish that Grom started, burn the forest? Or finish what Grom started, burn the forest and the dream. Well, Xavius would agree with the dream portion. I wonder if they're just, like, done with the dream, like, after Legion, if we're ever going to return to it. I mean, I know the little void thing was planted, like, the seedling at the end, but how we, I feel like we kind of saved it, so I wonder if the team would ever consider doing something, you know, other than just being like, oh, yeah, like, the dream grove stuff that we just did. Like, I wonder if it's, if it's ever going to, I don't know, like, slip into that nightmare state again and, like, the war we're in because we're doing all the old god void shit, right? Seems like it would be a time for it, but. God, I can't believe that it's that I recognize this man. That's such a random ass like asset to recall that skybox, the tent. Oh, wait, yo, yo, I recognize this, uh, this road, I think, right? Is this Ashen Vale just flipped? Vengeful Ancient just showed up. I see that, bitch. Let's grab it. Grab the tag if you can. Kind of looks like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's... Okay, it seems like the map also is, like, flipped accordingly. We got a notification for that. But it didn't... Did anyone get any loot off that bad boy? I, it doesn't seem like it. I bet you there's some secret buried in here, though. Nah? Okay. You guys want to ride deep? Let, let's see let, Let's see what's over here. I bet you there's some real bullshittery in here. Here's another one. Let's, let's see. Maybe we just got unlucky or something. Uh, bring back the Drust and their incursions into the Dream of the Shadowlands. Yeah, I, I really liked the Drust, and I know their story 
it got touched on with the Shadowlands snafus, but like, bro, I, I don't know. They 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 kind of always want to find a way back into the cycle of life and death, man. I, I can see them making a little bit of a comeback. Like the Void brings so many things together. The Dross have been sort of seen as like outcasts for so long. Maybe it's time they come on back. Yo, it is. Yeah, it is. It is is literally uh, an instanced version of the Veil. This is the Seder camp that we need, right? Because how many Seders do we need? Oh, we need a fuckload. Yeah, this is just the Seder quest. Yeah. Yeah, this is, yeah. There's a, there's a similar thing offered to, to the one, except this is just the, the variant of it. Okay. You want me to whisper somebody, are you a sea lion? Because I'd like to see... What was that? Because I'd like to see you blind in my bed. Okay. Like, sea lion. Nice. Nice, dude. I got you on the awkward whisper, too. What's up, set of booms? Thanks for the follow, man. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, laws. Dom, it was you? Yo, set of pliz. Set of pliz, dude. Oh, God. that Was was that you that put me down? Hey, all good, man. All good. We give you the plus one, bro. We give you the plus one. How long have you been, how long have you been in here? 400-pound gorilla? Oh, you fat-fingered? All G, man. We'll shoot you out the points. Uh, can anyone res me? Yo, hey, Cinnabooms. You're making... At least there's some good spirit healers here. I thought I saw you earlier. I'm like, I need to go get them now that I actually... That I usually see on the top. Okay, that's fair. That's... Hey. That's... You're, you're, you're saying hello in an aggressive way. I'll give you the plus one, dog. How are you liking these? I'm, we're, I'm still trying to, like, figure it out for myself. Yo, Anna, immediately snipe at Cinna, man. We're getting put down in the game, but you're making sure that they're staying up with the game, dog. Thank you, Anna, for immediately sniping them right as they pop on over, bro. I appreciate you looking out, making sure that they can enjoy the stream ad-free. They're not going to be interrupted by, a, by an advertisement when they deliver the next kill and blow, dude. I guarantee you, and that's because of you, man. Thank you, dog. Thank you. Uh, Ah, nice. I've got the, the XP boon. Immediately hits this current phase. Yeah. Wait, are you no bubble? Yo, no bubble. Can you can you tell your your comrades we're friendly, and I would just we're just here to to explore and do our thing. <laughs> we we don't mean any harm. We don't need me to rescue a Sian. Oh, dude, this is gonna be a pain in the dick to find all these people. Yeah, the, I saw I saw the boss in the middle. Do we need to kill him for anything? We need the Azjaran Prophecy. Where the fuck do you get that thing from? A small tent. Okay, be on the lookout for a small tent. Be on the lookout for a small tent. Because that's apparently where the prophecy is. I could have sworn there's a small tent up this way. Like in the, in the upper reaches, maybe. Small tent, blue fire in front of it. Is it up here, Hokies? Uh, 8149. Good looks, man. What happens if you fall? Oh, that's a plague shot. What happens if you fall asleep? Ah, okay. Back that way. We can get some density up here. Did I take damage from? Nah, okay, cool. I'm assuming that's a 30 minute rest timer. I, I, I'll, I'll make my way back. I'll, I'll be right back. Deej is a pure euphoria when he's learning about something new and wow. Yeah, it's cool to see, man. It's cool to see. I mean, I like this too because it's a lore tie-in. Like it, it, it makes sense. Like, yeah, it's the dream is supposed to be like that untouched, like, you know, like, I don't know, natural realm. So to put Ashen Veil and just like have it reversed, but for the dream, that yeah, makes sense. Stuns your ass? Okay, cool. It doesn't do that ticket damage, though, right? That's pretty much everything in the dream that's popping. Is anyone else able to not log on? It says Blizzard that for me. There's a... Yeah. A couple of people are having some login issues, Abby. Uh, I've heard just keep, in tr keep trying. It, you know, you'll eventually get in there. You play some Diablo? I do, yeah. I played a, a ton of Diablo 3. Um, I competed for the Race to World... What is it? The, the Diablo 4 Hardcore Race? To get your name on the statue, 
I think I got a um I got a necromancer to like 60 something or maybe 70 something in hardcore and then I got one shot by an off-screen explosion and died and I was big sad so that sucked but uh I like Diablo a lot man it's definitely probably my favorite RPG I would say uh I finally logged to the game an hour and a half later oof and I'm greeted by a level 46 mage blinking past me with a speed pot activated <laughs> What the F? Hey, they got no time to waste, apparently, man. They're out here memeing. They're going hard. Yeah, see, there's that little oil thing from that one quest. Oh, we can banish all this, too, I think. God, the respawns are nuts. Be careful if you're out here with the respawns, man. They don't mess around. Mage got a solo ZF. Wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't be surprised, man. Definitely going to be some big pumpers out there. Definitely. Okay. Ooh, watch it. Grab. Bloop. I mean, no harm. Nice. Okay. Um, what else do we need over here? Do we need more hell callers? What's a good way to level? I'm like 10% to 41, 40 now. I don't know whether the quests are just dungeon spam them out. I mean, honestly, bro, it what it, it depends on your style i like the the fastest way if you only care about speed is to dungeon spam but um i i me personally i do a little bit of between both i do a mix just because you know I, I like the variance too but the fastest way i think is just slamming dungeons it, assuming you've got like a good group that can consistently just like get in there and pump are you fearless i'm not i'm in one of the new um the the dream incursions the the new little emerald portals that they just added what's up kramer p3 has early 2000s vibes uh good luck deeds thanks man you as well dog are you enjoying it or are you you letting it sit the incursions in a group aren't bad for xp until there were like five thousand people yeah dude there's a lot in here the hyper spawns are are kind of popping off things are rapidly coming back up which I guess with this many people, it's prob that's probably the best thing. Uh, Dream portals are actually, are they actually like retail now? It doesn't feel like the retail stuff. That was one of my like big things that I was uh, curious about. That was the first thing I thought of. Um, but nah, it, it honestly just kind of feels like a really dense classic zone, like with a dream theme. That's how I'd, I'd equate it. it. It definitely doesn't feel as, like, um, retail-y. Yeah, it just feels like a new, like, like dream-themed classic zone. Yeah. What's got the ticking down? Is the dream portal dense? Like, mob-dense? Yeah, pretty mob-dense, I'd say. Pretty mob-dense. But there's shit everywhere. Like, we can't, I can't figure out what I'm even in combat with a lot of the times, man. We're just like dropping in and out. Okay, cool. Can we, uh, is it now we got this one? Who, who's. All right, I think this will, this is the last thing that we got. Ooh, we were just like surrounded there for a hot minute. Nice. Okay. Let's lick our wounds, man. Oh. Halfway to 41, questing in Tenaris. After watching this, I'm going to head to Ash. Yeah, it's pretty cool to check out. Pretty cool. We got a bunch of elite quests in here, too. Uh, does anyone know where Elysian Windcaller is? Warsong Lumber Camp, it, it says. We got to get some Betrayers, some Night Stalkers, and some Whelps. Cool. And then uh, apparently we just get briefs in return. I have no idea what that is. I guess we'll figure that out. <laughs> Undercity? Always. The answer is always Undercity. I wish I could res, but I have to sit here and watch, watch you guys just kind of squalor and, and feel bad. Feel bad. 
At least they put um. At least they put a uh, the poor the uh, spirit healers kind of close by. Oh, you get more quests when you turn them in as well. So you can just kind of chain these, right? I guess if you really wanted to. Yeah, I imagine if you've got a group that really like moves with this shit. <laughs> this, yeah, you could definitely optimize this thing, man. You could fly probably. I'm trying to get it for uh, rip over power. Damn. Yo, what up, Mikey? DJ, absolutely the goat. Keep it 55th, homie. Thank you, dude. Appreciate you saying that, man. I don't know if I could live up to the hype that Matt can, but I'm going to do my best, dog. I'm going to do my best. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder what the, the, the fastest you could fly with this thing is. I definitely could see it being huge. But let's see. I know there's a big boy. Yep, there's that big boy in the center. Um, I maybe just like I'm gonna put like a little dot on him, and just see if we could get the tag. I don't think it's gonna let us share the tag because it's like alliance and stuff. But worth a shot just to see, man. Yo, here's the prophecy. Make sure to get the uh to pick this up. It's this little scroll right here, a jar and prophecy. Boom. Shout out the hoagies again. Letting us know. Alright. Boom. So we need a couple what? A couple more hell callers? Yep. No, betrayers. We need seven more betrayers. Alright, let's get it. This looks quite... Quite intense, though. To get a touch. At least the alliance is being nice and chill. See, this is cool. It's like... This it's this is a beautiful thing when you're in a PvP server and everyone can choose to fuck each other up, but everyone's like, nah, we're not here for war. We're all here for the same thing. And it's just it's nice and chill. We've we've got that mutual understanding. Oh wait, what are you doing with this thing? I don't think I don't have a quest for this one. Unless uh one of you guys do. What's the crystal for? I'm assuming another quest that we don't have. Just like this big boy here is. That's kind of what it seems like. It seems like there are a bunch of missions. Each mission uh, corresponds to a different quest. You get a random one each time you, you know, kind of do the event. Um, and then, yeah, you just kind of go in and go to town. The stealth guy next to it. I think that's like a field report. We've got one field report, but it's for a different dude is what it seems like. Yeah, looks like it's for a different dude. STV is up in like 20 minutes, right? 30 minutes? Question, it's already juiced, right? So like you could probably just go and get the big rewards right now. I would think. Because they they adjusted everything to where it's like for level 50s, yeah? Nah, you're the man, only streamer that I watch, and I don't even play WoW anymore. Yo, thanks, dude. Man, I'm just thrilled that you enjoy hanging out, even if you don't vibe with the game, man. I appreciate you just being here and supporting, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you. This disease is nasty. This plague shot? That's what's doing so much fucking damage. <laughs> Thank you, whatnot. Find out? You know, I think I'm okay. Um, It took me exactly an hour to get enough of STV PvP for this phase. Uh, at least for this interim leveling spree. So I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep it nice and, and chill and, and probably stay out of that zone for a little bit. For a little, just for a little bit, you know. Do some do some other things, living, laughing, loving. Yeah, yeah. I ran by and quested with like a hundred horse, uh, and no one's even touched me. Yeah, I mean, I've really only been isolated by like one or two individual people which is kind of odd you would think as if people were rolling deep as a death ball like that would be the opportunity where people would want to fuck everybody up but nah it's been the other uh other way around for me the complete opposite most of the time we got double spooters Whelps and Wormkin. Yep, I need those too. I have the Whelps and Wormkin. 
we got to uh we got to rescue somebody, I think. And then um there's one other thing. There's one other thing that I have. I've got uh we need one more betrayer. Uh whoever has the whelps and worm can admissive if you could share it with some other people, that'd be biss. We're good on the, the double satyrs. Yeah, we gotta rescue this person. Elysian. Elysian Windcaller. That's the last one. I can't get it in at all. Blizzard down or some shit? Yeah, some people have some issues, man. Um, just keep trying. That's what I've heard. Like, um, it, it's just having a lot of failed login attempts. I've heard just kind of brute forcing your way through. Give you a good chance to get get going. But, you know, don't, don't drive yourself nuts. If you need to put it down, I wouldn't hesitate to. We just got layered, I think. Uh, Alright, are we good? Do we have... Uh, the only things we should have finished here are going to be the satyrs and the... Um, and the... What's it called? The prophecy thing. Those are the two that I believe I got here. Hey, dude, Man City roll on the triple beef? Love the triple beef, man. Love the triple beef. All right, let's see. Warsong Lumber Camp. I believe that's over here, right? Oh, no. No, it's over here. Okay, cool. I'm dumb. I can just look at the map. Yeah, it's over this way. I am really curious, though, to see how many of these I need for this rune. Combine the collected reagents into a rune that will teach a new engraving spell. Fiery Essence. Both of these have a fiery essence. It's a demon hunter fang and a dream... It's a dream hunter fang and a dream sworn horn. I don't even know how much I need, to tell you the truth. Heard that the curly fries are S-tier, though? They're, they are. They're honestly what keeps the establishment alive, IMO. Curly fries are bis. Um, the mozzarella sticks, too, kind of slap. Don't sleep on the mod sticks, man. They're, they're, pretty, they're pretty good, too. Oh, here we go. I need a dream pyre fire. The hell is that? A dream pyre. Okay, if anyone sees something that looks like a dream fire pyre, I, that sounds to me like it's a like a hot coal from like a burning um like lamp, you know? If anyone sees one of those, let me know. We keep getting pinged for these vengeful uh, ancients too. I have no idea what the fuck those are for. Dream Harvester? Uh-oh. Little Venture Co. up in here? Those Nightmare Incursions are amazing. They're pretty cool. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Uh, they're a lot, like, deeper than I thought they would be, man. I thought they were just gonna be, like, little pop-up things. Um, kind of how, like, the, you know, dream portals and stuff like that. Or, like, the, you know, the events and, and shit like that worked in retail. That's how they sounded. But, um, yeah, no, this is not what I expected. Are they good for XP? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, you got a lot of density in here. The quest is good. I, I imagine um, if you get a group that knows where to go and, you know, knows how to do all the quests you get, you can clear this thing pretty quickly. Um, obviously, you know, we're reading through and trying to understand how to do a lot of the things, which has taken, you know, some time to figure out and shit. But, um, but yeah, I mean, once you get it to the point where you know where to go, for sure. For sure. To me, this looks like a, a perfect spot for a pyre, but um, no idea. So who are we looking for? Elysian Windcaller. Elysian Windcaller is supposed to be here for us. Looks like a perfect place to rescue somebody right back here. And these smoldering uh, braziers, this is where I was maybe thinking we would get a pyre from, but maybe not. Which is why I'm still leveling in Strangle Gank Vale. See, I bounced out of that one. Yeah. I bounced out of that the second I got KO'd, dude. I was like, nah, you know what? It, 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 you got me, but... <laughs> I, I'm gonna I'm a go over here now. Oh my. Boss Gob Godnick. And, uh... Oh, okay, he's, he's dead. I don't know if we're supposed to be here or not. Oh, here we go. No, that's a different dude. The Dream Warden there. Um, alrighty. Well, we have aggro on this, so let's kill it. <laughs> I guess let's kill it.
Hmm. All right. Let me uh let me look this up. Maybe there's some info that we could find on here. Elysian Windcaller. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Well, so Wildhead sees her. Uh oh no. Yo, it's a apparently it's a full escort. According, she's got like the escort spell and shit, like as part of her kit in here. Uh oh, but no one knows where she is. Like Wildhead's coming up blank. Let's read. Base of the Watchtower. Okay. Let's head over this way. Base of the Watchtower. I, I think the bosses don't drop anything. I think the bosses are like... Like kill quests. And that's it. Because we've killed a bunch of different things. And they've all had no loot at all. Like nothing. Like not even a copper to. Here's the only Watchtower I see. So maybe she's over here. What's her name? Thalissa. Yep. Hey. Thalissa's got her. Nice, Thalissa. Alright, I'm headed over. You got a squirrely dream harvester, though, but I'm headed that way. Can I go this way? I don't know if I can. Yeah, I have no idea if I can actually go this way or if, if I'm, like, screwing myself. I, it's definitely longer. That's for sure. Definitely longer. Deej about to fall through the map. <laughs> well. I bet you, um, well, I kind of want to explore like the technicalities of this because if I'm understanding this right, this is an instanced um oh, okay. Well that'll do it. Out of bounds. Okay, I'm going back. What's gonna happen to me? Or you will be teleported? It doesn't like that you can go this way. So that's the that's the way it kind of stops you. Alright. So that kind of implies that like a bunch of the world isn't flushed here. <laughs> if you could somehow evade that bad boy, man, you, you could probably explore some crevices. Yeah, fatigue. Yeah, it kind of seems like a little out-of-bounds fatigue check. I mean, there are parts of the overworld that's put it. Like, see, you can see a jar over here. But usually when they do this, um, and it's a very common practice with, like, certain raids, it'll only be in small chunks. Like, not all of a jar will be added, but, like, this little half over here near the flight path will, right? Like, the coastline and shit won't be there. But, like, a little chunk of it will, just to give the illusion that it's there. I'm assuming she's in this hut. Did we get- did I get credit? I did not get credit. And she is not in that hut. Oh, other group already started it? Damn, okay. Oh god, so it's a- it's an escort quest and it's a- it's one of these where you wait. Boy, oh boy. Yo, there are mining notes here that gives fool's gold dust. What's f Oh. Oh, that's cool. That, I'm assuming that's a new one, right? Dream Pyre Fire. Let me look this up too while we're waiting. Dream Fire. Or Dream Pyre Fire. You got a dream infused dragon scale from skinning. Nice. Ooh. Hey, be ready. Uh to, to spam click. Be ready to spam click. Okay, so that's the la this is the last thing that we would need. Um I'm trying to find out where it comes from. This is for the Immolation Aura rune. Dream Pyre Fire. Huh. Maybe uh maybe from from one of the the demons? Like the uh element the the immolated elemental people over there? 
Yo, why is it not letting me start this bitch? Yo, what's up, Ease? Deed, is your pillow crooked at all? Or is it the, huh? What, what, what do you mean, the tax? What do you mean? No meta locks allowed? I don't think it's meta. Oh, oh, it's, it, oh, it follows me. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, you just tell her to follow you, but it doesn't like go. Oh, it's Aunt Alyssa. I think. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's Aunt Alyssa. Where do we take her? Travel through the Emerald Dream Portal. Journey, okay. Find her. And escort to safety. I, I Escort to safety? Where the fuck is safety? <laughs> I guess like through the portal? Through the other side, right? That'd be my guess. Okay, that would actually drop some copper. Probably back through the portal? Okay, I'm following you. Um, this is a terrible idea to add, by the way. This is going to be so fucking frustrating. I could already tell. I could already tell, dude. Imagine dying on this thing. Which will inevitably happen, because it's like... Clearly a PvP zone and shit. Oswald, that yeah. Yeah. Well, no, you should still get the credit. As long I think it's, it's going to be alright, as long as the Lissa doesn't go down. Because the Lissa is the person who is getting the follow here. I think. Could be wrong, though. Hopefully, no. Bro, haven't you seen Stranger Things? Don't bring that shit in the portal. I love Stranger Things, man. I have. Dude, I actually went to Universal Fright Nights and did the Stranger Things, like, house. Really fucking cool. Three-hour line. But, hey, it was a really, really cool experience. It was one of the best ones. One of my favorites. One of my favorites. No pressure for Delissa. Yep. Yep. This is long, too, bro. Like, we're out here. Coming all the way back through. But we'll get her there, I, I guess. Um. Yep. It just says, uh, escort her to safety. This looks like safety to me. Like, out of the fucking portal. Getting over there. Wait, did it work? Got credit? Nice. Okay, yep. You don't have to bring her all the way through. Just at the base. Okay, cool. So what else do we need? Um, Some dragons? We gotta kill some wormkins and some whelps. Nope. I think those were over here. I believe. Yeah, I think those were like over uh, on this this little area. They'll be good to go. Wait, your neck pillow? I'm lost. Ease. I'm lost. My neck pillow. Bro, I'm yeah, I'm I'm not connected the dots, dude. I'm not connected the dots. Wait, you didn't get credit because you died? Interesting. That's weird. Do you think it was because... Were you out of range, maybe? Or do you think it is... It, or were you, like, close to a still? I didn't get the dragon quest. I don't know who had the dragon quest, but... Whoever had the dragon quest, could you share it with Stabs? You're se oh, the, oh, the secret lab neck... Oh, fuck. My bad. Bro, I... Low-key, I... I forgot that it was there, man. I forgot that it was there. I see. Yeah, the neck pillow is definitely crooked. Because I hardly, like, lean back in the chair to begin with. <laughs> you, this dude's a twin. Yeah, no. I, I completely forgot it was there. It's a good quality pillow, though, I will say. Like, it's very comfortable. <laughs> Took me a hot minute, man. Took me a hot minute. All right, well, we can go back and grab it for you. And uh, do the escort again. If you need it. And then, um, 
the Dragon Quest is right here. This looks pretty chill. Detail oriented, dude. I just I'm usually pretty decently detail oriented with stuff, but I completely forgot this was this was existing, man. Uh, DJ be drinking that ayahuasca spro. Mm -mm, dog, no way, man. I've tried Lion's Mane before, but like I don't know, that gave me a headache. Honestly, like I I I'm I'm down to like you know. Whenever you get stuff like a new type of coffee, it's supposed to help cognition. You know, those like brain sciencey things. Like, oh, okay, like that's cool. I'm interested in that sort of thing. But um, the Lions made coffee. It just tasted bad, and it gave you. It, it left a weird film in your mouth. Like, um, I pause, but like it did. Like your mouth was coated in something. Like, like um, and it just tasted bad and gave you a headache. And it was like worse than coffee in pretty much every way. That was my experience with it. These boofing nootropics, what up, Loaf? I mean, there is that one episode of My Strange Addictions where they got hooked on the coffee enema. Now, I haven't gone to CVS to try that, but, you know, somebody did. Somebody did. And they swear by it on that show, evidently. But not. Haven't, um, haven't tried that. <laughs> haven't tried that. Name of the prawn? Yo, alright, I think we're good, right? You guys want to go back, see if we can grab that escort really quick? I knew you were coming with that one, not. Everybody else good? Like, the only thing we need is what? The escort and, well, stabs. How many, do you need some dragonkins? you get that bad boy? 50 gold for dual spec, is it bad? Big true. I thought it was going to be, like, locked behind, like, a girthy, like, five-part quest, but it seems very chill. You just need some five, okay, cool. Five whelps and you're good to go. I could play a Boy Scout to see if uh, there's the escort again. And then I guess we just really got to protect uh, Oswald out here so you don't get KO'd. And then um, I want to see if I can find one of those pyres. If you guys would be a chill with maybe sticking with me until I could kill, go kill one of those immolation demon things. Because I think that's where it would drop. I mean, that kind of makes sense, right? I'd appreciate that. But don't feel like you have to. It'd just be helpful. Uh, Deej, don't forget about that rare. There's a lot of these, man. There's a lot of these, dude. Uh, I bet that armor that you're wearing smells like urine. No, if anything, it just smells like sweat. Um, but, like, it did. I actually, my costumes, I I take care of, pretty good care of, man. Because, you know, they get some use. Like, the dragon suit. And it's hot. And, um... You know, I don't, I don't want to be super uncomfortable wearing those, so I, I kind of make sure that that hygiene is on chat. No weird bacteria is harvested or anything like that. And Yeah. Nah. I can confidently say that that's... That's one smell that it doesn't vibe with. Yeah. How much gold do you have, Deej? And how much is Streamler Privilege? I got 115 on this character. Um. Well, uh, I, I know someone deleted their character a couple of days ago and sent me six gold. But aside from that, yeah. No, it's, uh... Yeah, no. Not on this character. On my rogue? No one's, like, straight traded me gold either, yeah. Just the six from the, the mail there. All the costumes are kept in the pea drawer. I have a big crate over right over here um, that I keep all the costumes in. It's like a, like a big storage vat. Big storage bin. That's what I'm rocking with currently. Oh, you guys got K. Wait, ooh, what's over there? Spawns on bottom right. We got some PvP snafus too? I'm stuffed. What'd you get, dude? What kind of food are you fucking with? Big Dragon? Yo, you want to go check that out really quick? Here, Wolf Claw? A big drag? I, I mean, that's... <laughs> Yo, I'm down for that. I made spaghetti. Did you ranch it up? Oh, it's dead? Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, rippage. Rippage. Did it drop anything? Made the sauce this morning? It's never too late to ranch it up, dog. Always plenty of time to rip some Hidden Valley, man. Little packet, little seasoning, liquid form. I mean, you got options. Never too late to ranch it up, dog. Get a little garlic bread in there, too. Chef's kiss. 
Chef's guess. Um, actually, I could I could just go down and check out the demons myself if you guys are waiting for this respawn. Yeah, yeah, I'll go grab. I'll go see if they're down here really quick. Since we're gonna be waiting for the respawn anyways, on that escort. Oh, okay, thank you, Dream Harvester. I appreciate the boop. It's harvesting my dream too. That's the cool cast. I wonder if you could put this in a map file reader. You probably could, because uh so most of the World of Warcraft maps fall into one of two categories. There are the classic maps, which are like maps from the game pre from pre cata I think is one that yeah, pre cata um, and, and then post cata maps are, are made with a little bit of uh, a little bit of a different tech. And so usually when you try to read those, there's some compatibility issues. But since this is sod, it's primarily built on the classic overworld, so it should be compatible with most map readers. And if I could get it to load in like a map reader, I could just like freely explore and, and see what the fuck is out here without having to deal with like this. But um, I really thought, dude, Fellfire Hill, that, that sounded like a perfect spot for some demonic activity. Okay, it just ports you back to this fork in the road. All right. Um, where else can it take you? Like, what about this way? Hey, what up, Bing? Um, well, currently, I'm trying to find... I, I need this item called a dream fire pyre and uh if i could find it i could combine it to make a new rune i think it's the immolation or rune um obviously no one really knows where this is i'm almost positive it comes from uh some spot in the dream because that's where the other two well maybe outside of the dream but yeah this dropped off of a satyr this dropped off of uh, a fell hunter outside of the dream um, maybe it just comes from the imp. I don't know. But yeah, so we're in the dream. Um, and I'm, I was looking around to see if uh, maybe there's a, like an ad or something in here that I could drop that bitch. Yeah. But so far, no, no, no shot. No shot. Did you guys get that escort? It looks like it. Uh, probably just playing, to be honest with you, Meryl. Probably just playing. That's what I would guess. I know there were some server issues, but or earlier that prevented a lot of people from getting on. But I think things have stabilized now. So, hmm. Combine the collected reagents into a new rune that'll teach you a new engraving, a unique reagent that carries a fiery essence. A new rune may be crafted if you find other similar components. Okay. Well, let's um. Now that I'm thinking about it, since we got the other three re or the other two reagents outside of the dream, the third one would probably make sense to find out there too. And uh, the imps, you know, they're fiery. Let's go check those. Uh, could have been like me, Deej. I've been on since six in the morning. EST, no problems here. Same. Yeah. Well, not not since you know you got me beat at the morning times, but I, yeah, I I got up at what? What are we two ish? Yeah, two ish. Very smooth launch for um for me for me as well. Everyone good? I'm good to go. I've got all five. I've got all five. I'm just uh memeing on out. Uh got any supply crates yet? Are they an inconvenience to fill? I haven't gotten any of the new ones. I know they severely nerfed their drop rates. I imagine they're gonna be quite girthy to fill. But um I haven't got one of those yet. Yeah. At least the new ones. I only got four. Uh, I don't know which which one were you missing. The uh, this one, the satyrs. You never had the betrayer. The betrayer. Satyrs, dragonkin, intelligence, prophecy. I don't have a betrayer quest. Maybe it was like one of the duplicate ones. Because didn't two of you guys get the Seder or something? 
Shade of Betrayers. Oh, it's one of the moms. Ah, I see. I see. Good luck, Hoagies. You're on top of shit, dog. Good looks, man. Ember Spark Dream Swarm attempts to run up. See, I would think it's Ember Spark. Kind of makes sense, but. All right, let's see if I could maybe. Oh, here. Yeah, yeah, I see Dream Pyre. They come from the imps uh, that share the same name. So I got to hunt down some imps. And uh, I, I feel like I've killed a couple of these. So I imagine that it's going to be on a lower drop chance. So let's kill some imps and get a pyre, hopefully. Hey, there it is. Okay, excellent. Let's make a new rune for Immolation Aura. Boom. Immolation Aura has been found. Two hours, 11 minutes. Bracer. Nice. I wonder, there's no way I'm the first one to find this thing, but that feels kind of cool. I, I got to be one of the early, early birds on this, right? I wonder if Wildhead has something up yet. Hey, thanks, hoagies. I wonder if what, let, let's check. Dude, I, I, if I could just beat Wowhead, even if they have something like, uh-oh. Okay, somebody found, uh, the first rune, Balefire is found. Dude, they don't have it up! Hey! Oh, do, do, should I write in? Like, like a, should, is there like a bounty to claim? I don't know, I, I, I found, okay, what nut? It wasn't out. I don't know, I feel like this is, I don't think there's any bounty to claim, but that would be kind of cool. I don't know. I feel like this is this is a cool little thing. But boom, there it is. Uh, burns nearby enemies for 17 damage every two seconds. Reduces all magic damage taken by 10%? Oh, heavens. What? That's nutty. Uh, just straight up 10% magic resist? Oh, look at that XP. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Okay. So, that's the that's the deal. You get five quests, you slap them in, and you just got four... Yeah, oh, oh, it's just infinite. Yeah, I just got four more quests as well. Look at all these. The mission briefs. Yeah. Okay, yo, real talk? Um... I mean, what do y'all, do y'all want to roll through? Are y'all going to do something else? Like, is there a vendor? I know we need to grab this thing anyway. Is there like a vendor for this shit? What do you guys want to do? Big A, we are? Yeah, this is pretty sweet. Need your action bars are looking like your bag slots. I like my action bars filled. I, I like them filled. We'll, we'll stand by those. We'll stand by those. Yeah, I don't, I don't know who to... I feel like I have cool info, but I don't know who to send this to. Um, yeah, there... Oh, she's a vendor once you hit friendly? Oh, okay. Is there like a... Email? Nah, okay. That's... Nah, alright. I don't know. I guess I'll keep it. Feedback? Uh, uh, advertising issue, article info, typos, partnership opportunities, or a press inquiry. Those are those are the ones, the press in, uh, inquiries. The two runes that I need have been found already. Hey, GG's, dude. GG's, man. Um, someone asked me to drop a, a stone for them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pop out of the party real quick. If you guys want to do more, I'm down. Just let me know. Um oh, you don't have to leave party? Wait. Huh? Who, 
who am I summoning? Yurth, I think, right? Cool. Yurth. How are people friendly? I'm getting shit rep, and I've been at this for almost two hours. <laughs> Damn, dog. I, I'm probably just hyper-spamming it. Um, that'd be my guess. Yeah, probably just hyper spamming it. Okay, cool. That was sweet. Yo, what up, Alice? Friar, is that ninja loot? Uh, looting gear in Oldemon? Yell at her, please. I feel like we don't have the whole story. Now, here's what we'll do. If we've got a little gear disagreement and their claims of, of being ninjas, we take this very seriously here. Now, it's, it's a big deal. So I think we need to allow both parties to clearly state their case. Alice, since you, you spoke in the chat first here, I can give you the opportunity. Uh, Friar hit me in the game. Alice, if you want to go ahead and present the evidence that you have, and then Friar, if you're listening, you can come in as well, present the evidence. That way, you know, I'll be that neutral uh, third party, and I could just, boom, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm just picking. Oh, no, I thought we had some tea, dude. I was ready to, to sip. That would have been sweet. I was ready, doll. I was ready to be the judge, jury, executioner. Before I rep for those quests, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. What do we need uh, for friendly, though? Oh, 3K. We started nothing. Um, are you guys doing more? I'm down. If you guys want to do some more, I'm down. If not, I guess we'll return to the Badlands, yeah? Oh, yeah? All right, let's do it. To the dream. To the dream. Where's, uh, I guess, open up the missives, right? Oh, fuck. Wait. So, we get five quests ourselves, and then, on top of that, we each get a little badge to share with our buddies, so we can technically have, like, 20 quests of just this. Right? <laughs> yes, okay, cool. I guess I'll make some room. Holy fuck. Uh, Frugo would like another sum. One second. Let me bounce. Apparently, uh, this priest here didn't, didn't, did something oopsied. So we'll, we'll hit him. We'll hit him. Were you up for a nomer? Uh, to a nomer raid age? I'm down if anyone needs a warm body, yeah. I wouldn't be keen on leading one myself, um, but if, like, you guys need a group or something, you know, I'd be down. Or if you need a body, I'm down. Oh. Thank you, friend. Enjoy, gang. Alrighty. Let's do it. Alyssa, I'm ready. Let's embrace the dream. Bang. Yo, Deej, you do a nightmare yet? Yeah, we just did one. Um, do another, because they're pretty cool. Um, the system isn't bad either. It's, it's pretty solid. It's more than I thought it would be, straight up. Remember that tweet about don't worry if you do all the quests in the world. We have your XP covered. This is it. <laughs> yep. Yep. This is what this is definitely the solution for it. Definitely the solution for it. I mean it's like free flowing, dude. You could just do no, just Well, I will say it's all level 40, so I don't think um, you know, it's it, it's I don't think you can do it all like straight up, like at level 10 or something, but, or does, I wonder if it scales, I don't know. But yeah, it seems to be all like kind of, kind of chilling at 40, but you're right. Yeah, this is it. Oh, there's a level 25 incursion. Oh, that's cool. So wait, each zone have different, yeah, there are different portal, different levels, different portals. So what's the 25 one? Duskwood? Report players. The Hinderlands is probably the 50 gang, yeah? And then Ajara is going to be what the sixty play, maybe. That's really cool. 
That's really cool. I've got 2, 3, and 11 for the missions. I'm gonna have to get really good at Roman numerals. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I don't... I, I've got 5, 6, uh... What the what the fuck is this? No way, X is ten, isn't it? Yeah, V is V is five. V is five. How about this? Let's all stand in a circle and just share what we have, so I don't have to learn no Roman numerals. Meet at Moon to share quests. Wait, where's Moon? Oh, that's Moon. Okay, I see. Dope. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm here. Uh. I can't accept them all. Like, like, do y'all just have all this free stuff? I guess I could drop a couple things. Oh god. Like, I could, I can get rid of this. Um, aged gorilla sinew. Yeah. God, my hoarding habits are at it again. Who would have thought that this would have come back and haunted me? Uh, one more time. Yeah. Uh. Okay, that's that we need the Badlands. We could drop this. Yeah. Okay, I got four slots. I don't I don't uh know if this is getting through to, to all you guys, but I'm I'm doing it. I'm clicking it. Oh, this is kind of ass. I wish there was a way. Oh no, it all it does auto share with all the party members. Okay, cool. Sweet. <laughs> How many of these are there, man? Look at all this. Oh, there's more. Oh my god. I don't know how many I have. Um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven. I don't know what what the number is. Like, I don't know if it's like fifteen or something. What what is X V I I? That's fourteen, right? Oh no, that's eighteen. That's the highest I have. I think. What the fuck is X? I need a no Roman numeral thing, dude. 18, 17, that'd be 14. 14 would be XIV. Bro, I gotta get... <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I mean, it would make sense, I guess, that the highest would be 20. X is 10. Uh, Then you got the 1 is the 1, and the V is the 5. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we're dealing with 18. That's the highest that I've seen so far. I think we're all good, right? We ready? Felicity, you have nine? I'll make sure that I share all mine with you. Cool. All right. Let's roll it. <laughs> Holy. Quick Roman numerals guide. Otherwise reads 10, 5, 1, 1. Gotcha. Good looks. Good looks. X is 10. The V is 5. And the, and the 1 is 1. I got my X's and V's confused. <laughs> now we got it locked. All right, let's get after it. But we'll have to. Okay, so we need some trents. Pretty much everything. If it moves, kill it. Trents. We need to find a dragon egg. Um, we need to go get a Satanar intelligence report. Um, more trents. Uh, some dream dreamanage. Another prophecy play, Dream Roots, Fool, A, hey, Fool's Gold, Shredder 9000 slain, rescue somebody named Autumn Moon. A lot, lot of work. That is dope. That little animation, boom, Hellfire. I hope people don't get upset because this thing is, um, it's an aura and it just does damage to everyone around me. So, uh, I, you know, PvP and shit. Wait, we need Fool's Gold? That's what this says. Um, no, Fool's Gold Dust. Yeah, Fool's Gold Dust. <laughs> Look at the sleeping bags. 
Yo, you guys need to cuddle? I got my bag ready. Anyone need to cuddle? I guess we'll get to it. Sleeping back here, coming on back, coming on back. Might as well. I didn't want to hold anybody up, but if you, yeah, if you guys needed to, I'll ZZ. Boom, nice and snug. Right, yes, nice and snug. So you get 400 per, um, per individual thing, right? So I, I think, let me see if I can scroll up. How many, how, what did we get per thing? Uh, my thing got spammed out. I think I saw like 75 per quest or something. There's so many quests for a small area. Dude, I know. So like how it works is it's basically just this zone here. Like you can't go over this bridge past Satanar. Uh, and you can't go here. So it's like this little peninsula is really the only like area that you could traverse. Until 40, yeah. Then fit, yeah. Good good looks on that Deathbringer. Yeah, so you, Mike, if you want to zoom, man, you got the opportunity to zoom. I'm gonna restart the talk stream too. Guys, give me like 30 seconds. Um I'm seeing a little bit of lag on my end. One sec. It's been doing this uh recently, man. I don't know why. I don't know why. Very odd. Guess we'll take some copy IRL. What time is it? 6.30? Yo, should we just go ahead and pull the trigger on that beloved burrito bowl? You, who did that? Was that an enemy hurricane that just came above us? The stream couldn't contain all that dumpy and started lagging. How do you say that? We get some rubber banding right here. <laughs> you think? You think it's just my juicy ams? I don't know. I was always a leg, like, leg day kind of dude. Like, I could, you know, do the leg press, calf raises, like, had a good vertical jump. Definitely stronger lower body than upper body. Finally home and ready to play, but I can't even launch it. I've heard that some people are experiencing some issues on, on the launcher itself, and if you are, the advice that I ran into was basically close the launcher, go into your task manager, and then end all of the battle.net processes in there, and then restart. If it's, um, if it's an issue on that end, that should hopefully fix it. Oh, this or that. Would you pick A, or would you A, pick up the bar of soap that I dropped for me? Or B, heartlessly refuse and make me cry myself to sleep? I mean... What kind of soap is it? Is it like a little dove bar, or is it like, um... You know, like a great value, like just, you know, 99 center. Yo, hey, there it is, Sonny. Nice, dog. Yo, what's the vibe with it? Dub bar. Oh, that's good value. That's good value. You know what? I might take the dub bar. I'll grab that for you, King. Yeah, I'll grab the dub bar. We're also getting three gold quests as well. 5.1. Oh, okay. So it's pretty solid. I like that armor. What's the occasion? Just a release for uh, P3, man. Are you in prison or not is the real question. See, they didn't, they didn't say that, right? I, I think they kind of assumed that, but... I mean, we, we could technically pull that rabbit uh, out of the hat and just kind of, you know, claim lack of specifications. Deathbreaker says yes in retrospect, but hey. I don't know. We grab the dub bar for you, though. Because it's a dub bar, man. We're going to let this th that, let that like get on the floor. It's going to get all grimy. Nah. We can't let that go to waste. Yeah. That's too much to miss out on. It's too much to miss out on. 
All right, let's get it. Let's get it. TLDR, we, we need everything in here. If it moves, I, I guess we just wag it. Uh, what is this? A delve thingy? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's a dream incursion. I think it's the official term for it. But um, but yeah, it's it's that new PVE thing. Basically, they like cut a part of the uh Ashenvale zone out and made it like look like the Emerald Dream. And you go in, you do some big dick quests. Um. Get some decent, like some decent gold from it. Some it's it's a lot deeper than I thought it would be. I thought it would be very limp compared to what we got. Uh, sleep or push till twenty. Twenty, you know what? You can't go to sleep if you can't push to twenty, man. Twenty is such a good note to end on, bro. I think you got to go for it. I'd say push it. I'd I'd definitely say push it, man. Got to get that two uh twenty. Got to get that twenty. I would say. Uh, just so you would talk as a suggestion for the next wheel. Like wheel of pain, Jason, bro. I've I've had some some ideas on that bad boy too, dude. See, the wheel of pain is such a kiss curse because like we're it's ultimately up to us what makes it on the wheel. But there are definitely some things that are like undeniable bangers, right? It it could be as intense or as limp as we it can handle, I guess. How's the XP? Pretty good. Uh, the questing in here is like li limitless. Um, you just get a bunch of chain quests and can go to town. Uh, I was getting about 7k a turn in and, you know, being in here, I mean, you boom, boom, like some of the bigger elites, they give you a lot of shit. It, yeah, it's pretty good. I think, yo, you got tanked. Thank you, bro, for pumping all those crowns my way. Dog. I really appreciate all that. Thank you, man. You said, yep, the lot lizard, Jack, Dangles, and Tuna Juice. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, that's... Bro, I'm going to keep it above. That sounds like ass. But that's kind of the point, right? It's not supposed to be something that I enjoy. It, it, it's sort of supposed to be ass. Other, you know, why else would it be called the Wheel of Pain, right? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This thing's about to clap my cheeks. Holy. Uh, don't mess around with the stuff in here, man. It, it's a lot of damage. <laughs> it's a lot of damage. They they hit. And they hit hard, man. Holy fuck. Don't get caught slipping. Yo, what up, Leroy? How's it going, dude? Um, let me think about some things that I've thought about putting on the Wheel of Pain that um could, like, come into play. But... It, it these are these are out there and gotta get cleared. Dying my 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 hair was one of those. Uh, my facial hair in particular, but I can't like I don't know like I have to grow the beard out and shit if I'm gonna dye it pink again. And then I gotta figure out how to do that. That's a whole thing, right? But it's a wacky idea. Um, I have successfully sourced one of those gooey ducks. You know those big clams that kind of look like a you know a dick. Yeah, I figured out where to buy one of those near me from a seafood spot, but they're like 70 bones and um, there's like this whole thing on how to cook them and consume them. So that's a big learning curve. Uh, you know, it's not it's not like cutting. I can't like DoorDash a, a, a throbbing gooey duck to my door, um, but it's on the list. Take a level one through a max level dungeon. If he dies, you restart. Dude, I wanted to do another stream um, where I took my mom through through dungeons, man. That was one of the very uh, first events that I think I ever did. Was um, We basically threw my mom into Mythic Pluses or Mythic Dungeons, and she never... She doesn't play games, much less World of Warcraft, but she never touched it in her life. I had to do like a Rocky montage before that stream of like two hours just to teach her how to move around in the world and target things. I think that could be kind of fun. But, you know, that's a whole... That's a lot to get to get her sitting down, ready to roll. Yeah. Eat it raw. You're talking about the gooey duck? Um, now, I wouldn't be opposed to that for, for the memeage. However, comma, um, th this is an exotic... Um, it's pretty much an exotic clam. And um, I don't know. Is that going to make me sick? Who knows, dude? Hey, what's up, Damar? Yo, thanks for the follow, man. Would you uh would you advise BM Hunter or Assassination Combat for PvE and PvE? Uh which version? Are you doing some sod or are you doing some retail? What version are you playing?
Where are these? Okay, we need some more terror whelps. And I think we're big chilling. Sod? Well, um, it's a little tough to, to steer you in the best direction now because with the band just coming out today, popping off, um, you know, metas haven't been established yet. Power's going to get adjusted, right? So take what I say with a grain of salt, man. But what I will say is that rogues are getting some pretty powerful runes, it seems like, um, with like honor among thieves and stuff like that. Um, the PvP, man, rogue is very fun. I had a lot, I had a blast doing that last phase. Um, rogue tank was a little lackluster, which was unfortunate. Um, so there's a con there. Uh, BM hunter, or not BM, but like melee hunter was a really, really strong class for a long time. Uh, I'm not familiar with what the hunters got rune wise on this man for new additions. Um, if you're asking me what the safer play is, I mean, traditionally rogues are a little bit stronger late game than hunters. Uh, if we look at the, you know, classic overall, uh, hunters were really, really strong pre 60, but then would fall off in comparison to say like warrior, mage, late game. So we're kind of getting to that late game stage now. Um, so maybe hunter might be a little bit weaker if we're theory crafting, but I honestly, man, I have no idea for sure. I'd say go with what you enjoy the most. Um, at the end of the day, if you, yeah, if you want to play tank, I mean, rogues are the only one that could do that out of that pick. Combat swords. What about arms or fury? Uh, I'm not too familiar with warriors on this go around. I, I know with dual spec, like picking a warrior to just have to tank with is going to make you getting into, going to make it way easier for you to get into groups and such, um, which is never a bad thing, right? So, you, you got that going for you. Um, Warriors were also really, really good historically at level 60 for Classic. Um, so I imagine Sod will follow suit somewhat. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, thank you, Jillen. I'm glad you like the armor, man. Go for Priest. They're very good on Sod. Yeah, Priests are really good too. But Shadow's a lot of fun. Uh, Warlock. Mage looks really cool this band as well. Honestly, man. Um... It's going to be tough to steer you in the best direction just now because it's so new. But um, worst case scenario, say what you pick, you level it up. And like two weeks from now, when the meta is like established or whatever, and if you want to play to that, and let's say, okay, what you picked, it, it's just not good. Well, with, uh, with the big XP boosts and all the changes and stuff like that to make it a lot easier to level something up, um, you won't be too far behind. So like if you do pick wrong... No frets on that, man. You can get caught up pretty quickly. Yo, if anyone needs this dream-touched egg, it's on me. The the square. I, I needed it, so I'm assuming you guys do as well. Yeah. Uh, We got some satyr activity. I'm getting hit by something that I don't see. That's always a good time. Uh, Recover the dream. Okay, that's a lumber camp play. We know where the incursion is. Dream Roots. Uh, I think I saw those on the ground somewhere. I'm assuming they might drop from the Big Boy Trents. Makes a lot of sense. Fool's Gold, probably from the Plundery Boys. Shredder, we know. And this one is... Citronaut. Okay, cool. So I think if we go to the Demon Spot, we're going to KO like five things. Hey, what's up, Cody? What level do you get a Mountain Classic? Um, 40, traditionally. Level 40. No idea, but the memory is worth more than the potential hospital bill. Yeah, you know what? Um, you're, you're, well, I, I guess it depends on the quality of my insurance, to tell you the truth, man. I, I mean, Mike, if, I don't know if, like, you know, sickness by gooey duck is going to be covered, but, um, l let's say I don't get sick and it's just kind of gross, worth. That'd be, it's a hell of a meme. Man, I've seen gooey ducks for years and like just, you know, because they're how can you not see them if you're online? Always been very curious. It's like we got the means to it. It's in front of us, but it's just like kind of a pain in the ass. It's going pretty good, Cody. What about your day, man? I wonder if Warriors will get the Titans grip for P4 or in game or if that'd be way too hard to tune. I don't know, man. I know when we talk about abilities that are coming on down for Sod, the team wants to add things that feel fun and unique like the best hits for the class over all like points of the game but they actively like try to pick abilities 
that don't feel too retail-y, right? Um, like something that would like be just not a good fit at all for Saad. Like you, you gotta make, you, you gotta kind of ride that line. Like it, the example I always give is Convoke the Spirits for Druid. That's like a mainstay for Druids in retail, but if you put that in the Season of Discovery, it just wouldn't fit as well, you know? Um, that's the only real thing that I know they they look out for with, when it comes to abilities and such. Man, that'd be a great question for Josh. Like, what other parameters do you guys... Is it just like a vibe thing? Like, uh, do you do community feedback somehow? Like, like... Damn. That'd be a great question for him. I don't know if we needed this dude or not, but... I touched him. Good long day. Uh, do you add viewers to Bnet and play with... Yeah, dude. Um, you feel free to add me. My Bnet is uh, Deej1357. And then, yeah, most of the time, I mean, like, we do raids and shit. We sign up to the Discord. Um, I mean, we're, we're in a full group right now with people from the chats doing these... Uh, doing these uh, little emerald incursions, so... Oh, yeah, for sure, dude. Come on. Okay. Get that missive. Uh, what part of Ashenvale is the portal? I can't find it. It's uh, the northwest part. Or northeast, excuse me. Sorry. Right here. Right here. And there's a little thing out there. Um, you just... There, there's like a quest giver as you that you'll run into as you approach. Um, just have a little chit chat with them. Grab the quest to go before you go in. Yeah, that's the idea. Thanks for having right by it. Yeah, is it there? It is, dude. I didn't even notice it as uh, either, man. I, I looked at it and I was like, bro, has this always been there? Yep, yep, it has. Oh, thanks, Cody. I got you, dog. I appreciate you sending it in my way, man. All right, cool. Uh, what else we need? We got that. I think there's a um, little something, something out, uh, out top up here. Yeah. Oh, uh, we got the shredder thing KO'd. That's fine. Uh, that's at the that's at the lumber thing. The Azure. Wait, didn't we just get the Azure prophecy? Did I get interrupted? No shot. Hold up. Yeah, I think I got interrupted. Damn. Okay. Yo. Oh my god, dog. I mean, I don't blame them. If, if actually, that that's if everyone's dog piling on top of that, yeah, psychic scream to disperse, sure. But like, oh, it's already being used. I didn't know it was a dog pile for these things. Hey, you're right on that whatnot. Listen, if you if you're if you're burnt, man, take some snoo take some time, snooze it up. Snooze it up. No sense in like and and burning yourself on it. Better to be rested so you can enjoy it than push through just because, right? Oh my god, this is this is actually ass, bro. God. Who is it? Okay. Alrighty. Yep. So immediately I see the problem here with certain things. Yep, yeah, th this uh yeah, that's that that's that's a trollage. That's a trollage. Let's let that dissipate. I guess we got lucky that there wasn't a lot of density over there in the first place. How does phase three feel? Pretty good so far, man. Um, I'm very surprised with the incursions. I thought they were gonna be much, much more uh limp than they actually are. Hey, what up, Sodos? What's a great gaming monitor? Something better than 144 FPS? Um I rock an Asus uh 278G, I think is what it's called. I'd recommend that one. I've always, that, that's what I've rocked with for a long time. I gotta do some science in the morning? Oh yeah, dude, get some sleep, man. Don't push it. Ever tried an escape room? Yup. I fucking love escape rooms, bro. That is like my fit. You know how like family, like families will have just like activities and shit that they usually go to? Like their go-to, like, I don't know. Everyone's getting together. What are we doing for fun? My, me, my mom, my sister, we, we like escape rooms. Jess fucking can't stand them. So we always like kind of like, like drag Jess along to the escape rooms. Um, 
But yeah, dude, I, I love them, man. I, I don't know why. It's just, uh, it's like being in an interactive, immersive puzzle. I, and you got the whole timed element and stuff. If you get into good escape room, it's great. Some of them fucking suck. And like the, uh, the puzzles, even when you like understand them and know them and they don't make sense, like the solutions. But if you find a good escape room, man, like a, like a, a good spot that does it well, dude, some cool vibes. I'm off to the date. The wheel decision will be honored. Hey, good luck, bro. I hope the day goes well, man. I'm sure you'll kill it. Godspeed, bro. Oh, nice, Razor. Yeah, that's a good product as well. Then my size stuff is usually pretty solid. Oh, my God. Now, this will be an issue if this continues to happen. Uh, I don't even know when I get Banish. I'm trying to think back, like, when I, when I earned it originally. Uh, that, that, that is a, a shit show, man. Having them spot on top like that is a bit oofed. Is a bit oofed. Alright, let's roll it through. Yeah, I got a repair as well. Good looking. Good looking. Asus or Samsung? Yeah, Samsung is pretty good, uh, good as well. My torso is hot. My legs are cold. I don't like this. Send help. Bro, you're asking the wrong dude. I already sleep like a furnace, so. Uh, where's the quests in the nightmare? So you talk to a girl outside of the portal itself. Like, uh, there's a good distance from it. Uh, she'll give you, like, the intro stuff, and then she gives you, like, a package that you open up afterwards that's got, like, some badges and shit in it, and, um, and then a, a, a letter, and those are the quests. Like, uh, these little, where's that? See these little badges? That's how you can share them with the party. And then the letter is just like a little, or, and then the quest that you get, it's just like a little letter that's on its own. That's the idea. Uh, hey, Deej. I know I won't be for, a wait. I know I won't be for a long while, but I would love to see Jerry the Tax Man again. Good old Jerry the Tax Man, man. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good time. Um, I haven't been able to put Dragon's Alma down. Man, it gets way very immersive and addicting. Yeah, it's a cool little wandering game. If that's your vibe, dog, it's very, very well suited for that. And I'll say this. Even if we don't see the iteration of Jerry come back for Dragon's Dogma, I like that the, the spirit of Jerry is something that could follow us in whatever, you know, crazy venture we go through. Yeah, it's the spirit of Jerry that will be omnipresent. Is Deej anyone else's stream crush? No diddy. Thank you, dog. I'm... I'm I am glad I could just, you know, light any part of your Christmas tree up, dude. That's pretty cool. That's that's pretty sweet. Thanks, bro. There's like 10 mages uh, spamming Arcane Blast. Or, yeah, Arcane Blast spawning and dying. Yeah, just, just let them have their fun. They'll get bored in like 20 minutes. I, I, I just bounced out of that bitch. I'm like, yeah, okay, dude. You guys got it. Yo, this hits, the plague shot hits like a brick, man. And it um it interrupts all of your food too, which is like doubly doubly oofed. You end up uh I think yeah, Cass pulled the trigger on it. On some Dragon's Dogma action. It's a really cool game. It just it's one of those things, man, where it just I don't know. Like it's if you haven't played anything like it, you might not enjoy it. It's definitely it's a it's just different. In a good way for me, like, I liked it once I kind of understood what to go for, but, yeah, definitely wasn't as, as what I was expecting it to be. Um, yo, real talk, guys, I'm gonna call a spade a spade. This kind of sucks. Um, yo, Trav, hey, I appreciate the two months, dog. And he said, two down, many more to go. Hey, many more to go. Many more to go, dude. Thank you so much, man, for pumping, for slinging. For just enjoying the stream and for wanting to support me in a big way, dog. Thank you, man. And I hope your night's going well. I hope your night's going well. But yeah, guys, I'm going to call a spade a spade. This kind of blows. Um, th there's there's a bunch of alliance just spamming AoE on top of the quest item. And then uh, the hyper spawns in here, it, it, it's, it's hot ass. Perhaps we want to uh, schedule a, a managed retreat at this time. And maybe let things calm down before we consider penetrating the dream again yeah how we feeling how we feeling yo trab man 
pump it up with the 25 or with the 1500 biddies on top of that dude yo thanks man I, dog you thank you bro i just appreciate that you want to support in a massive way like that i mean subbing aside you coming in with the bits as well dude thank you dog thank you i'm gonna go look at lumber mill i'd be down to maybe peruse the lumber mill but the Seder spot sucks <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the Seder spot's gone, dog. Let's go to the mill, at least. Maybe maybe we could just get out of this area. Hold up, I gotta accept that. There it is, I gotta say, that's good. Thank you, Livu, I'm glad you like the outfit. Uh, how's the XP on the dream? It seems really good, man. It, it seems really good. My biggest, uh, well, that escort quest kind of sucks. Um, and, you know, the fact that we're playing on a PvP spot... That also is not doing city favors at the moment. But aside from those two factors, yeah. It, it's a lot better than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be just like a little spammy, like, portal thing. Nah, it's it's actual. It feels like a little classic zone. Call off work tomorrow for some phase three. You pushing for 50? What's the play? Don't gotta sell me, I've got like 80 hours in. Damn real? So like, do you, f like, like what happens? Do you just like definitively finish? Like when, when is the quote end? Oh, and this kind of sucks too. If you ever go out of bounds, like it, it kind of feels like you just, you can't get back in bounds and you just get yeeted away. That's a, that's the second time that that's happened to me and that kind of sucks, but. Lumber mill not bad? Sweet. All right, let's go get the mill. Yeah, maybe uh maybe people are just going to going to town at the Seder Den. Cath for two levels, then we hit ZF at 42. Honestly, that's not a bad play. That's not a bad play. I know you, ZF is gonna be a huge, huge thing. Um yeah, that's gonna be the big question is like when do you start spamming the ZF stuff? When do you transition into that? Yeah, honestly, that that seems pretty good to me. I vibe with it. I vibe with it. Uh, I'm gonna fucking die again. Whew. I really gotta repair, man. Oh, the Dream Harvest just chews through armor. That's what's happening. Look at this. Missing some armor. W well, what armor? That'd be great. Nice. Let me eat. Jesus. Deeds, the best thing I can say about Dragon's Dogma is the more that you play it, the better it gets. You just learn so much and you just get a lot. I mean, it's it seems like one of those games that's sort of, I don't know, it's just you have a lot of freedom. It's like completely off rails and that could be a gift or a curse, right? It, it, like, I like structure typically in games, um, not like hand holding, but like some sort of guided thing. Um, like the, the the big thing for me that feels frustrating with complete freedom in games is um, when you don't have feedback that tells you if you're on, if like you have something or not, like if you're on the right track or if you're just barking up the wrong tree, that's what sucks, right? Like, for example, if you like, I don't know, picked up a note and it, it talked about something and it was pretty vague and you're like, ooh, I have a hunch. I'm going to go explore it, something based on the note. Like, is that actually a red herring or is there something there? Because there's nothing worse than getting to it and having it be, you just can't figure it out for whatever reason. And then it's just like, well, like, I do I want to give up? Do I even know this is here? Like, you know what I'm saying? Just some feedback to be like, yes, there's something here. Like, just, this is, go for it. Those are, that's typically what I, I don't know. That's like uh, the guidance that, that I l like to see usually. DJ's an arrow above his head guiding him. No, not really. I mean, like, it's nice. Those sort of things are great um, for me to, like, you know, just kind of AFK turn my brain off um, and, and pay attention more to the chats. Or alternatively, like, e even in times in, you know, where I would play WoW, like, just on, on free time, didn't stream. Like, uh, a good example would be, like, in between my lunch break, like, when I was working from home, when I first started. Um basically just leisure time it was cool to just like not have to think about shit and figure it out and you could just kind of follow the guide as a way to get your mind rolling yeah um but typically i mean there is a lot of reward when you do figure something out um and, and it's not like you know guided like it makes it feel immersive it makes it feel alive yeah it's 
pretty cool. It's like solving a little mystery. But uh, I, it's always hard to find that per to, to get a perfect mystery, right? There's a little bit of lag canceling the uh, Immolation Aura too, I've noticed. Do we need this, dude? I don't know if we need them. Uh, Dream Root, Fool's Gold. Uh, we need the Shredder. And we need Masira Autumn Moon. Okay, cool. We're good to go. Let's see what else we need. Autumn Moon. That's the Southeast Tent Cluster. Oh, fuck. An escort quest over there? That's a yikes. That's a yikes. Let me head up this way. We, I think we need Shredder, don't we? Fool's Gold. Shredder. Some Trents. Vengeful Ancients. Oh, here we go. Uh, the pawns guide you, though. The really cool thing is when you get other players' pawns, they can actually guide you with finished questings uh, or tell you about the secrets that they discovered. Also, if someone just takes your main pawn for a spin, they will tell you about um, what they found and what they did in another world. There are honestly a lot of a more, lot more guides than you think. It's just in a different way. That was that was ultimately what it was. Like, um, I, I had some pawn interactions when I played a bit on my own. Um, and, and once I had that happen to me a couple times, like, that's cool. It felt immersive and everything. Um, but again, it's a, it's a different form of guidance that we're used to seeing, right? In a, in a bunch of other types of, uh, questing systems. It's, it's just one of those things. Like I had another thing too, where it was like, I, I've overheard a conversation. Like, here's a great example. I, I was in the main city and I was looking for like a, a weapon upgrade and I overheard an elf behind me talking about like, oh, these bows are looking mighty good. Like he was just gassing up the bows for sale. And when I talked to him about it, he basically told me his story about how he was like an elf and how archery is a big deal in their sieve, but, you know, he's not allowed to touch human bows or anything, but he's so fascinated by it, but he's not allowed to buy it. And then you get the option of like, well, I could buy it for you, you're right? So I bought it for him and started this whole big quest thing, right? So there's nothing that tells you like, yo, this is a thing, not just some chatter NPC dialogue. Yeah, like you, you, you think of a, a city, there's so much just like ambient chatter that is bullshit, nothing, right? It, it like I pass that NPC so many times, like that's what I'm talking about with guidance is like a lot of people probably wouldn't have gotten that off of it. Just having a little something, something to distinguish like, hey, you know, out of the hundreds of voices, this voice is on there. Yeah. That's what I was expecting going in. Yeah. The pawns do that, though. They comment on stuff that is important. The pawns talk a fucking lot, dog. Honestly, the pawns got annoying. Um, they say a lot of bullshit, like, like, like meaningless stuff. That's another great example. And, and it's like, as someone, like, coming in fresh, if you don't know to listen to the pawns, you'll assume that they're out there spewing a bunch of BS off rip because they they do for the majority of the times but like every now and then there's going to be a pawn that's like oh like i know a cool place would you like me to take you there it's like oh yeah sure yeah. but it's like that happens but there's also like 50 voice lines of like you know um we should get a mage in our party we should get a warrior in our party that rock looks cool you know like like stuff that has you know whatever that just kind of gets drowned out that's what I'm saying. So, like, having those little things to, I don't know, separate the the meat from the noise. Yeah. Damn, these quest areas are popping. Uh, I think I'm going to level another tune for a day or something. Yeah, dude. Honestly, if it's, yeah, if you're feeling a little bit, like, too, like, it's too uh, intense at the moment, definitely, man. There, There's a lot in here. There's a lot. Uh, yep, phase three is out. You got it, daddy. Uh... Where are these things that you're talking about? Uh, we're talking about the Dragon's Dogma 2 stuff. Um, just like the questing system and that. But uh, I I'm in a dream. What is it? The dream incursion at the moment? Yeah. They go like, Master, that sounds pretty interesting. Maybe we should, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. And those moments are cool. Um, 
but again, just having something that distinguishes like, yo, this you need this is actually kind of important. That that go a long way, I think. They have the golden question mark point when they talk about something interesting. Do they? That'd be great, but I don't ever recall seeing that. Like uh the times that I've interacted with my pawns have uh it yeah, just sort of I I heard the voice lines. Yeah, they do. Must be a different thing, man. I cuz that's what I was looking for originally, right? Was um like like just just something to be like, yo, there's a quest here. A golden hand? What what you mean a golden hand? Labas Alliance? Yeah, I thought they... Yeah, I, it, it feels like they wanted, like, whatever this was, I guess. I, I don't know. But uh, this is more of... More of the same shit. They're competing over the mobs here. Maybe we can get some dist. Well, I'm eating three slow-cooked steaks slathered in vegan tear gravy. I cut it with a fork. Is it that tender? Like, it's either a golden hand to follow them or golden exclamation mark to, sh uh, to show, hey, something we could do here. We must be talking about two different things. Because, um, like, basically the interactions that I had with them, they, uh, they, somebody would come up and be like, yo, uh, I know an interesting point around. And then you'd have to use, like, the command to tell them to, like, go, like, you know, with the follower thing, like the follower command to be like, go. And then you'd follow them, but there was no, like, UI thing to prompt you for that. It was just something, you know, this kind of baked in. See the above comment, Deej? You appear to be geary about to be naked. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, um, we got a couple of these things KO'd. But, man, this is getting to the point where it's a little, little bit too girthy IMO. A little bit too girthy. I feel like we should let these things chill for a bit. Um, and, and then come back at a, uh, maybe non, like, for whatever reason, Lions has just turned and decided the layer two dream, uh, dream incursion in Ashenville. That, that's, that's going to be all lust for like, you know, the foreseeable future. So maybe we return it a bit. Yeah. Maybe we turn it a bit. That kind of sucks. I, I sort of, uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe it's just when you pack this many people in at launch, on a PvP server, it's like, obviously, yeah, this this sort of thing would happen. It'll probably calm down soon, I, I suppose. But yeah, I think it's time we return to the leveling, to the normal leveling zone. It is really cool. I will say, it's a lot deeper than I thought. Um, there's certainly a lot to be had out here. The questing is limitless, dude. You just get item after item. Uh, and you can kind of steamroll through uh, the, the questing stuff if you really wanted to. It's pretty cool. Better than I thought it would be. Real talk. Better one I thought, than I thought it would be. You said it is that tender? Nice, dude. Sounds quite good. I don't know if I'll layer out of here if I accept the thing, but we'll keep me it through. Question. Is anyone in a, in a dream incursion where it's not? Well... I guess we have to limit our sample size to PvP, to people on like PvP stuff, but for those of you guys who are out there, is it looking like a war-torn hellscape like ours right now? Or is there some peace within the dream for you guys? We had some peace on that first go, but then it just took a dive, man. Uh, P2 was the same. Uh, yeah, a, bu a bunch of people questing the stuff, yeah. And gr yeah, a bunch of- <laughs> which Cheeto does the nightmares, that's funny. <laughs> I uh, can't with the quest agree. Yeah, man. I mean, I get it if you're competing for mobs or whatever, but the mage is spamming arcane explosion on top of the pickup quest. That was an oof. <laughs> that was an oof. Uh, Deej, what'd you do with level 20? The druid? It's still there. Still memeing. Real talk. How uncomfortable is that armor? It's not bad. The most uncomfortable thing about this armor are the shoulders because I kind of like, you know, they're so close to the headphones. I, I hit them all the time. And they make a scratching sound against them. It's kind of uncomfortable. Um, the suit itself, though, isn't that hot. Like, it's very it's very thin. It's kind of, like, silky. Um, like, uh, bro, the dragon onesies and the murloc onesies, like, th those other things that I've worn on the stream sometimes, those are way worse. Um, 
in terms of the heat than this thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'd say like on a scale of one to ten, it's probably like a three or four, maybe something like that. Three or four, I'd say. Lol, I love the armor. Thank you, Doogie. I'm glad you vibe with it, man. Lone Wolf started out with peace, and then the Mogro Alliance showed up after a few hours and started a war. Seeing a motif, seeing a thing. Yeah, maybe it's a peak hours thing, right? Because it, I mean, it is like seven o'clock Eastern. Yeah, they do that too, but I'm thinking that you didn't have other players' pawns with you. Or the Capcom official ones. No, I had all the I had all the official ones, yeah. I had the one that I created. I had ones that I picked up in the in the wild. I um the, I didn't have other players' pawns, but that I mean Yeah, I'd played what 20 hours at that point. So if that if that if that's a thing that's on other players' pawns, man, that should be in at the start, real talk. Not so that I, I can hope to discover 20 hours in. Right? I mean, it's, again, it's cool. It's just like you you have to know to look for that first. Then once you know to look for that, then it's like, oh, okay. I got it now. Does the Anyone armor have a built-in thong? No, but it did come with a belt. Like a little... Well, it was really a sash. A belt would be uh, generous. It's, re it's really a sash. But... Wasn't the, wait, yo, wasn't the vendor, like, right over here? Hey, close there, Iron. Uh, Anduin Lothar. Very close, though. Dude, am I fucking losing it? I, bro, I thought it went through the portal, like way back there. What up, Tails? How's it going, man? Yo, did I not go through the portal? I, I could have sworn I went through. What the hell? Okay, whatever. Yikes. Uh, not bad. I was afraid you would be miserable and hot. Nah, nah, it's okay. Th this one's, this one's totally chilled. Been running some ZF. For anyone other than a healer, I would say 43 more likely 44 as a healer what can you do it on out of curiosity thanks Daniels. uh bro i work a lot i'm only 33 should i keep pushing yeah man uh i mean there's like xp boosts that you get um up until 40 i think it's 100 percent extra xp and even post 40 like check this out 50 percent extra on top of that so, yeah, even if you do work, man, I mean, the XP buffs have kind of kind of added some stuff to where you'll be able to kind of get caught up pretty quickly, I'd say. I started at 40 and all but two pieces of this. Okay, so yeah, you're a little juice then, but when you can't check out the video I put in reacts, all right, bet. Thanks for slapping it in there, dude. Deej, you are my knight in shorting armor. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that, man. Glad I could be that. Glad I could be that. Ooh, we got a this or that. My dog has been sick recently and I'm sleeping downstairs with him to keep him company and, and avoiding the missus bed. Oh, that's an am I the asshole? No, I don't think you're the asshole. Nah. I mean, if if it helps your your dog like recover, I don't it comfort is I think a big plays a big role in like health. So, you know, especially with animals, man, when they're comfortable, um, it helps them, I think, make a speedy recovery. I mean, if you like straight up ignored your wife and she was like, why aren't you sleeping with me? And you're like, I don't know. I You smell or something. Yeah, you'd be the asshole. But now if you explain it, it's like, oh, it's helps the dog. No, nah, I don't think so. Just helping the dog. If I log back in, I'm going to do some hardcore, to be honest with you. Nice. Yeah. I mean, why not? Right. Keep it raw. Keep it rolling. If you still enjoy it, man, keep it rolling. I uh, just want to keep an eye on them. Not going to lie. Yeah. I don't see anything wrong with that. I don't see anything wrong with that. <laughs> Tannels, dude. Hey, 50 bucks on Amazon will get you this exact fit, bro. That's all you gotta do. 50 bucks on Amazon will, and you could be this. Go for it. Go for it. That's all it takes. All right, let's get on this flight path. 
So from here, I'm feeling we do... We need to make our way down to the Badlands. So we need to probably do a Hammerfall, Wetlands, uh, Wetlands Long and Skip, Oldemon. Yeah. Or the Oldemon area. Yeah. That's where I'm headed. I need a sugar daddy to buy me things. Anna says, ooh, same. Okay, I'm not advising this, but isn't there a website for that? I am I tripping? Or I feel like there's probably a website for this. Just, yeah. I, I don't know for sure. But yeah. Just thinking. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was um, losing my... Losing that quest that I had in the Badlands there for a second. Asherville soundtrack is one of my favorites of all time. Yo, same, dude. The whole Night Elf Zone is so nostalgic for me, man. So, Deej, since I haven't done this in a while, mine's as well pick the dad joke of the day back up. Or might as well pick the dad joke of the day back up. Uh, are you feeling cold? Sit in the corner. It's 90 degrees. Nice. Nice, dude. That's a hard angle, huh? Pick it right up when you've left off, dog. Well played. Well played, man. That one hits, Bob. So does the armor have a quick release bum plate? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I will say it's not really um, made with those considerations in mind. Yeah. No, nah, it doesn't. Yeah. You gotta feel like classic. Wow. There's always that one song from a place that brings you back. The song playing in Ashen Vale right now, is that for me? Yeah, that one hits for me. Barons is really good. Westfall music, late at night. Oof, that's Biss. That's Biss. Yeah, Lindy agrees. I have the Song of a Loon on Spotify. Dude, check this out. Hold up, hold up. Let me find my playlist. <laughs> Let me find my little stream playlist here. Alright, I've got some Skyrim stuff, but... Zangerbarsh, Dun Moreau, Ashenvale, Mol Molgore, Azimist Isle, Barons, Elwyn, Teldrassil, Eversong Forest, Nagran, Feralus, Grizzly Hills, Howling Fjord, Storm Peaks, Wild Suramar, Wild Westfall. Those are the ones that I got on deck. Ready to rip at any time. You know the vibes, man. I didn't even know Wild Music was on Spotify. That's amazing. Yeah, I think there's some playlists. What I do is I um, download the MP3s from YouTube and then store them locally and just roll it that way. Because, uh, I don't know, that just works for me, I guess. But, yeah. There's also, too, I think, um, you can find those videos on YouTube. There's, like, an hour of, like, whatever zone amb ambiance that you want. Those are pretty sweet. Wow should just bite the bullet and release a D2-style itemization system. I feel like they experimented a little bit with the spirit of that. When it came to the insanity traits in the last patch of BFA, the one thing that kind of was a big feels bad for that system in particular, however, was like in an ARPG, it feels like you're getting a ton of um, items like very, very quickly. Like you're getting so many different versions of it um, that you can kind of sweat the variants for Abyss. But in WoW, when you got, like, I don't know, like your 424 Bracers, having the traits kind of have exponentially varying levels of power made it to where you not only had to get lucky, but you had to get, like, triple A lucky. Like, you had to have, get your Biss drop, win the roll, and then have it also have, like, the highest level of the Void trait between 1 to 3. They released the vendor... Um, on a random rotation for some reason at the end to sort of remedy that, I guess. But yeah, that's why I didn't and didn't um like as much about that system. It was really cool though. I like the void traits, but the acquisition was ass. If you have fodder, they were yeah. We do got we do have the fodder. Uh, one step that's left on hard was Elder Scrolls jump skill. Hmm. I mean, they used to do a speed thing. The speed thing was really cool. You could make like speed sets and shit to do the mo uh, mog runs a lot faster. 
So which one has more players in it? Classic Hardcore, Wrath Classic, or Sod Classic? At the moment, probably Sod. Um, Wrath is like about to transition to, to Kata. Regu there's a couple regular classic servers still rolling. Um, a hardcore, there's still a couple of raiding guilds. But Sod kind of, well, Sod and some other things kind of, you know, preemptively ended. Uh, I don't want to say ended, but it cut the lifespan short. I'd say if you're looking for the biggest bulk, it it right now it'd be Sod Classic. Yeah, if I had to guess. What a B. Imagine a jumping skill and wow and level it up. Didn't RuneScape have like an agility skill? Yo, Jonathan, thanks for the GGs, man. Is that a playlist that you could share on Spotify? I don't know because it's local files only. Like it's, um, you know, the, I know Davina shared one in the Discord. I bet if you um search Davina's post in Discord, you'd be able to find her playlist because she has a bunch of WoW stuff. I know you're you're probably in the Discord already, Gukas, but I'll put the link there for anybody who isn't and and wants to see if they could track it davida's got some banging playlists in there hey what's up red eye how we doing bro runescape does have agility dude so i've been looking a lot at some runescape stuff um i mean runescape was my very first mmo i'm very nostalgic about it and i've been looking more into it recently because you know we, we did a little stream segment on this thing i put this up on youtube too for the brighter shores mmo for those of you guys who don't know um, the creator of RuneScape, the OG RuneScape, Andrew Gower, uh, he announced that he's basically releasing his MMO, uh, his own MMO. And what's interesting about that is he's been quietly grinding on this thing for 10 years, and it's going to come out in quarter three of this year. Um, if anyone wants to see it, hold up, let me see if I can find a link for it. Where's this bad boy at? Yeah. I'll just, I'll drop the... A little link here if anyone cares to uh delve deeper but uh, i've been looking at it just because it's so similar to runescape and um honestly man it, it brings back a lot of memories from that era like that mmo come up era but the one thing that i feel like might hurt the new mmo brighter shores is that it feels too much like runescape so it could have a little bit of an identity crisis right a lot of a lot of the comments that I kind of looked at were just like, oh, so this is basically just RuneScape or it just looks too much like it. Or so it, it feels like people, you know, maybe just will glance at a trailer and be like, oh, OK, been there, done that. This is whatever. Um, and it's kind of meh, kind of mid sort of vibe. Right. So it could just be too similar to where it, it can't actually find its own niche. But we'll see. We'll see. Andrew's like a titan of industry, man. He, did so much for the MMO genre, so it's like, pff, I'm excited to see what he's cooking up, regardless. I'm good, bro. Your armor's fantastic. Thanks, man. I need to level my druid, but I just had a baby five days ago. That's IRL prog, Jessica. That, um, you know, childbirth is one of the toughest secondary professions I think you could do, so do what you gotta do. Make sure that baby is uh, well-fed and, you know, got the smiley face icon, not the angry face icon. Like the hunter pets. That definitely takes pride, dude. I feel that. You play Affliction? Yeah, Affliction's my favorite spec ever. I love that build. I saw some TikTok about a dude working on a game that's basically dinos with swords. Audrey, real talk. Bro, I li we literally looked at that earlier today. Yeah, Dino Blade. It looks badass. I'm probably going to clip it and put it on the talk. Dino Blade looks fucking fantastic. Oh my god. I I've never like... I've never wanted to pull the trigger on something on Steam so fast. It Did you see the T-Rex with a chainsaw on his head? And he had double chainsaws on his little arms? And the ninja velociraptor running around with katanas? He was wielding two katanas and then had one in his fucking mouth. Oh, what a hook. What a hook, dude. I'm, I'm hot on that already. Hey, what's up, Umber? Phase 3 launch. Can't play. Broke my hand and arm in three places. That sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. I wish you a speed recovery, though. How'd you how'd you damage it? Hey, good luck on the meeting, Tom. We'll see you later, dog. Level the druid with a baby uh, in the... What is a papoose? What? What is this? Papoose? Um... So this is what I'm... I, I'm assuming you, you, you're not... 
advising Jessica to give their child to this man, right? This uh, rapper. Born March 5th, 1978. No, professionally, it's Papoose. He did put out a prolific mixtape, though. Four studio albums, 29 mixtapes. Okay, this guy's kind of a 29 mixtapes. Hold up. Yo, Jessica, maybe maybe you need to, to put this guy on the wheel. One second. 29 mixtapes is big, big efforts. Uh, born in Brooklyn. Okay, that's sweet. He broke out in 05. Discography. Yo, cousin of record producer Pierre Bourne. You guys know that producer tag where it's like, yo, Pierre, you want to come out here? That's him. He works on a lot of popular songs. Pierre's kind of a big name. Damn, okay. Dude, did you guys know that Soldier Boy was like related to Snoop? He's like Snoop's cousin or like like nephew or something. I'm pretty sure that's the case, right? Can someone fact check me on that? I'm pretty sure. Fell off a roof? Damn, dog. No. Oh, I wish you a speedy recovery, dude. One in the Resident Evil's game, the T-Rex with a chainsaw. Yeah, look it up. It's called Dino Blade, Miss Love. Well, actually, hold up, hold up. I got it right here. And Amrith, I haven't forgot about you. Uh, man, I appreciate you being patient with me. Yo, check this out real quick. It's like a 10 second. Well, it's one minute. But watch this shit. So again, this game is called Dino Blade, man. Look at this thing. Hey, indeed, a duel. There's the Raptor with a katana. Here's the T-Rex with a butcher cleaver. You have a Spinosaurus fighting a T-Rex with a katana. Here's a fucking Jurassic Park with a great sword. Yeah, th this thing. Look at him. I'm trying to find a nice still frame. I think another one comes through. There's a scythe with Allosaurus. T-Rex and Allosaurus going hand to hand. This is dope. A Velociraptor with a bow shot. Like, oh God, dude. Take my money, please. And then you have this thing, it Velociraptor with chainsaw on head, double chainsaw arm, like T-Rex with a great axe. God, that's so clean. Yeah. Fucking sick, man. Fucking sick. Um, oh, this is an Amazon find. We're, we're not talking about a, a rap artist, are we? This is an Amazon find. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, this makes way more sense. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like a little like knapsack thing, like a little cradle. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, it's way better, dude. I want to get one of those uh, side things for the desk. It's like a clip on, cr uh, like a what are those? Like a like a crib thing. You can just put them in there. If I want to start a classic, what do you feel is the easiest class to start? Um, for classic specifically, probably Warlock is a good start or Hunt Hunter. Hunter's not bad either. Um, Hunter is really, really like strong for leveling, but there are a couple systems that might be a little bit annoying for a new player. Like you have to keep, make sure your pet has like a bunch of food. So he stays happy or he'll run away. Um, you can't like really attack like with your arrows and stuff when things are too close. It's called a dead zone. Some people find that a bit frustrating, but if you don't mind those aspects, I'd say Hunter or Warlock if you don't want to fuck with that. The Chainsaw is literally an adaptation for the Chainsaw Man anime. Oh, real talk? Yo, it's got the name Dorothy on the side. Is that any significance? Druid or Hunter? Druid's another good one too. There's a devlog on this game. These Dino Blades was just a bunch of random animations done for fun. Then people started saying, yo, why isn't this a game? And now he's working on it. Yeah, dude, he was a what? An animator by trade? And then he was just encouraged, dude. Nutty. I really, really hope that it comes out. Like, it, it's so early. Like, it's uh, maybe like nothing more than a proof of concept right now. But dog, if it came out in anywhere close like to that, I mean... Bro, it's dinosaurs with swords. What a tagline. What a tagline. Servers seem okay for me, Herman. Um, I know a lot of people were having some issues before. But they seem alright for me now. Uh, Druid lets you sort of experience all roles with one class. Yeah. And for Saad, you got dual spec now, so. 
Find an easier time getting into groups as well. All right, Amrtha, we're on a little bit of a flight path here. Let's uh, let's see. What we got? What's your dream job? Me. Oh God, we're on the ice. <laughs> Dog, what, bro? This must be some ice skating trip, like some sort of ice skating. Yeah, they're all like, yeah. They're all like helmeted up, dog. Bro, I'd be out here with the kids, man. I suck at ice skating. I'm horrifically bad. Jess is very, very good when it comes to balance and stuff because she did gymnastics when she was younger. But um, yeah, no, I can't like skateboard very well. I can't snowboard. I can't surf. And uh, when I'm out there skating on the ice, dude, I'm literally like little Timmy and, and Sarah, 10 years old. They're doing spins around my ass, and I'm over here, like, wobbling, like, holding on to the sign. Yeah. I'd eat shit on there, dude. <laughs> I'd eat shit on that. I gotta hit up the link below the video, too. Oh, is it the same vid? Or same vibe? Uh, it says, this account is private. That's odd. I've never been hit with that one before. Just got dual spec on the hunter. Nice, dude. But you can computer well? That's right. Hey, what up, Gil? That's right. I can, um, you know, I'm good in some areas, but I'm ass in other areas. I'm with you there, brother. Against better judgment, being known in my circle as a clumsy one. <laughs> I'm not necessarily super, well, hmm. I would, uh, I don't know. I just, uh, I would say I'm super clumsy. Like, I don't, like, I can ski pretty well, but, um, I don't, like, trip normally and shit. But some things, like, uh, some very specific things, I just, like, can't do. I just, like, can't vibe with. And, yeah, that's one of those, dog. <laughs> that's one of those. I decided to go up on a roof to fix that lake, and, oh, hey, at least we give you the plus one for trying. What level can't see at 42? Yep, you got it, bro. What's up, young money? Are you questing or running dungeons? I'm questing at the moment. Uh, we were doing a little bit of those Emerald Dream incursions, but uh, those became uh, a fuckfest. And, and so I, we, I left along with the four other guilders we were running with, <laughs> but while everyone was nice and chill and not being degenerate, uh, and, and KO when people like quest objectives and such, it was, it was very solid. Are profs going to 300 now? Yeah. Yeah. They should be good to go. They should be good to go. Hey, and we got immolation aura. I did see somebody with a fell guard though. So I kind of want to. Like, let's check Wildhead to see. Maybe they have a post up on um some some runes. Uh, student fodder is working. Apparently, Mech Jinnier Thermaplug just doesn't give experience for level forty characters either, according to uh according to this post. But uh, no other info on the runes. Real talk, I think uh. We'll either see some coming late tomorrow. Oh, hold up. This site says gate. Ah, uh, no. Nah, this was a clickbait. This random site I had never heard of claimed to have a guide, but really it's just a loose description of, like, what the runes do. Yeah, I've been clickbaited. Fucking yikes. All right, Warcraft Tavern. Let's see it. Mmm... Oh, shit. Warcraft Tavern's looking actually... Oh, they've got it. Oh, shit. Yo, I'm about to go get a Felguard, man. Summon a Felguard. Oh, dude. No, man. It's gathered from the Explorer Imp treasure bag. Oh, God. Dude. And it says, current fell portals that drop this room, Desolus, Swamp of Sorrows, Ashen Vale, and Westfall. Okay, so we got to keep a lookout for that. That kind of implies that maybe there's going to be different loot tables for different zones. What about Unstable Affliction? Uh, that's the Emerald Wardens faction. Friendly. Backdraft, Pandemic, Vengeance. Okay. Backdraft. Still looking. That hasn't been found yet. Pandemic still looking. Hasn't been found yet. 
Vengeance still looking hasn't been found yet. Okay. So really it's just Felguard, which comes from the Imp. And um Immolation Aura, which we have. Sweet. Wow, that bug's still not fixed. With the um moving summoning thing. Cool. Okay. Excellent. Let's get it moving. Headed on down to uh good old oh, we could go do this maybe. Yeah, yeah, let's go. We could go over. I mean, we might as well. We're never going to come over here anyways. I guess we don't do this now. And uh, I, I don't... I wouldn't anticipate that there's going to be a lot of people over here, right? Maybe we just go KO these now. We got like Sigil Thorn, Cow Thorn. Yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. I mean, why does Mel? No reason to walk away from shit. Yeah, no, yeah. new runes too. Yeah, we're just making, making sure I didn't miss any right there. Um... Kind of going through a couple. Hey, what's up, unknown? I oh, know we got you. Sorry, dog. <laughs> That's on me. Love the working in engineering. Gonna be a pain because I'm poor. Uh, as somebody who still has to level up, um, what's it called? Enchanting. Oh, it's up there. I'm dumb. I feel you, bro. I feel you. Ooh, Cash. We got a life lesson. What is an appropriate age gap in your opinion? My friend was saying, uh, someone 21 and 30 is okay, but I wanted to see your take. Won't be too far in your view. Um, well, for me, I mean, as long as no one's really, uh, as long as both parties are like comfortable and it's a healthy thing, you know, and no one's like being manipulated or an age isn't used in like a, you know, in a malicious way against one party or the other. I have no personal opinions on it. Uh, I mean, my parents had a pretty large age gap between it, each, uh, between them because like my, my dad like divorced and, and remarried and stuff later in life. Um, and sometimes, you know, life just happens. And if you meet your person and it's a mutually beneficial thing, sweet, pop off, right? More power to you. Again, for me, it's like, as long as it's, as long as it's healthy for everyone involved, doesn't bother me personally. Um, that's, that's my big thing. Yeah. Yeah. My grandparents have a very large one too. Yeah. It's like, sometimes just like life happens, man. And, and you can't help who you fall for. Right. Like, I don't know. Let me cook you up an example. Right. Uh, say like you're, I don't know, you're a single dude and, and you, you're, you're, you're fucking fighting in the war or something. Yeah. And, uh, you're just like hard, big dick it up a full on military career and highly decorated, but like, you know, you're pushing to big status and you're like in your fifties or something. I don't know. And then like, you get like, you get got like out there and, um, you come back and they, they, they pair you up with a nurse who just got in and it's pretty like young, like 29 or something. And, you know, she nurses you back to health and you guys kind of hit it off from there. Hey, that's wholesome as hell. Right. And it's just like, fuck, you know, life happens like that sometimes. So I stay in my own lane. Right. Um, TLDR it's not, it's not really impeding me in any way. So as long as everyone's healthy and happy, it's all I really, yeah. All I'm really for. Hey, what up Vinny? How we doing, bro? Uh, this lock in org has a fell guard. I saw somebody with a fell guard mm -hmm. in the dream incursion. I saw somebody in it. I, I don't know if it's a random thing at all. I don't know if it's like, uh, I know it just comes from the imp portal thing, but I have no idea if it's random or, or like uh, guaranteed on your first like portal. It, it makes sense that, um, it didn't pop for us the other day because when we did the portal, like the next phase wasn't out yet, so I get that, but yeah. Oh, thanks, Gas. Uh, chilling, brother. How goes the discovery? It's it's pretty discoverable. It, it's um, yeah, I'm really feeling the the sweet senses of exploration and uh, initial findings. It's quite good, dude. Quite cool. Quite cool. Glad to hear that you have some fun. I'm not fit a line. I've come in here about four times over the last seven hours. You still 42. What are you doing? Um, well, we were we were at a pretty decent pace before. And uh then we kind of got bogged down with the emerald dream stuff. Um it took a hot minute to kind of explore and figure out what's going on over there. Right. And then uh, everyone just started killing each other in the in the portal. So we lost some time to that. But uh, you know, we're back out here in Arathi doing our own thing now, so. Yeah, we'll we'll start getting back on that quest and grind. Uh, mages boosting already forty eight. 
I mean, if they, if they like it, dude, hey, more power to them. More power to If they're having fun, it is what it is, man. For me, I, I, I like the open world stuff, and I, I like getting out here in quests and doing my thing. And I like to go, you know, at a decent pace, but at the same time, it's like, bro, the open world is a lot of the content, too, so... I don't know, I don't kind of feel like when you just boost it that way, for me personally, it's like I, 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 I miss a little bit of the zones, right? Thanks, Bori. No hate, I fought with the fifth. Thanks, dog. No, I didn't take it that way either. Unfortunately, it's all G. Uh, Audrey, you got an art bot, a demonic imp coming through a fell portal with Applebee's tendies. Okay, bet. Hmm. <laughs> bet. One second. Let me, um... Let me just let me just tell the art bot to like really prime some RAM for that. Okay, that's good. It's rolling. It's rolling deep. Uh what a drag. Why get a cap? It'd be more ready two weeks for everyone else, right? Yeah, there's that as well. <laughs> yeah, there's that as well. It's like uh I mean you're gonna be first there, but it's like, you know, you're gonna be the only one on top of that mountain. No one really there to take your picture, yeah? So Yeah. I feel ya. I feel ya. Lol watching the stream while driving to work. I appreciate you keeping me on, man. Appreciate you keeping me on, dog. See, th this is this is best. Being this paladin can coexist. Flandir, I'm gonna give him a friendly slash wave. Um, you know, that way we know or he, they know that we're not a threat. Oh, we got a rogue though. Good old zipper. I'm chilling. Hopefully, same deal. We can coexist, man. I don't need the smoke. Crumpet. Nice name. I'm digging the name. Oh, no. They're going to get real confident in here, man. Oh, God. They're going to get real confident in here. Yo, I'm feeling like I'm about to be raw dogged. Uh, but let's see it. Let's see it. Uh, Brother, do you use OBS? I do. Try to get my head around it. Move from Streamlabs to OBS. Um... I mean, they're, they're, okay, basically Streamlabs is like OBS with a, with a skin. Like, uh, Streamlabs, like, uh, at its core, does the same thing that OBS does, but it just is a lot, like, you know, more user-friendly. OBS is, like, literally raw comparison to Streamlabs, so, um, honestly, I kind of get it to the point where I, it could just do what I, exactly what it needed to do. And then I don't fuck with it. Um, I just kind of YouTube my way through it and, let, and then let it hang. Can you stream on multiple platforms at once without a sub? If your internet is good enough, you can, yeah. But um, a lot of the reasons why people use uh, subscription services like Restream um, is because their upload isn't good enough to handle, you know, two streams at once. And, and I mean, not even internet, dude. It, it's really taxing on your computer as well. So, um, and then you have... Especially if you're on a single PC setup, like, you know, you got to have a, a PC that can do two streams and play a game and have no lag. And usually there's other shit in the background, too. Yeah, it's it's um very, very taxing. But you can, as long as you got the, the hardware and the, the speed to do so. Uh, where'd you get the WoW armor? I almost legit bought WoW armor for the movie Warcraft. Uh, my mom actually got this for me on Amazon. But it's not, like, legit armor. Like, it's it's not metal. Like, these small uh, boulders here, the shoulder blade, they're, they're plastic, hard plastic. Um, and the suit is, like, kind of, you know, silky. Like, little onesie thing. But it looks pretty cool. It was a Biss Mom gift, so we'll take it. I like Streamlabs. I don't know why I, um... Basically, before I started streaming, I just did a bunch of research on stuff because I knew absolutely nothing. And so my thing was like, okay, before I even hit go live, I'm just going to kind of like do all my research and, and get it going. That way I don't have to. Okay, bro. Like, wh why did this person just seek me out, man? I was, we were doing our own thing, bro. Why are we getting, all right. Now we know that Pally is going to be killed on site. But anyway, um, yeah, I kind of just did all that. And for whatever reason, I think I just landed on OBS. Um, there was something that I just didn't buy with the slobs. Maybe it was the alerts or something. Yeah, it could have been alerts. They look really cool. Thanks, bro. My computer handles it fine. I can stream to Discord and streamables with WAP. Okay, cool. 
She should be good then. And he said, I know absolutely nothing about streaming. Same, bro. I've come to learn that that's a constant. Yeah. Yo, what a medal? Ooh, nice, dude. Yo, I'm the first pixels on the screen. Hey, we'll take it, dog. Look at that. Yo, first of all, thank you for the bits. Congrats on the uppy. And I appreciate you rolling through, dude. Hell yeah. Congratulations on that one. How's the day otherwise, man? Everything going well? I guess while we're running back, yo, Audrey, art bot, boom, this is what we got. This is a de demonic it coming through a fell portal with Applebee's chicken tenders. Yep. Yo, that's sick. Look at this. Damn. I, lo I love the portal fit. It kind of looks like a wooden door frame, sort of, but it, it's got like organic life properties, so kind of like the Zerg. I don't know. Let me know what you think, Audrey. But this is what it drew. Nailed it. Excellent. Glad that's the case. Glad that's the case. Yo, is um before I before I get real spiteful here, is, is anyone in the chat that gray-haired paladin that killed me a second ago? Because I'm about I'm a little salty. I taste some sodium in that last kill for some reason. I just want to make sure before I uh talk a lot of shit. So what do you guys? Yeah, we good? Hydration chat? Yo, thanks, man. Got you right here, dog. Oh, there's my beautiful orcish corpse. Very close to this bush. Okay, step one. Boom. Let's get rolled up. Eat it up. Let me get ready for war. Everything else we've got. I could do... Ooh, dude, should I rip a world buff? If I die with a world buff, it's going to be a real feels bad. But to be honest with you... I might be that petty right now. I think I'm that petty right now. Fuck it, dude. I'm tired of getting put in the dirt and just walking away. Mm-hmm. I think I, I think I think I think it's enough's enough, dude. I think it's time. I think it's time to rip it. Great took like three hours to gut the old machine, moving some stuff over to the new one. Uh then it wouldn't post and I had to reset the RAM. But other than that, it was smooth. Alright. It's a little bit of light troubleshooting, but not the you know, worst case, and it's not like you had a static discharge on the motherboard, right? Kind of all works out in the end, I suppose. Or, you know, a bent pen. Dude, I was doing a GPU replacement one time, and it was the first time I had really done anything like that, like, uh, like replace the parts or whatever. And um, this GPU was a little bit girthier um, than what I had used to, you know, been used to fucking with. And so I had to put a little bit of extra oomph on it, and it didn't, like, quite click. Like it needed to, like it didn't lock it in. Um, and so I, I kind of pulled it out and reset it. And I noticed one of the pins bent or it looked like one of the pins was bent. Um, but if you look at like the row of teeth on a GPU, like the golden things, uh, there's just like one of the end that's like kind of cut in half on the GPU. I don't know if that's a standard thing, but uh, I didn't know that at the time. I was like, oh, fuck, dude, did I just pop that? Like, is was that supposed to be there? I, panic set in, man. Absolute panic set in because I thought I had permanently fucked it up. Thank God, dog. Thank God. That was always my big, um, my big worries when it comes to computer stuff is like, if you somehow, you know, screw up a part, man, it's like, there's the uh, risk of not only frying that specific thing, but also the whole system at large too. And that's just an oof, right? I'm going to do Voidwalker here instead of the Succubi because the Voidwalker is tankier. And so if I need to like, I don't know, do the sack or whatever. Um, I can, right? As opposed to, um, the succubus, which it's more damage, but like, I just don't want to get TKO'd out here. PVP, uh, like in a PVP area. Yeah. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go this route. Let's also get this, uh, 10% magic damage up too. Hey, what's up Gil and all good. What up pretty colors. Appreciate that dude. How we doing tonight? I guess we'll save. What do we or do? We save the student fodder for what? He's forty eight. Is that the play? Or can he rip it at like forty six, like a little bit earlier? I feel like you can, but I don't remember the exact threshold. 
What have I missed? Well, we did some Emerald Incursion, Emerald Dream Incursions. Those are pretty cool. Uh, we've been leveling up pretty much off and on um, since. We're over here to Rathi. I'm just going to work my way down the Eastern Kingdoms. That's pretty much all. All that we're getting into for the short term, at least. And I'm uh, very spitefully hunting down a paladin that I kind of hope didn't go away so I can enact my revenge. But aside from that, yeah, we're big chilling, dude. We're, we're big chilling. I guess we'll start off this man. My guess would be they went into the cave. But obviously, no idea. We'll see. He said, yeah, got a T uh, or 2080 Ti right now, but I'm just going to snag a 4080 for some time when I get paid in a couple of weeks and then the upgrade will be complete. Very nice, dude. Very nice. I feel like that's one of the big draws of PCs is like, it, it's not too difficult to learn how to replace specific components. Like maybe building the whole thing. Yeah, that's a steep learning curve, right? But, um... Even for someone who I feel like isn't necessarily comfortable with taking that kind of plunge, like, you know, learning how to get the RAM rolling or, um, I don't know, it's all the GPU, stuff like that, like, like, save you a lot of money. Because then you could just, like, you know, replace the parts as they come. I'll wave to this dude so he doesn't, you know, so he knows we're chill. But I think he gets the memo. I don't think it was Flander that killed me. Yeah, no, I don't think it was Flander. Because I, I, we waved at Flander. Flander was chill. It, even though it was a pally, I don't think it was them. I think it was a different paladin. Yeah. Yeah, I'm almost positive it was a different one. Watch the priest. No, I know that they didn't mean to do that. These things have a mind of their own. These um, homunculi. God, these things are squirrely too. It's so easy to download more RAM. Yeah, just visit the RAM store. That's all you really got to do. Is not only vanilla or is it available on Wrath? I'm a bit confused uh, about it. I'm getting back into playing uh, after not playing for eight years. Yeah, it's only on vanilla. It's only on vanilla. And it's all good, man. Uh, any questions you got, dog, ask away. I can see your forehead, sweat, glistening in the light. Drink more water, my guy. Well, counterclaim. It wouldn't sweat indicate that I'm hydrated. Right? But I'll go ahead and give you a little swig. That's on me. Uh, been in the guild and the streams for a while. Didn't notice... That the lock was just Deej, thanks to the STV event, and you being the first one with DBM. There it is. There it is. Yep, just Deej. Just the, the, the base variant. We'll take it. Usually it's, I, I try to shoot for some form of that. Counter, counterclaim, you're sweating because you are hot. Question, if you drink hot water, it doesn't hydrate you less, right? It just feels bad. It's water at the end of the day, but like, like temperature has, I mean, temperature might directly influence, say, your satisfaction um, in refreshment, but it, it, it doesn't do anything for hydration, right? You said no? Yeah, okay, cool. But you feel less, yeah, water's water, that's what I thought, but but you, you feel less refreshed, right? Like, it sucks. Who drinks hot water, though? Like, plain ass hot water? Well, I hope nobody, because that, that doesn't sound fun. But I, I was thinking, like, okay, imagine if you're in the middle of a desert, and you just got, like, a, I don't know, half a bottle of Dasani to your name. It, it's it's probably cooked at that point, yeah? So, like, what are you going to do? You got another option. I think you got to rip it. But I was thinking, it's like, is that going to, like, it's, it's going to keep you alive, but obviously, if you had cool water, would that hit harder? Coffee is mostly water. See, coffee is, is the same thing for me, too. I feel like coffee dehydrates me for when I drink it for whatever reason. But no evidence to back that claim, obviously. But yeah, same deal. Room temp water is better. 
in hot environments, so I've heard, it definitely, like, does something for at least your mental state. Like, the refreshment element, like, that's definitely true. Lukewarm water is more hydrating? Interesting. Huh. I'm getting smacked by... Oh, it's of course, it's this... Dude, these homunculi, man. Look at that. These things are popping. Let me just... Bloop. Him, hit him with a cleave. Cold water is good for hydration. That's definitely the most refreshing. Yo, K-Man. Look at that. Seven months of pop-off, dog. Seven months of energy, man. Look at that. Thank you, dude. For ripping the prime for seven months. Coming in hot and heavy with those Bezos bucks time after time. Yo, K-Man. Thank you, dude, for being here, for enjoying. And, of course, floating me with those Bezos bucks, dog. Thank you, man. Thank you. It helps with hydration or digestion, excuse me, hot water. I can see that. It's like hot tea. It's very soothing too. And coffee is dehydrating. I think I've read about that. What's what's the term? Uh, is it diuretic? Or does that have something to do with like pooping? Or an anti-diuretic, something like that? It actually absorbs faster than the cold water? I know that. When I worked at restaurants, Asian tourists would often ask for hot water. I wonder if if it's for is it was it for tea because I think it's pretty common like to carry especially if you're traveling from from eastern countries to like carry your like your your own tea bags with you you know because it's like I don't know Lipton probably doesn't hit the same right Asian cultures believe it's healthier to drink hot or warm water it's not, okay or it's that or or it's that but I I yeah that also makes sense. It's just a cultural thing. Drinking hot water is much more common in Asian cultures. I feel like I'm onto something with the tea, though. Is, is that like 10% correct? I don't know. That was a decent theory. Uh, there's got to be at least s a some select group of people who do that, right? Because, like, I don't know, people carry shit to restaurants all the time, right? That kind of makes sense. Actually, room tip water is best for you. I wonder what the most, like, 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 down to the degree, the ideal temp is for water. I wonder if it's dynamic, too. Like, is it the closest thing to your body temp? Or is it, like, I don't know, 79 degrees? Wave says to bring it properly to body temp. So it is based on body temp, yeah? Lots of elderly people also drink hot water. There it is. There it is. Hey, what's up, Gumby? What do you recommend leveling most fun? 40 to 50 for Horde? Um... I'm going to ask, are you on a PvP server or are you on a PvE server? Well, we could start there, man, because uh, we're in a unique circumstance with Sod right now and it being so fresh. And if you're on a PvP server, I feel like there might be some areas that you would want to avoid because of the, you know, how popping they are right now. Room temper. Hot water is best while having a headache. Cold water acts like a vasoconstrictor. Ah, oh, I see. I didn't know that either. Good looks. Coffee makes me poop, so that makes sense. Same. I feel you there, dude. That's why when someone is having heat exhaustion, you're not supposed to give them ice cold water to put their body into shock. Kind of like uh, like blanching vegetables. Like you blanch vegetables like that. You, you take them straight out of boiling into ice cold water to, to make a peel easier. It puts it in everything to shock, yeah. Our ideal body temp is 32 degrees Celsius, yeah? Yeah, I'm assuming Celsius. Fahrenheit would be fucking frigid. Cooler water absorbs faster in the gut, which is why it tastes better. I never thought about the taste, but you're right, yeah. A warmer water, like out of the out of a bottle, tastes like a little stale. I never thought about that. How long will the season stay fresh for? I really don't know, man. Um, it's tough to say, right? Because sometimes you look at something on paper and it's like, yeah, it's gonna be good for weeks, and then it like falls on its face in like seven days or whatever. But then other times, you're like, ah, it's not really a lot there. And it's like, damn, I get a lot of like length out of it. Like for me, I, I was really surprised with how much I played Plunderstorm. Um. It like like on the surface it just kind of like it's very bare bones for a game mode but it yeah i only thought i was going to give it a couple sessions but dude i i loved it but spammed it for like two weeks um would be playing it out if sod weren't out right so i don't know i guess that answer depends based on who you ask yo glenn thanks for the hand heart 
F bottled water though, microplastics no good. Big trill. Dude, uh the Pacific garbage patch is nuts. Crazy how stuff like that could even happen. Um, I'm on your guild same server. Okay, cool. Nice. Hey, appreciate you just joining Gumby, but I just wanted to make sure we we're on the same page. Okay. So if you're playing on Crusader Strike, what I would say is um all the zones are gonna be kind of a shit show right now for, for the starting stuff. Like um like uh STV, right? Tanaris, Feralis, like the zones where a lot of people are gonna start their 40 to 50 adventure in. Unless it's gonna be overly horde like centric or whatever you're gonna expect some pvp i mean even out here dude in arathi which for level 40 i mean that's you're, you're at the tail end right that's not people that's not a zone where people are itching to slam as soon as they turn 40 we just got ko'd um so if you go into like stv or whatever just keep that in mind a lot of energy a lot of pop off um i think though if if, if you know you want to take that out because that's you know, it's it's highly, highly variant. Um, I would say most fun that I have, STV. But, bro, I mean, that's like literally Vietnam, dude. It's fucking insane. Um, I would be ready to die if you go over there. Um, I'm headed over to the Badlands. I kind of like the Badlands. It's a lot of flat land, very mob dense. Um, Tanaris is really cool, but it's a little bit higher. Like, I'd go around like 42, maybe. Um, let's see where else we got. Dustwall of Marsh is pretty solid for density. I like that spot. Desolus isn't bad if you do the tail end of it. I'd say any of those. If I had to pick, man. Oh, Swamp of Sorrows too. Um, hmm. If I had to pick for a spot for you to just go for for fresh forty, that I think will be pretty chill. Um, I'd, I'd say Dust Wallow. I'd say Dust Wallow. There shouldn't be too much out activity out there, and it's closer to Horde stuff than Alliance shit, so I'd say give that a try. Yeah, Charlie, it just dropped today. Uh, Aid Eej, when you were at Orgamar, did you see two people outside? Like, uh, like guards? What do you mean? Bro, you a Star Wars guy? Um, I mean, I, I enjoy the fandom. I, I'm not the most well-versed when it comes to the lore or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoy the IP. You should check out the trailer. There's a new series drop. Oh, I did see that. Yeah, it's coming in July, right? For the new Star Wars show. We watched that a little bit ago, man. Yeah, it's, it looks cool. Uh, players? I don't remember, to be straight with you, bro. Because, you know, there's a lot of activity out there. My fave migraine trick is putting my ice on neck. And putting my feet in hot water because of how high my migraines behave. Really? Or because of how your migraines behave. I've only had maybe one or two migraines ever. And, um, dude, I, it, I've i never wanted to just be deprived of senses, like, ever, like that before. It, Man, everything, like, like a light flickering it down a hallway, a, a breathing sound, like, the, the smallest things, dude, set me off. Crazy. Thank God we've only had them twice though. I, I don't, I don't. I'm lucky enough to not have not get headaches or anything like that, as often. Yeah, I got you, Gumby. I've grown accustomed to boiling hot water bottles that have been chilling in the sun for hours. Will I die sooner? Sure, maybe, but you're well adapted to a plethora of, you know, climates. That that's pretty biz. See, like if we were trapped on an island together, you, you'd probably um outlive me i would say because of that oh the trailer just dropped today may 4th i must be talking about a different series then are there is there a different series that's dropping it sounds like a military person oh yeah he is look at that hey jay whip of the top warcraft sniffed you out man we must be on a different layer because i'm right by you yeah i'm on layer two that, that's sad, man. The layering tech is cool, but it it does make, you know, tracking people down a little, little squirrely. We watched Acolyte. He's talking about Tales of the Empire. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Tales of the Empire. That's what we, that's what we KO'd. Bro, I'm excited for the, um, the Fallout thing. 
Have you guys seen the Fallout trailer for the... Uh, I think it's... I want to say HBO Max or, or Hulu or something. But I think that's going to come out relatively soon. That looks really nice. And I was very surprised. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be that good. Um, But it kind of cooked. I'm watching... I'll watch it too, man. It looks good. Like, it's on Hulu. Wh when does it drop? Here, I'll look it up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I remember seeing that and being excited for it. Oh, on Amazon, I guess. Uh, Fallout show release date. April 2nd. Oh, damn, that's next week. April 12th. April 12th is when it comes out. Nice. Looks awesome. The actors are good. Yeah, dude. I've been, uh, honestly, I feel like shows based on games have gotten a bad rap historically, but the last couple we've had are, are bangers. Yeah, um, The Witcher, Last of Us, this looks like it's going to be a banger too. <laughs> Kay Smith, why does Elon play WoW, or why is Elon, wait, why is Elon playing WoW? Are you talking about me? You said I look like Elon? I guess we enjoy, yo, no troll, Elon plays a fuckload of Overwatch, apparently, which I, I found to be pretty funny for some reason. I've been playing Fallout since the days of the original Fallout. I mean, I, I, I've i always followed the lore. I've never played it personally, but like, dude, the amount of games that I've seen Let's Plays, like full entire playthroughs Let's Plays on on YouTube versus actually played is staggering. Uh, alarming, you could say. But anyway, I've always been, you know, loosely interested in the fandom of it. And um, I was skeptical going in because for whatever reason... They start the first couple of seconds out uh, of the trailer with like a heavy stylized like art clip or like art clips or whatever. Like it just, I don't know, it looks very like kind of graphical, if that makes sense. Like it's from a game. And then um, like like out of that intro, man, it just pivots and it, it's just a different vibe. I was like, oh, fuck. OK, like um, it looked kind of goofy at first. Like, uh, if you guys saw Beowulf in theaters when it came out, like, the early, late 2000s, man, Beowulf looked goofy. Because CGI just wasn't as great back then. What gear are you wearing? It's a Lothar costume. I guess, technically, it's, uh, plastic and, and, and stitching. Brady, bro, I wish, man. Little dragon trimming? Little abyssal whipping, bro? Imagine. Imagine. Are you doing a late stream for the P3 pop-off? Yeah, I still got a decent amount of steam, man. Um, I'm gonna roll it through. Roll it through. If, like, we roll into some big, like, I don't know, alliance slaughter out there in the Baglands, we might put it down and, you know, wait for the hype to die down. Pick it up again tomorrow. But, like, right now, man, I'm just doing my thing out here. Just kind of rolling through. I'll keep doing it as, as long as I've got the, um, as long as I've got the, the momentum for it. The second season of Halo was far better than the, uh, wait, Oh, the first season of Halo was full. I was like, what, huh? I got you. That's what I missed, dude. What, what did you think of Red versus Blue, Alaster, out of curiosity? Beowulf certainly had a different... Dude, oh my god. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can find a, a clip, man. It, it was goofy. I saw that as a kid, and I still remember. Yo, dude, uh, we did that gnome and Olda. Bedtime now, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, dog. And grats on the clears, bro. Grats on the, grats on the clears. Hey, what's up, Anthony? How's life treating you? All's good, I hope. Yeah, it's pretty chill, man. Um, you know, just kind of doing my thing. Keep it on, keep it on. Um, no complaints over here, bro. <laughs> hey, yo, silent, I don't blame you on that. I wish you could resize them, but it comes with a costume, man. What's your next dungeon? What dungeon will, you ne uh, will the next one be? Ah, uh, good question. Probably Oldemon. I don't have a time frame. Yeah, probably like Olda or ZF. I don't have a time frame, though. I'm just kind of taking it a step at a time. At least for the interim pop-off. Red vs. Blue, amazing. Death for Classic. Yeah. Yeah. That one. There was another one, too. Similar network, right? Let's see Beowulf. Look at this. See? 
so uh, imagine like sitting down at a Cinemax and bam, this is what you get hit with, right? It, it looks like a video game trailer from like God of War or something. It, this took a long time to get used to. A long time to get used to. Once you got over it, though, it yeah, it was like just watching a really long cinematic. But but dude, there were some scenes that looked very wonky, very wonky. It was pretty chill, Anthony. It's pretty chill. I wish we could kind of just meme through and just slam. Yeah, we probably can actually. Yeah, I'm going for it. Fuck it. I'm doing pretty good, Richie. What about you, bro? Hi, Deej. Is that Arthas's armor that you're wearing? Nah, it's uh, Anduin Lothar's. Yeah, it was a weird time for CGI. Yeah, it was like that. And then if you guys remember the, the, the vampire things from I Am Legend, those also, too, looked very, very wonky. But I remember I Am Legend was better for the time. But it's, it's one of those things where just... You look now at it, it's like, dog, that's so dated, right? Kind of crazy how, how fast everything moves and turns, but yeah, for the time, man, that was sweet. I remember when everyone was excited for the Beowulf uh, because they knew it would lead to better things. Yeah, I mean, it, before you can run, you, you got to walk a little bit, right? I mean, we so everything started from like what silent films and black and white, no color. So like, yeah, nah, I got got to definitely give it some time to cook for sure. Those Nightwalker dudes looked pretty good for the time. Yeah, they did. They didn't hold up well. That's one of the problems that gaming has too, man. When you work on a game that's got a hyper realistic art style, it it just becomes like because of how fast the tech improves, it just becomes dated after like a couple of years. Yeah. So like New World, for example, I mean. Fast forward to 2030, I bet that shit's going to look like RuneScape by comparison, yeah? it's that That's one of the big advantages of going for like a uh, a stylized thing. Like, you know how WoW's graphics is like more cartoony, Fortnite, same deal. Genshin Impact's like cell shaded is because like when you pick an art style like that, it's less dependent on like the technical um, uh, bar at the time, yeah? It's like if, if, you know, you come out with like a 60 series GPU, I mean, well... You know, Fortnite solo is like Fortnite, right? It, it doesn't lose its luster as easily. Oh, yeah. Big true there, Jay. Hey, Deej, when is going to be your uh, next in Orgrimmar? I have no idea, man. It could be a long time. Um, Just because we're on a different continent, I, I don't really have a, anything prompting me back over there. Could be a hot minute. RuneScape survived longer than Anthem, New World, and a crap ton of... Well, hey, New World may be on life support, but it's still alive, okay? Because technically... um. I know there's different definitions of dead for games based on who you ask, but to me, if the servers are up, it's alive. It might be barely, but it's up, it's moving, it's alive, dog. Under 10k players, though, Big Sag. Big Sag. I wonder what RuneScape's chilling at now. I just got off work. Uh, wasn't even supposed to work today. Time for some P3. Made. The, I hope you made a bag, though, for it, yeah? And it was, what, eight years from Beowulf when we got to see Yoda walk? Something like that. Something like that. I know CGI, animation, things like that. It's like, it's sort of the same realm, but it's different than, like, computer graphics because of how intense the rendering can be. Like, when you're playing stuff and moving in a, in a game, there's so many things that you just don't recognize. Like, like, you don't have the time to recognize. Like, your brain's like, but when it's up there on the silver screen and you're literally staring at that and that's it, you're going to see so much more than you otherwise would. It's like examining things under a, you know, a, a fine tooth comb or, or, or a very, very uh, intense lens. So you got to be a little bit more, you got to be a little bit more precise with things. Eat, drink, go from there. Marrow dog. I really like the crafting system in New World. Same, same. I loved it. I chopped down so many trees. Uh, New World took a lot of L's. In a lot of ways, but it also took a lot of dubs. It was very polarizing, man. Like I've never played a game where it's just like, man, I love so some of these things so much, and I despise some of these other things so much. It like as someone who primarily enjoyed crafting, like it hit me like in a in a 
super, super big way. Um, cause the crafting gathering, like the sound design, all that kind of stuff was great new world, but, uh, you know, between the PVE fumbles and, um, some of the mishandlings of the development team and the horrendous states, like just so, so much shit happened. Like in the opener, man, I just like, I was like, bro, I, it just, I can't, the, the final mark for me was putting the crafting gear on a watermark system. I thought that was the dumbest fucking shit ever. And that's when I actually was like, yeah, okay, then fuck this. I would, I was making excuses for the dev team and being like, well, you know, they're working on the tech or, you know, they, they made the mistake of like, you know, rushing the product and developing a commercial engine that's brand new on top of, you know, the, having it be for new worlds. I'm okay with the, but, but then I was like, okay, that's just fucking stupid. Like watermarking with the crafting system under reach the whole motive of it. Fuck all that. And then I alt afford, but I still, it's like, bro, it's so some of my best modern memories with gaming were on the new world release like weeks, man. It was um really cool time. I, I took a lot of time off work specifically to play it. Watermark system. So I'm seeing a couple of people ask about the watermark system. The, here's here's the idea for a watermark system. Um Destiny has something similar to the idea is it, it is a dynamically scaling item level for gear. That basically it, it's sort of like a high score thing. So if you have an item level 100 shoulder, the next um, shoulder drop you get is going to be 102. And then the following is 104, 106, all the way up to, say, the max at, like, 200. Like, you don't get a 200 item level shoulder off rip. You got to get, like, basically 50 shoulders before you get the max level one and slowly climb your way up the gear score that way. You see what I mean? So the watermark is basically a reference to... The uh the game watermarks your last uh highest item level piece of gear per slot. So just because you got eye level 150 shoulders, well, you got eye level 100 boots right now that are currently your highest. So the game watermarked those boots, you, you know, your your next boot slot at 102. You see what I mean? Um, now this is whatever for PVE. I get it because it's like especially. When you've got like a, a fairly repetitive core loop, like, uh, sure. But the whole point of crafting big dick legendary items is you put in a lot of effort to get really, really rare mounts so you can craft really, really powerful things. Why the fuck would I spend 30 hours getting all the materials for a legendary mace if when I craft it, it's going to be just as bad as a green? That makes no sense, right? And forget crafting 50 legendary maces to level it up to max, yeah? Specifically, the way that they did this in New World was there were, like, these legendary sets that had a load of materials to get. Um, like, it took me a month or so of just, like, farming these things to get all this, like, all the materials to make the gear. Um, and they changed it to where instead of it just, you made the legendary gear and it was eye level 200, the first time you made it, it was 100. And then... The, then he would make it again and go up to 110. Fuck all that? Dude. Huh? What you mean? It just sort of undermined the, the importance of crafting those legendary items. Yeah. I was, I was big mad about that. Oh, that's super McShitty? Dude, that's what I'm saying. It's like, okay, well, what am I crafting stuff for then? That just is... What am I gonna do? Is literally spend a weeks of effort to craft an item that I could get in 10 minutes from a like a random PvE world event? Come on, dog. What are we doing? Uh, I don't really play anymore, but I love the content. Keep it up, bro. Thank you, Charles. I appreciate you saying that, man. Thank you. Love the outfit. Glad you vibe with it, Rogue. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I like the logging simulator of New World. Unironically same. Unironically same. Um... <laughs> The amount of logging sessions that I would do, abhorrent. Like, like, dog, I got lost in the forest. Like, I was a little adventure co logger, man, deforesting the entire starting zones. I loved it. I loved it. I got so excited when I could finally chop down the big, thick trees with the new axe. And see, that, that right there was a perfect example of New World doing something really good. Is, like, you would see these, like, beautiful, glowing elven trees, when in the starting zones and he would walk up to it and you'd be like, yeah, you can't chop this down until, you know, 
two hundred, and then you open up the skill tree, and you're like, oh, I'm, I've got twenty five logging. Like that carrot on a stick there. Oh god, that hit, man. That hit. There were so many things like because RuneScape was founded on the same sort of skill principles, man. It was just really, really, and it made the world feel alive too. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it's a Lothar's rogue, but close. What do you think about Barney on Crusader Strike? Um, I mean, I haven't met them personally, so you know, keep that in mind. But I, I'm a big fan of their Scarab Lord videos. Uh, those are really fun to watch. So. I admire them because, you know, they made a piece of content that I enjoy for, for that reason, Arch, but I'm not familiar with them personally. I just guess you could say I'm a fan of their content. You look like you need some AC, brother, breaking a sweat. I'm okay. I do look a little shiny, though, but nah, it's not too bad. I like turning off the brand and logging. Yeah, man, it was very chill, like a little late night logging sesh or mining sesh. It, yeah. Dragon's Flight crafting system suffered from something similar. Basically, if you weren't proccing the max tier of that item, it was worthless. Yeah, it's like, I feel like crafting is such a deterministic activity that having something that is based on RNG or basically, like, having these exponentially complex, like, systems on top of it sort of just makes it not as good. Like, I don't know. I don't want to craft 50 shoulders to get their the correct tertiary trait. I just want to like, I would rather spend 30 times the effort to craft the one thing. If I know it's going to be what I'd make it as opposed to pulling the slot machine 30 times. Right. Like it, cause again, crafting so deterministic, it kind of doesn't really, I don't know. I feel like it's a really big mismatch when you put RNG behind stuff like that. New World also had that those traits too, and that also felt really bad because <laughs> you had to basically craft 50 muskets. But there was a way where you could overwrite the traits. I know Wah has that too, which is less feels baddie, but still. Uh, did you make the armor on your own? Looks super cool. I didn't, man. I my mom got this for me from Amazon for a little uh little Christmas gift. But thanks, I'm glad you like it. You have to pray to RNG Jesus. Yeah, and it's like. I don't, I, it's like, that's an element of MMOs. I get that. But, um, I don't know. When you put in a, a very deliberate effort, it sucks to not have a deliberate outcome. You know what I'm saying? That's really cute of her all. Yeah, Abyss Mom there, dude. That scared the shit out of me. That was my little immolation or proc, though. You know, I actually brought that up in a BlizzCon interview. They're trying to fix that in TWW. Nice, dude. Yeah, I feel like, um... I don't know, like, looking back on the Dragonfly professions and stuff in hindsight, like, I like the depth of the trees and, th and stuff like that, like, the talents and the, the secondary stuff, but, um, not a huge fan of the work order system, personally. I don't know, it was definitely better, because, like, before, man, you just sort of, like, the, with the crafting profession, you just kind of just, I don't know, didn't fuck with them outside of, like, getting alchemy and, you know, certain things for, like, those objective benefits. So at least we're, like, active a little bit more, but I feel like we're still a little tweaking as needed. Still a little tweakings needed. I'm glad they recognize that too. Uh ah, Star Metal. I farmed that shit so much. Dude. Um, what about what was that red ore? Oh, uh, what was the name of the red ore? It was like incendiary. Uh Thor Thorts. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? The glowing red rock. That that was the legendary stuff. Um, Asmodium, maybe? Was it Asmodium? I know, Sunshine. How we doing? Or a cow come, dog. Or a cow come, man. Oh. Did you guys know about the um the or cow come location in the bottom of a boat? Please if you guys were big or cow come farmers, man, please tell me y'all knew about that. If not, I'm about to, I I'm about to show you something. I remember I spawn camp this location. I would keep my character logged in. I would put my phone on a repeating timer based on the respawn of the ore, and I would get it on cooldown. I, I spent so much time in this boat. So much time in this boat. Yeah, like bloat and shit, Gil. I feel you, bro. Mm, we could go grab this now. We could do the sign of a wrath ore. Foul magic's just going to take a little bit of time. Maybe we could go, like, collect down here and then boop. Okay, yeah, I think that's my play. Deej, please play and, and bless us in this Nomer. Pray and bless us in this Nomer fight. Which fight are you guys on? 
I just took a shit. Nice, dude. Very nice. Positive bowel movement. Love to hear it. What we got? Raptor hearts and boulder fist peep, uh, peeps. All right. Sweet. Sweet. Crowd pummeler. Hey, at least they put it on a CD and not a static charge, man. Ooh, what would Deej do? Sorry, uh, I just saw this, bro. Might be. Um, how many times do you think Blizzard could reinvent the wheel with Classic before the player base will get tired of it and give up? Um, honestly, dude, like, they will never satisfy people forever. That is, it, it, and it, it's not like a knock at Blizzard or a knock at the player base or anything like that. That That is just a design problem that threatens MMOs long term. MMOs are, it, it's a con, it's a content driven game, meaning like you have basically the developers are on a perpetual treadmill that never shuts off right the second they release new content a timer starts before people like get sick of it and then they got to release it again they got to release more stuff and you see what i mean like uh, more patches more expansions all, all new shit all the time there are other games that are based on user-driven content that don't have this problem as much um uh, things like league of legends fortnite smite where largely player interactions are the content, right? Not necessarily the bits and bytes that are put into the game. Um, you know, I mean, fuck, even battle, like, think about those games for a second, like Fortnite leagues. They have very, very little, like, outside content in comparison to World of Warcraft. Like, with a WoW expansion, man, we're talking like new dungeons, new raids, like new zone, all this crazy shit. But, bro, leagues played on one map mostly, right? And Fortnite gets new skins. Like, like Fortnite is obviously they're expanding, but you guys get the vibe. It's like a lot of the content isn't necessarily the things that are added to the game, but more so the player interactions that take place in a very limited setting. Um, I think for classic specifically, I don't think uh, I don't think they could continue to reinvent the wheel in perpetuity because eventually you're going to run out of ideas that are good that are a good fit. Season of Discovery was a banger. But, like, I think there is a limited pool of things you could do that will give, A, classic a new fun twist, B, capture a substantial amount of the player base, and C, be within scope for Blizzard to develop. I feel like what they should probably aim to do is not necessarily reinvent the wheel, but take it in a direction um, that at least doesn't have, like, an expiry date. You know what I'm saying? I feel like something more sustainable for Classic would be to have its own kind of custom, unique content line where sort of like, you know, retail, we'd lock this stuff in place and um, the, 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 the sort of philosophy stays there and we just pump out new expansions, new content, stuff like that that we haven't seen before. Um, if you think, like, there's only so much I think you could tweak and change the old world uh, before you run out of ideas, but if we, you know, kind of establish new things and come out with new shit, I mean, that's that's the long-term answer for the MMO. But we're never really getting off that treadmill IMO. Yeah, so they're always going to have to, in order for the game to survive, man, um, in, in anywhere close to the state that's in currently, they're always going to have to come out with shit. That's new and fun. Hey, right back at you, sunshine. Thank you, thank you. What do you think about people buying tunes and or buying gold? Um, So I get the demand for it. Because, you know, people's time is very limited. And, um, you know, like if you work, I don't know, 80 hours a week and you really liked while I was a kid, but you just don't have the time to gold farm, but you still want to, I get the, the yeah, I get it. it. Like level boosting, same deal. Like, bro, I'm probably going to buy a level boost personally if I pay, play Kata because I have a level 80 shaman that I did for Wrath Hardcore, but um, I, I don't really want to play Shaman and I don't really want to go through and, you know, spend a lot of time to level up a character from scratch. I just kind of want to play the new thing. So I get the demand. But at the same time, it's a little bit of um, it clashes a little bit with the old school design principles that govern MMOs. Right. Um, particularly gold buying. Uh, it, it really has a disastrous effect on the economy of a particular server. Uh, it brings in a lot of artificial inflation. And, um, I don't know, it just kind of, if left unchecked, it sort of balloons out of control. So while I get the, like, convenience element of it, I get the need for it, um, I think there are aspects of it that really do a lot of damage to the game.
<laughs> exactly, four hundred pound. You get the idea. Eating cheesecake while watching Deej being a noob. How can my life get any better than this? Well, what kind of cheesecake do you have? What flavor are you are you vibing with? Uh, is Classic repeating retail or is Blizzard stopping at Kata? I don't think they'll stop at Kata. I think they're going to um, do Mists of Pandaria as well, but I don't think they're going to go further than that. I think they're going to stop there. They're Warlords of Draenor was like undisputably like there there was a lot of people who just didn't like that expansion for whatever reason. Um like Mr. Pandaria, when Kata came out, there was a substantial amount of people who were like, yo, fuck Kata, let's go to Miss, right? But you don't see anybody asking for what. I, I think everyone kind of like can can end it there. Um So yeah, I I think because we got Kata, we're likely to see mists, but there's I really, really don't think we go to Wad. I, I, if given the opportunity to, dude, I would, um, I'd put a lot of, like, money on, on that Gambino in Vegas, man. I, I don't see a realm where we're doing that. Wait, trying to nix it? Wait, huh? What'd you mean, Davidson? A Nixia, huh? Italian cheesecake, homemade from Easter from my grandma from Sicily, uh, when she came to visit. Okay, that's pretty good. That that's pretty good. Um now ha ha have you had the cheesecake factory Kaz? Cuz you know, I don't think they have any Italian mothers back there, but 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 have you tried it? It's pretty good. It's, pr it's pretty good, huh? Gears were so bad, killed the social game. Yeah, like Yeah. Garrison's were a lesson learned. There were elements that I liked about it, but overall I think it yeah, it 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 left a little bit of an ooft. Uh yeah, I enjoy my piece of plastic cheesecake every now and then. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, it's, it's pretty good. Real talk, there's this place um called Firebirds. Uh, I think it's region locked, but um they do a creme brulee cheesecake and oh my dude. It's the best thing I've ever had. It's basically, imagine a good cheesecake, but the top of it is like hardened creme brulee. Oh, God, it's great. Yo, but it's got nothing on those five gifted dog. Hey, we're out here ripping some cheesecake, man, enjoying the highs and lows of a beautiful dessert, and you're here getting five people fitted with a gifted sub, dog. Yo, thank you, Kaz, for looking out for everybody, for supporting me in a massive way, dude, and coming in over the top with the cheesecake gifteds, dude. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yo, was that three? Oh, dude. Wow, that's a big 300. Dog. Thank you for pointing that out, man. And again, thank you for just slaying to that degree, man. That's that's very, very high level, bro. And man, the five aside here, the overall scope of that is nutty, man. Indeed, we we do dine, dog. Thank you, man. Thank you. Dude, for the incredible pop-off, man. We'll give you that. We'll, we'll, you know what? I'll concede. Maybe, maybe your grandmother's got a little something-something. Oh, oh, a little one up on the Cheesecake Factory at all, huh? Minus the pasta. Yeah, you know, their, their pasta's pretty good. But we give you the cheesecake, huh? We can give you that one. Do you know what's nutty? What 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 is that? Um they're known for some pasta, but it's got like three thousand calories. It's like some sort of fettuccine Alfredo thing. It's not the actual fettuccine Alfredo, it's got a specific name for it. I had it one time. Dude, I felt like I was about to implode, man. I've never so felt so bloated in my life. Holy. That thing is huge. What's the dog's name? Her name is Ziggy. Her name's Ziggy. Yeah, she's just kind of kind of lurking back there. All right, we're going to head um uh, we'll, we'll we'll hang here, I think, and then go grab maybe the keys or something. Yeah. Yeah, uh, go hang, grab the keys, maybe. Sounds good to me. Oh, raptor hearts are... Raptor hearts seem kind of rare, man. Uh, DH, can we listen to this one-minute video, uh, video in celebration of 300? As long as it's not copyrighted, then we're good to go. Is it like a, if it's a clip from like the Lionsgate thing, 
I've been popped for shit like that before. Um, Universal is really bad about it, both with their music and their their films. I don't. Somebody is like, who's a higher up at Universal is in there with YouTube and Twitch because the second anybody detects anything from Universal, man, I get popped. Like like the second I hit upload, it's nuts. Um, I've also been popped from like random people before. Like, do you guys know Kay's Cooking? That one British old, old woman who like just like cooks a bunch of like bad pasta and stuff. Dude, she hit me for a copyright strike. I was like, Kay, I'm sorry I, I called your pasta bad, but it was crunchy. You could hear the crunch, the audible, like, you know, when you took a bite. Yeah. It's kind of wild how it works. Nah, no, it's just me music. Okay, that should be fine. That should be fine. You must agree to the YouTube terms of service to view. Open the FFZ control center and navigate. What is that? Have you seen that before? 50 tonight? Probably not, dude. Probably not, man. If I was in ZF and, you know, had a, had a couple stimulants, maybe. Yeah. But, um, nah, dude, we're, we're going to save the heart on that, dog. No, never the what? Yeah, when I mouse over it and try to click it, here, hold up. Let, let me see. Is it this thing? Maybe it's a different sign. No, it says, um, what the fuck is that? You must agree to the YouTube terms of service to view this embed. Open the FFZ control uh, center and navigate to chat. And, and tooltips to agree. I don't even know what the FFZ control center is. Maybe it's a new Twitch thing. I had a I had a weird error this morning where um if you know that the little intro fight scene that that you know goes on, um it randomly had an authentication error and I couldn't get it working. So maybe something, I don't know. Works for you. Maybe it's like um Maybe it's like something to do with the tooltip activation, right? I don't know, dog. The Ultra just demanded me that I get on the Druid. Are you? Do you want to get on the Druid? <laughs> That's the way you get a prison toasted about the tomato sauce. And I, I well, I don't know. I, I don't think you actually get charges or anything and, unless you uh profit off of it, and then they have to present this whole thing. But it's like if you get a certain amount of strikes, you will get your. They'll just delete your channels, which uh. You know, that, that's pretty much one of the ways you, I could get fired from this, technically. And that's bad. So, um, yeah. Probably don't want to go down that route. I'd imagine. Just to be safe. I'd imagine. No, I'm just trying to avoid leveling. Uh, leveling her is going to be Zizio. M mainly due to the pop-off, I'm guessing. I mean, it's a meme video for like 16 years ago, so I don't think it would do any... Yeah, no, it should be fine. It should be fun. But you know what, dude? Do you know the original Onyxia video? Like the wipe animation? Um, it actually got taken down uh, after being up for nine years because YouTube changed their content policies and then all of a sudden this thing broke its TOS. And so the OG one got taken down. Now some people like had it, I guess, saved and did their own renditions of it and re-uploaded it. With, you could find those now. But uh, dude, the OG one, yeah. It was fine for years. And um, I, then all of a sudden, Susan was like, you know what? Mm -mm. Nope. That's breaking the rules now. Took it out. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, she said it was too sweet and posted about it, and they got mad and pressed charges. What? Who? What sauce? Huh? Bro, that's nuts. I mean, constructive feedback is always a good thing. Because then you can just improve the product. Oh, <laughs> no, that's wild, man. I never heard anything like that. Yeah, she's about 40. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I'm. it's very peaceful out here in Arathi. Like, uh, I mean, you've, you've kind of seen me frolicking around out here outside of that one interaction we have with that pally. Um, but, yeah. I know it, well, now we're on layer three, so probably does, though, depend on the layers. Sounds like 
I don't take feedback well. Yeah. Dude, that's like, um, you guys know about the Amy's Bakery fiasco on Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares? What a rabbit hole that is. If you want a random, like, rabbit hole filled with not just petty controversy and insanity, dude, go down that one. It's Amy's Bakery, a baking co. From Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares. Yep, dude, what an episode. What an episode. I mean, like, that was one of the gifts that kept on giving past its initial release. Like, there are so few episodes like that. Bro, that thing just created con. It, dare we say it, it took Kitchen Nightmares to a new level because of the virality of that clip. I, I mean, fuck, dog. I did, Gil. I did, man. Dude, that one is nuts. I know, bro. I know. N like, 90% of the Kitchen Nightmare stuff is pretty cool because, you know, people are down bad for whatever reason, whether it be emotionally, maybe some people are, whatever. But that one, that was like a, that, oh my God, that was like Jerry Springer level of content. But like, you know, instead of arguing over whose baby this is, it's, it's, it's a bakery issues. Nuts. Oh yeah, Jen. I'm just out here killing some raptors talking about Amy's Baking Company. She was bugging nuts. Dude, she really was, man. She was uh, intense at the very least. But I wonder, like, how much of that turned into, like, business. Because if it was near me, I would probably go just for the memes. I don't know if I'd, like, try and provoke her or anything. But, like, I don't know. I just... If I want cake and I know that meme, I'm like, yeah, okay, let's... Let's go see if Amy's like ripping people a new asshole today, right? Classic episode, classmate where the girl, uh, where, where the girl was fired of the episode. Dude, I know, man. I know, dude. It's crazy. Uh, Jen, Deej said that he's going to start an OnlyFans. Do you want to sub to it? What do, what do you think I'm going to do on, on an OnlyFans, man? Any new runes yet? Oh, yeah. I've got Immolation Aura. I figured out how to grab this one. Um, and then the Fell Guard I know how to get. Uh, you, you have to get your Explorer Imp in one of those random Fell Portals around the world. I just haven't uh, found one yet. Or outside of the one that I found yesterday, but the rune wasn't active at that point, so we didn't get it. But yeah, those are the two Warlock runes that are discovered. The other ones are still like a TBD. Uh, publicity is publicity in this day and age, good or bad. Yeah, it's like... Um, like, it's one of those things where, like, I see that and it's like, man, she obviously got a lot of heat about that. There, There's probably so many things that happened that just were outside of the public eye. Like, we don't really know all of the other things that came out of that. But at the end of the day, man, there's got to be a lot of people who who checked it out and, and went to the, the spot because of the memory. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Does just think you look hot in your armor, Deej? Nope. She does not. Um, not if it, she's, I mean, she like, usually, so there's a little strap in the back to like, you know, it's sort of like, a, you know how dresses have like zippers in the back? And people have to like zip, it, you know, usually having your partner zip, zip you up is a little bit easier. There's one of these for this, but like, it, it's Velcro. Usually she Velcros my armor together, but every time she does, she kind of just is like, oh, okay, it's one of these days, right? Don't be too loud, please. I have a call. That's what she'll say. Yeah. But it's not the worst. I mean, there, there's more degenerate, you know, outfits. But yeah, just typically not fan of the armor. How long are you going for tonight? I don't know. Um, I feel pretty good currently. I'll probably quest for a little bit longer. Oh, so are you tanking now? I don't prefer tanking. I will if I have to, especially with dual spec now. But uh, I, I much prefer playing DPS. Deej is an NPC only fans. I couldn't hold a candle some of the best NPCs, man. There's probably a mod that tells you that where an import will spawn. Probably. Maybe a week or something like that could come out as well. Poor Deej, yeah, rip me. Hey, DJ College, want to know how I got my first gaming PC? It's kind of embarrassing, but it makes a funny story. Sure. Let's hear it, bro. Dude, I've just felt like I'm staying in this little hillside. 
just KO on every raptor that's breathed my way. This is a great example of the hyper spawns being decent for us. But they were not our friends earlier. I just picture her strapping that up and having like a send off to some wicked battle. You know, pretty much, pretty much. Um, I'm trying to think like out of all of the our fits, like which one did she disapprove of the most? Like barring the shit like the peanut butter. Um, it was probably the anime wig, like, like maid outfit. Yeah, that was definitely the one. Yeah. Yeah, we, we lost some credibility with that fit that day. How's it? It's got to be that one. Got to be that one. I haven't worn it since, though. Saving it for a special occasion, I guess. Everything else she was pretty chill with. But that one. I think she truly lost hope there. Worth. But I didn't need her help for it. It, it was actually much easier than I thought it would to be to get on. Um, I had a Tumblr page where I had a small following of people buying faceless, faceless erotic photos of me. Lol. Know that too crazy, but apparently I fit some uh, fetish. I don't know which one. But hey, for a college broke boy, I made a good 1.5 in a few months. Hey, man, gotta pay the tuition somehow. No head over here, dude. Uh, I don't tell uh, the story a lot. I don't care anymore, but it was hard to answer to my friends who asked how I could afford it. <laughs> Just be like, oh, um, I did fucking gambling. <laughs> Yo, step drag. Hey, look at that. Phase three hype. Phase three hype, dude. But talk about hype, man. You're coming in with some hype of your own for seven months of Prime. Thank you, dude. Thank you, man. You could be using your Prime anywhere. But the fact that you want to use it here, man, support me in a massive way. I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you, step drag. And man, I'm sharing the hype with you, man. Are you uh, getting rolling tonight? You leveling something up? You starting fresh? What's the vibe? I'm pretty much lol. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Found it. Side gig. Freelance. Um, accounting, I think, is more of the common answer. <laughs> accounting. Yeah. But, hey, again, gotta do what you gotta do to pay the tuition, man. It's only going up. I get you. Sweet. God damn, that took a hot minute to get all those raptor hearts, but we got them. Okay, what's the easiest way to this cove? Um... Probably just yeeting myself off of this bridge, right? Do I really want to engage in underwater combat right now? Because that that zone, uh, let me think. There's like bush. There's a. It's a. Oh god, we have a full bag. Oh. All right. <clears throat> I love how we set out with the goal of like, hey, we're going to uh, what was it? Badlands. We're here in Arathi. <laughs> Uh, I started back on Sod last week. New server faction, level 20 and climbing. Nice, bro. Happy to hear it. Happy to hear it. How do I do this? Kaz is going to have more experiences, more experience than me. If I were to do... I, I think I would be okay with, like... I don't know. Like, I would stop grapes. and Or, and like, strawberries. I think that would be my thing, right? Like, like I would just find various like stompable objects that like are satisfying to squish and i think that's what i would do but i, I would make it like artistry so so i'd have really good lighting i'd have like good camera angles like i, I would really really seek to provide like a, an immersive experience and i would theme it to different events so, like like a uh, like halloween we'd have some jack-o-lanterns i would i would i would squish with with the, with the feet um maybe christmas we could do um i don't know gingerbread or I don't know, some other Christmassy thing. Yeah. Yeah. Jello. Cause like there's so much you could do with Jello, like different colors, different models. It's, it's like, you know how those ASMR, uh, well not ASMR, but you know how those um hydraulic press videos popped off like years ago? It's like that, but with feet, I feel like would do very well. Yeah. Is this get this is probably getting down a road that that that, that might be a wrong turn, but I don't know. 
That's uh, that's the thoughts. It's just like Twitch streaming collab with somebody. Lol, I'm messing. I don't know. I just got lucky to be honest. Well, you know, a lot of things in life come down to a little bit of luck. Yeah, right place, right time. Right place, right time. I go away for three minutes. We're talking about yeah, yeah. I know, dude. <laughs> I know, dude. When with the the longer I stream, the the less my filter stays. So it's 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 like a little cheesecloth now, or it's more like a wet paper towel hanging on by a thread. It's like a reused bounty wipe. I'm just here because some big guy in a tank top keeps saying your name. Oh, that's Royds. Yeah, Royds is chill, man. Shout out to Royds, dude. What up, Tara? Yo, written. Wow. Wow, dude. 14 months of Big Dickery. 14 months of resubbing. Hey, bro, what a time it's been. Look at us now. Out here clapping some Burning Exiles and P3. Written. Dude, hey, TTS Brian may have fell you there, bro, but you got me fitted. Thank you, dude, for 14 months, over a full year of support, dog. It's been an honor having you here, man. And again, thank you for accompanying me all the way, dude. How's that night going, too, for you, Written? You chill, right? Yeah, it's, I don't know if you're ETC gang, but, or East Coast gang, rather, but, let's get about that top for you, yeah? Oh, these guys kind of pump because they're completely immune to like magic or uh, the fire, fire damage and shit. Yikes. All right, let's go grab this. We'll go back to Hammerfall. Yeah. Humbert sword. We got crown of wilds too. I bet you this little area is going to be used for something. This little island over here that was used for the tier sets. There, there's probably going to be a secret or Easter egg over here for the 60 band, I bet. Did you sleep better last night? A little bit. Um, I don't know why, man, but like the, the fucking every time, like, um, there's like a new item introduced in, in, into, into the house. Like the cats just go nuts. Um, so we got this like little throw hamper that's like sort of like mesh linen. And Winston just decided that this was the, the best thing he has ever encountered and what was infatuated with this thing i mean like you know how cats usually they get a new box or something they'll sit inside of it and that's like their fort for a couple hours he started doing that but then he started like defending it like it was his pride and so uh when Oprah came over and was like checking it out too he would get really aggressive and, and sort of like chase her they would like play and stuff but it was very loud it's because you know and, and it lasted very late finally i was like dude if you can't act responsibly with this hamper Nobody can have it, so I had to put it in the, the closet. And then Ziggy started getting a little attitude and, you know, sort of growling at, at every, you know, little headlight that would pass our window. Um, then Winston started acting like a little, you know, getting in his schizophrenic era and chasing shadows, meowing at the wall, like there's a demon there. Um, but aside from that, man, it's pretty chill. Just, uh, you know, a little hyperactivity from the animals. Yeah. It's been a good time. I'm coaching at a clinic right now, and the baby is with my wife uh, at her family's place in the Twin Cities. So it's a party with the coaches. Oh, that's sick. You guys got pizza? That's it's pizza, pizza party. N nothing, nothing says good coaching like a pizza party, dog. Split a little pie, a little pepperoni, a little pineapple on that bitch, yeah. Go thin crust? I love some thin crust, man. I think th thin crusts are underrated. Or nah, you just guys bring your own. No catering involved. Gather the burning key and bring them to this stone. Okay, that is neat, but uh, like, uh, if... Do I just go give it a slap? Kind of, for kind of forget. I'm assuming I slap it. Uh, not yet, but our staff gets invited to the VIP room. The VIP room with an all exquisite hotel apps. At the end of the yo, you talking about like some charcuterie? Are you getting premium meats with dainty little cheeses? Man, you get some gouda in there, some prosciutto on a cute cracker. Oh, dude, 
with the little pickles. Yo, you know those tiny pickles that are sort of sweet and bumpy? Yeah, dude. Little caprese, little bruschetta. Um, what are some other premium apps? That, that that's kind of, you know, everything on the top of my head. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba. do do we like combine this? Like, what is the deal? I I forgot how to do this. I am here at the stone. Is this a questy snafu? The fuck? He just slapped it. Bro, what about... Oh, thank you. Nice. Nice. Alright, I guess we'll kill it. I mean, we could kill it. We're, we're, we're kind of juiced, but... Not enough globals in the bank, lol. Uh, did someone mention half off apps? Not this promo, dude. Not this promo, dude. As much as, much as that offer would be at face value, um, a, a good thing, it unfortunately it's coming from the wrong source, right? Damn, a thousand XP. Okay, well, that's that's kind of worth. Um, I still don't understand what I'm missing here. This it's something obvious. Cresting key, burning key, thundering key. Oh, I'm missing a whole key. Wait, why? No. Yeah, see? I've got the three. And bring them to the stone of interbinding. Yeah, what the fuck? I'm about to look it up. I don't know what I'm missing. We're all in the Apple Valley Lakeville. Oh, nice, dude. You deserve that hap off deal all day long to your heart's content wearing that treacherous outfit. Hashtag fake. Okay, big spoon. Hey, good to see you, bro. Uh, what do we got? Stone of interbinding. Okay. I know it's something dumb that I'm just forgetting. DJ found so many Minnesota peeps in here. I wonder if like, cause like TikTok is geo based, right? So I, I wonder if like, I don't know, kind of, cause a lot of you guys found me from the top. I wonder if it kind of groups everybody together because of that. Right? Like, like a correlation, not causation, but I've, I've noticed a trend too. Yeah. You could farm Elemental Earth from them just to sell at the AH? Dude, yeah, the Elemental stuff sells really well. Oh, I'm dumb as... Yeah, okay. I was looking at this thing. Needed the little stone. Okay, bet. Well, hey, look at that, Haristo. Elemental Earth right on cue, bro. I guess because we're about to pop off with this thing, I, I, I might as well drink and get ready for some combat. Let's clean a little bit of space out of here, too. Uh, while we can... Deej, can MN officially sponsor the strength you like the city of Minnesota? Sure. I don't see why not. As long as they don't have, I don't know, like ad reads or something. Like I don't I don't really know how to like advertise for the city of Minnesota. Um never been to Minnesota. Don't really know much about it, other than it's cold. And you know, their NBA team is a Timberwolf. So be like, yo. It's pretty cool, dude. Wolves and no. Visit Minnesota. Go check it out. Mall of America? Oh, yeah. I forgot about Mall of America. Yeah. Okay, you guys got a cool mall. I'll give you that. Minnesota won't fuck you, dude. Yeah? You guys a button-up state? Nice and honest people? Okay. Sweet. I can vibe with that, then. How's it going so far with Season 3? It's been pretty chill so far, man. Just going through, leveling up, doing our thing. No complaints for me, Adam. 
Yo, Ritten, thank you for the biddies, dude. I think you need to do a Mall of America uh, fan meetup. What is at the Mall of America? Like, I know it's the biggest mall, but like, I don't know what they got over there. They have like saltwater taffy and shit. Um, what, what else would be really cool? They have a Lego store. They have to have a Lego store, right? Camp Snoopy. What's that? Like from Charlie Brown, a dog. Rue 21. I'm not sure. What is Rue 21? They got a Lego store. Okay. That's cool. Do, do we have a rides makers? For those of you guys who don't know what rides maker is, imagine build a bear, but instead of building a bear, you build a car with like rims and such, like a little, like an RC car. And you could deck this thing out, though. You can give it like underglow. You can give it fat tires. It's cool. It's called Rides Makers. It's Nickelodeon Universe now, like roller coasters. Okay, that kind of hits. That kind of hits. I like that. No shut up, Full Metal. It's still Camp Snoopy. Did they unfortunately lose the IP to Cedar Fair? Because I think that's who owns the Snoopy IP now is Cedar Fair. Because every time we go to their parks, man, they just shove it down our throats. Like, hey, we, we bought this thing. You, you remember this? Bitch, have a Snoopy uh, piece of merch with your, your season pass. You just can't get enough of Snoopy out there, dude. Hey, what's up, Keith? <laughs> Every time I pass by your stream, I think it's Ian Hatsakosa's playing Wild Lol. Dude, I, I need to, like, go full try hard with an Ian Hazakostas like, cosplay for Halloween next year. Like, what I should do is I should full commit and, like, practice impressions for, like, months in the mirror like get colored contacts, get a bald cap, and just really embody Ian to the point where it's so on on like it's it's just it doesn't miss like it's eerie, uncanny valley Ian, and uh, hopefully it makes its way to him. And I I don't know maybe he sees it and like we can go to Outback or something. All right, back to the coaching clinic. See everyone later. Hey, Godspeed, dog. Godspeed, dude. Good luck, man. And thanks again for the savage. Please do, lol. Yeah, <laughs> it might be worth, man. If he sees it and he like it, he laughs it, and he just like I don't know, it might be funny. I used to work at the Flying Cloud Airport and caught the show every night. Oh, that's pretty dope. I went to the Nick Hotel before it shut down. I got slimed on Nickelodeon as a kid. That that's one of my weird flexes. I don't think it ever aired like on the actual like live, but they definitely used it in promos and stuff. Um. Because they would slime kids at the Nick Hotel, and um, we went when it first opened, so, like, they were still filming a bunch of stuff, getting promos and everything, you know, to drive business for the hotel. And, um, dude, cameras were everywhere, man. Everywhere. Um, I mean, down by the, you know, the main attractions, food court pools, no Zarlunt. They didn't, they didn't touch me. Dan didn't go near this thing, dude. It was an isolated experience, Yeah. Albeit it was an overpriced experience uh, because you really just paid to have a shitty days in that had SpongeBob on the wall, but it was an experience. They also had a subway in the food court. I I I, re I remember eating at the subway. Why are you hell bent on going to Outback Steakhouse Day with Ian? I mean, where else would you want to take him, bro? Like, where where do you think I should? If I got a one like one off date with Ian, where else where else would I take him? Where would you go? Applebee's we're trying to make a good impression it sounds like a brothel to me just saying no nah, they had laser tag though that was pretty cool it, it was like um it was one of those things where I, I think we're okay I think where it really got slipping was like they designed the hotel basically to be like a destination hotel like one of those places where like you you could vacation too and you just didn't have to leave the property but people didn't go to Orlando for those types of experiences like they came to Orlando to go to like Disney and SeaWorld and Universal and stuff right so destination hotels didn't really work as well right because those weren't the main attractions and so the overhead was just super super crazy and then on top of that it was built for kids not necessarily for adults like Adults with half a brain cell and no nostalgia for the Nick IP could see right through the ruse they were doing, but a bunch of screaming kids couldn't. Yeah, they just, oh, Patrick is in breakfast, dude. Yes, Patrick. Come give me a high five over my $30 pancakes, please. Yeah, I just didn't even realize what was going on.
And so, like, the, the adults were incentivized to get the fuck out of there because it was basically a, a daycare um, that was way overpriced. And really, the kids, you had trouble keeping them there, too, with all the theme parks around. Um, yeah, it was just kind of... It was sad that it went under because I thought it was, it was cool going to it as a kid, but yeah. Somewhere where you could get eaten good in the neighborhood... You, dude, I can't take them there because I'd have to apologize for the food and act like it's a weird thing. Like, this is the way I'd keep it cool. They, they'd bring, like, their food, Ian, his food. Like, Ian's probably a, a, a distinguished, you know, culinary gentleman. He probably is going to get the tendies. So they're going to bring Ian his tendies with honey mustard, and they're going to be ass. And I'm going to have to be like, wow, Mr. Hasekostas, I'm so sorry. I, I had Usually it's not like this. I had no idea. And I know in the back of my mind, like, damn, well, this is actually what I anticipated. I can't lie to Ian like that. It's like setting him up for failure, right? Indeed, Brandon, we got some solid action. Um, you would be with Ian thinking about Josh the whole time. I mean, Josh can come to Outback too, man. We can have the whole team. It's not blooming onion for everybody. It's a big app, and you got the endless pumpernickel bread too. It's pretty good. Oh, pretty good. Yeah, I think we'll um, maybe go in this little area over here. Roll through. That's an odd call of the wrap there. All right. It's a random little 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 item, but hey, we'll take it, dude. We'll take it. Uh, God damn it, Deej, now one Outback. I mean, there's never a wrong time for the back. You know, you get a Foster's beer can and nice little... Lumen onion chicken, kookaburra wing, steak tower, steak quesadillas. Pretty good. Pretty good. Can't blame you. Are, I, I want, are we just done as a species inventing like these sort of like mid-tier dining experiences? I feel like we haven't seen like a new like sit down, like eatery, like, like, in a long time. Like, like, think about it. Olive Garden, Outback, Apple, whatever the case may be. Like, like, what is when's the last time we've seen something like a Longhorn Steakhouse be invented? I I I see shit going out all the time, but I don't see anything new coming in. Are we just out of that era? And we're never gonna see anything like that rise to, to power? Or is it just like, I don't know, stakes are higher. So those, those places, they're surviving because they're already like kind of built into the establishment. But like new shit's got a whole other thing to sweat through. Simple. When is the next Google or Microsoft happened? Um, like, a, so billion dollar tech unicorns, I, I guess, is OpenAI, have, have they been evaluated yet? Eighty billion, it'd be open AI. Fuck. Eighty billion. Okay, what was uh WeWork? What was their evaluation at? At their peak. Oh, damn. Sixteen cents. What a fall. Forty seven billion. And and WeWork was like a historic startup too. And it only got half of open AIs. Like what was Theranos? 10 bill. Like Theranos was nutty too. 10 bill. Jesus. Open AIs chilling at $80 billion, dude. What a version. Market's too saturated. Imagine trying to convince someone to come to a new Indian restaurant. Tough sell. Yeah, dude, exactly. It's like, hey, you know, like the family-friendly sports bar vibe, like a Beef O'Brady's? There's a new one of those. Well, what do they got? Well, cheese sticks and boneless wings. It's Budweiser on tap. I get you. Yeah, it's, it is a tough sell. Dog. Man, I like Beef O'Brady's, though. I haven't seen one of those in a hot minute. 
Like, no, if I'm going to get some cheap city food, I might as well go somewhere where I already know what to expect. Yeah, or just like, you know, there's so many like, uh, you know, uh, smaller family run spots nowadays that I feel like are really good. Like little hole in the wall play. I mean, you just you find those areas and it's like, bro, you you don't want to deviate, man, because they're they're top tier. Oh, OK. Hi, I was not prepared for these. Oh, this dude started that quest, the, the wave shit. Late night, indeed, engine. We're just vibing. We're just vibing. I want the devil that I know when it comes to my uh, turning my butthole inside out with cheap food. Yeah, I feel you there, dude. Uh, I'm very risk adverse um, with new food stuff, too, because of the opportunity cost. Because the way that my mind works is, okay, if I'm going to get a new dish and it sucks, it is not only it feels bad because the new thing that I got is ass, but I missed an opportunity to get something that I enjoyed, so I lose twice. If you owned a gentleman's club, what would be the name? Probably Tough Titties. Or like... Yeah, Tough Titties is pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd probably do that. I don't know how well it would do, though, because like you, you think about that... I don't necessarily know if that'd work well for a gentleman's club, but I, I kind of like it. It's funny. I mean, I feel like stuff like the Peppermint Rhino or like the Silver Dollar, it's like we're, we're just naming out vague nouns with like different adjectives in front of them. Like, it, I don't know. Might as well go for a pun. Out goes it. Hey, pretty good, Roger. What about yourself? Tough titty. Well, no, I, I, I'd spell it with the T's. Bis tits? Oh, that's good, too. Mm, that's pretty good. Yeah, but... Oh, that, see, I like that. Or we could just have different themed, like... I, don't, mm. I, I definitely think I would implore, like, some sort of rhyme or pun. Because uh, you, you really want to get the name stuck in people's heads. Like, like uh, having a catchy namesake is really good for business, I think. In any industry. Mm. but yeah if I had to pick right now it'd be something like that I think hey what up guy I'm glad you vibe with the armor dude thanks man thank you what's up D HUD how we doing A wiggly mushroom. Uh, I think this is the wave quest, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is the wave quest. Can you shout out my friend, my friends Lauren and Akshar? Did I say that right? Akshar? Akshar? How, how do I say it? I want to make sure that I get it right, D-Hud. Give me some help with the last one. If I've got it, let me know. But if I, but if I don't, I can iterate. Am I close? We should be all right here. Hey, Spooky! Coming in with a tier one, two months sub. Bro, thank you, man. Thank you. I mean, you've been pumped with us for two months. Yeah. Almost bumping up that burger badge to that green quality, bro, Spooky. It's been quite a vibe since you've been here, man. And I just appreciate you enjoying whatever we're getting into. From the uh, variety stuff to the sod stuff, man. And thank you for just being here and enjoying it and coming over the top with a big dick sub as well. Thanks, man. Nah, dude. It is, man. What do you think about it? It kind of is, dog. Like, think about your, what you were doing in February. Dude, we're celebrating, like, Valentine's Day and shit. Now, here we are in April. Easter just happened. Time kind of flies, man. Regardless, dude, thank you, man, for coming in with the pump chat. Appreciate the support. Thanks, doll. <sighs> the immolation aura scares the fuck out of me sometimes. Because it just constantly will pull, say, we damage around you. And, like, a lot of the times you, you, you won't even realize. I'm just going to summon the Voidwalker. I, I can already smell something's going to... Like celestial law out here, 
Something's gonna happen. They're gonna they're gonna get cocky in the water, try to like frost over me or some bullshit. I can just feel it. Just gotta get an odd little feeling. Ooh, yo, engine. You wanna do a thick awkward whispering? Dude, that's uh that's quite a love letter, dog. Alright, bet. Let me uh ooh. Let me get it rolling. Let's see who's gonna grab this one. Um, hmm. How about Quizzo? Because that kind of sounds like Quiznos. And I missed that. All right. They have been whispered. I will let you know if anything pops off on it. And it's an excellent redemption, bro. The fact that I know where you are, just looking inside of that cave is wild to me. Yo, Pudding Tater, how's your hand at Wild Geo Guesser, dog? Pretty good. I think that's one of the options or, or the answers. This little area, if I'm not mistaken. True, I was playing some Pokemon, and I'm obsessed about WoW again because of one of your lore videos. Randomly showed up on the For You page. Oh, it's sick, dude. Yo, out of curiosity, man, which one was it? Which little bit of lore got you got you back on this rabbit hole? Uh, The biggest of rips to Quiznos and their weird ass... Dude, Quiznos was ahead of its time. Quiznos was like Gen Z marketing before Gen Z marketing was a concept. It was Quiznos would have done excellent with today's like advertising memes but it just it was a trailblazer in a, in a time where advertisers weren't taking risks for real dude i know i never had quiznos so to be fair i, I mean like quiznos it, the sub market's pretty oversaturated like like i mean jersey mike's wasn't as solidified yet but yeah subway right your bigger heavy hitters um you got your local sub shops too like um substation do all uh, Jason's Deli, all sandwiches and oversaturated. Um, Quiznos like had a for the time like I feel like they tried to capture like on the you know random personality quirk that was popping off with like the younger like YouTube generate like you know that vibe you got when you watch like um those YouTube videos from two thousand seven um where people just thought quirky and random was funny, right? Like, uh, anyone remember the name? I think it's her name was Boxy. That YouTuber. That was sort of the vibe I got from Quiznos. And, um, I don't know. It just didn't really translate as well, I think. But today, that would have worked. Because Gen Z humor is, like, super well accepted in advertising. Like, people fucking love it. And it does really well. Especially on, like, platforms like The Talk, YouTube, shit like that. My name is Boxy. Yeah, but you're not, like, the... Really? Oh, no, you're quoting her. My bad. <laughs> Dude, okay, my bad, my bad. See, I was over here in a funk. That's on me, man. I get you. Yeah, yeah. That that was like the... the That was like the vibe that it gave. The boxy vibe. Someone gonna send the screenshot of WoW GeoGuessr that finds people... Oh, you talked about um, Rainbow guy? I think that's what his name is. Who's like the GeoGuessr expert? Yeah, dog. But quizzes were good. It was like, it was toasted subs specifically, which I felt like toasted subs. It's like people go for subs. Some people don't like toasted subs. So like off rip, your, your, um, your target audience is like kind of cut in half. It's like a cart It's a little bit more niche. Yeah. But they did toasted subs really well. If you liked them, they had unique flavors and stuff like that it was good. I liked it. Dude, Boxy was my first love. No, what a throwback. Or the Skittles Berries and Cream commercial. Dude, I saw, um, I mean, not too long ago, like I think it was a couple months, man, the Berries and Cream dude popped up again on the top. <laughs> man, <laughs> yeah, it brought back that vibe. There's a handful of people on TikTok that find uh, people from random screenshots or clues. Oh, real? Some detectives? And the video that got me back into the wild was the one that you titled The History of the Gnomes. Sweet. Thanks, man, for uh for indulging in my curiosity, doll. And I'm thrilled that you enjoyed the video. Uh speaking of geoguessing, you've seen uh I have it, Davidson. Who's that? The only real geoguesser person that I've seen is uh the that bolt dude who's like a god tier at it. I mean he's like Nick is insane. I think Quiznos advertising worked. From my unofficial research, the consensus that is Quiznos, uh, the consensus is that Quiznos was trash, really. 
I don't know. I feel like Quiznos was pretty good. Maybe they suffered from intense quality control issues. Yeah, I'm thinking about how, like, like if you do a toasted sub bad, how bad is it? It's pretty fucking bad. It's like either burnt or soggy, like to a fault. So, yeah, maybe it was intense quality control issues. I was like, bro, can I not fit through that? Quiznos was fire. Yeah, it's, I, I, I had their, it's like a, I think it was a turkey ranch sub. It wasn't like a chicken bacon ranch. It, it was like turkey and peppercorn ranch specifically. Jersey Mike's untoasted is perfect. I, I'm a fan of Jersey Mike's, man. I'm a fan of Jersey Mike's. Man, we used to, uh, when I used to work there, uh, we, we get, we got like a free mini sub with every shift. We couldn't get like, you know, certain things like steak and stuff. So what we would do is we'd figure out some like creative ways to like mimic that taste. Bro, if you took the roast beef at Jersey Mike's and you slap and you put it on the grill, it tasted just like the steak. You chopped it up, do a little chop, like a chopped cheese. It's really good. Really good. Untoasted is heathens. I've got a, it, so certain places I'll go with untoasted. Other places they do it better toasted. Like I, I like Subway, um, the sweet onion chicken teriyaki toasted. That's one of the only things I'll get from there. That sounds like bad steak. It, it was, I mean, it was, it's good. It was good. Like it, it wasn't like, uh, like old or anything like that. Um, I don't know. It, it, just, it, it wasn't spot on, but it just kind of worked. Maybe I was lying to myself. <laughs> Maybe it was copium because I was like, oh, this is free and it tastes just like it. <laughs> but it, was, it worked, right? We rolled it through. We did get employee discounts, though. And that was kind of dangerous for me. Because, you know, Jersey Mike's it, it's, it was minimum wage slinging subs. Then you, you, you know, cash in after shift. was like, well, was, yeah, you know, I, I've been looking at this turkey all day. See where it... There goes the paycheck, right? Do we need any more, like, ship manifests or anything like that? No, I don't think so. We just need some elven gems and some naga. Uh, killings. Why does a World of Warcraft and a Quiznos collab feel like it should happen? I never thought of that. I, I don't know. I don't know. It is a weird, yeah, like in my mind, it is, is kind of weird, a uh, weird fit, right? I don't know, I can't. Huh. I, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe the color palettes, are, but no, nah, not really. I know they're mostly gone, so I feel like Arby's would fit best. <laughs> Arby's. <laughs> yeah, Arby's would come out with some like random ass thing, like the, um, I don't know, the Shovel Tusk Sandwich. There it is. Bro, just do a Shovel Tusk Sandwich. That name is really good, actually. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What they should do is they should do like a... Like, 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 a, like a steak sandwich, right? Because that's Shovel Tusk Steak. That's in the game. It's at the cookbook. Just do that. Um, it, it, It's like got some like very signature seasoning on it. Boom. They'd fuck with it. You get the Felguard yet? Not yet. I haven't seen a portal all day. Why would McDonald's or Taco Bell just wouldn't hit uh, as hard as Arby's with WoW? Yeah, I feel like um, if it was a McDonald's World of Warcraft, I don't know. You know what still pisses me off to this day? Um, you guys remember when they were giving people McDonald's meals all the time a couple of years ago? Like Travis Scott got one and um, it was kind of the rest. They just started handing them out. Fucking Saweetie. Um, Quavo's ex, um, she's a rapper as well. She got a meal, but it wasn't a meal, dude. It was the laziest fucking shit that I've ever seen, man. And it, and it tilts me to like, no, cause, cause getting a, a McDonald's meal after you, like that is, that, that's, that's an honor. It's a legacy. You don't fuck with that. Right. Like Travis Scott brought spicy nugs to the table. You know what sweetie did? She was like, hee hee, I'm just going to put my fries on a Big Mac and it's mine now, bitch. No, it's not. You're not clever. Come on, man. You've got the opportunity to enact institutional level change and you're going to put fries on a Big Mac? 
Bro, people have been doing that since they were seven. Come on, sweetie, what are we doing? Man, we gotta innovate. Yeah? I, there's so many other things you could have done. I don't know why that bothers me so much, but it does. I think about that from time to time, and man, it just gets me upset. Gets me heated. What a waste. What a waste. You could have given so many other people the opportunity to do a meal, and they would have done so many better things. Or so, so, so much more, right? Queso need to win. Dude, see, a queso Wendy's meal. Bro, that would pop off. Like, see, that, that would. You know, Queso's cooking up some gas. He's going to come out with a wacky combo that, like, sounds enticing, but you're skeptical. And then you try it and you're like, holy fuck, he was right. Bro, like, why didn't Sweetie just do a chicken Big Mac? They already have that in Canada. It would have been a new thing to the States. Her demographic is mainly in the United States anyway. Chicken Big Mac would have hit. But no, we're putting Big Macs uh, and, and fries together. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like it grinds your gears, Deej. It really does, man. I, I've thought about this a lot. Admittedly too much. And like, it's just, yeah, it's, God. She just, she, it's a pearls before swine moment, man. She just didn't realize what she had. She could have done anything. And she did nothing. She did nothing. It's like, nothing is worse than a wasted opportunity. Like, I'd rather have no opportunity than a wasted one. Yeah. Uh, the case of what he's meal with me. <laughs> no, I think he gets, um, fuck, he said his Wendy's order once. I, I think it was like, um, no, it was a McDonald's order. It was, it was like a 20 piece, um, and, and like a, like a couple of big chickens or something. Something like that. Something like that. Compromise the fish. Audrey, please. Uh, uh, fish filet Big Mac. I, I can't get down with a fish fillet, Audrey. I'm so sorry. Uh, so, so, something about it just runs me the wrong way. I, I just I can't get down with a fish fillet. I love how I can just leave Deej momentarily gazed. It, it's just like so uncharacteristically out of pocket, man. Ah, oh, the fish fillet. What what an item. No, if I got a menu item, uh, yo, Roger, you're close. McRib McFlurry, bro. I know this is about to get some people heated. McRib Big Mac. Yo, let's take two of those beautiful sauced up pork patties. Get a little bread. Get a little barbecue. Get a little pickle. Slap it on a Big Mac. Big Mac McRib. Two together. Boom. Boom. The Big Rib. Oh. Oh, what a name. Dude, the Big Rib would hit. Yeah. You get like a low monotone dude. To like advertise that shit. Like you go, you know, the Arby's guy there's like, we have the meats. Get him to do like the big rib. Sold out. Sold out, man. We're about to top those Szechuan sauce sales with the big rib. There it is. No one orders the fish filet. Uh, you know, I don't see a lot of fish filet orders either. It's not like I'm, I'm running the register or anything, but I, I just, I don't know. I, I feel like it, it's not like super popular, but I mean, no, it's got to be good enough for them to keep it around, I, I suppose, right? I don't know how we're keeping that around and, and ditching the snack wraps. Like, dog, where are the snack wraps? We're about to get GTA 6 before we get the snack wraps back, man. The snack wraps were gas. What happened? Deej feels like a Panera or a Cheesecake Factory collab, not McDonald's. I don't fuck with Panera, but I'll, 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 Cheesecake is great. I'll vibe with the Cheesecake Factory. But I, I don't fuck with Panera. I feel like Panera, um, P P Panera just like is... It's like, where do they get off, man? Like, 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 where do you have the, like, let me think about this for a second. Yeah, this is one of the other things that kind of gets me heated. I don't know how you have the audacity to, like, give people a cup of, of lettuce and, like, a half of a strawberry and then turn around and charge people $14.99 for it. I feel like Panera, their food isn't that great. They go after a market that's like already used to paying a premium because it's 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 like geared towards more of a healthy lifestyle. But then we like, you know, tone down the portion control and up the cost. It's like all of the negative things about like restaurants at scale like coming together in one package. I don't fault with the Panera vibes, man. But I will take up on the Cheesecake Factory. Why can't it be like in a woo boy saying the big rib? I don't know if it would hit as hard. Uh, but you're right. I, I, I don't know. Maybe. 
Maybe. I don't know. It's a good point. It's a good point. Deeds, have you tried the McDonald's sauce at Fox? I have tried to do this several times. Um, I think on two separate occasions, I've ordered McDonald's. And they have forgotten not only the McDonald's sauce, but all of the sauce. You know what it's like to try and eat McDonald's nuggets with no sauce? It's depressing. It's sad. It hurts to the core. So, I... I don't know. I, I don't know if they just don't want to fuck with like like I don't I don't get why. And it's only when I add on the McDonald's sauce. Like if I get regular barbecue sauce and like don't mention this new thing, then it's fine. No issues. Doesn't get lost. But the second I add McDonald's sauce, it's like I might as well just empty my cart because no sauce is getting delivered. I don't know. We boycott Panera at this house, fuck Panera. Yeah, I don't vibe with Panera. Um we are looking for this Maiden's Folly log, and we have found it. Excellent. <laughs> Roger. Bro, hey, listen, I'm very open about this. Um, I, if Applebee's wanted a redemption arc, I would give it to them. I, I, would, I, would, I would give it a go. I would try it. I would. I'd, I'd give them another shot for the content, for the memes. I feel like you have to shower often to have McDonald's collab. I I take two showers a day, but it's 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 not necessarily. For, I, I just I don't know. I like it. Like I I cold showers to wake up, warm showers to wind down. It's like a relaxation thing for me. I don't know, I just like to feel clean. I guess. When I worked at Arby's, I double fry the fish with a slice of cheese on a ciabatta bread. Oh, I bet that fucks. Yeah, I bet that fucks. How many of your viewers know that you have to wash your face after eating? I'd say a decent amount of you guys do. But yeah, for those of you guys who don't, I have this weird thing where um, I have to wash my face after I eat like any kind of meal. Um, even if I'm like in public, like a mall food court, I'm, I just threw back like some orange chicken Chinese. I, I got to go to like the restroom and wash my face. I don't know why. I just feel kind of greasy and like gross um, when I don't. And I just get kind of tilted and can't focus. So yeah, it's a weird thing. Got to wash my face after I eat. And I'm not, like, rubbing sauce on my face either. Like, I'm not, like, a messy eater just, like, smushing my face in the middle of greasy lo mein and, like, getting stuff everywhere. I'm pretty, like, like a clean eater, but, like, I don't know. It's just a, it's a, it's a feel. It's a feel. They don't forget the sauce. It's intentional, so they save some money. <laughs> Dude, that's kind of, it feels intentional, man, but it's like, what? It's so cheap. I mean... You also have to pay for it, too. So I'm, like, paying for it. And it's like, well, fuck, you're giving me the... Like, I, I go back and refund it every time. I'm that petty. It's like, yeah, dude. I paid 30 cents for the sauce, and it's not in the bag. It's... I did not receive that item. Yes. I, and I would like my cents back. We should do a Deej trivia. <laughs> Don't, I, I bet you... I bet you I could come up with some good things, but I could also hit you guys with some curveballs. That's funny. No, I said you shower to regularly have the McD Oh, my bad, my bad. I misread that spooky. It's been, it's been a little bit of a longer stream, dog. That's on me. Hey, big true there, Meryl. How much would it take for a day in the life of Deej Vlog? I mean... Like an average day? I'd have to, like, plan, like, I don't know. Bro, I feel like I'm not that interesting, like, day-to-day, -day, bro. Like, real talk. Most days I'm up at, like, 7 or 8. Um, I have my coffee. I play some Age of Empires to, like, warm up. And then I, like, work on editing or stream stuff until about 1. Then I eat. Then I get ready for the stream. Then I stream from 2 to 8. Then I, like, you know, 30 minutes to, like, get the VODs or whatever. I, like, our bots. Whatever shit that I need for that day. Like uploaded go down eat dinner um if jess is working i'll come back up and like work on some stuff or if she's not we'll watch the show together and then um then i'll pass out that's pretty much it so i gotta have like an event for it because <laughs> unless you want like a six hour time lapse of me fucking around on premiere dude then i can deliver then i can deliver 
Um, I always have to shower before I go to bed. I absolutely hate the feeling of not showering before bed. Yes, yeah, same. It fucks with my sleep. I just feel dirty and, and kind of grimy. Well, it looks like the elven gems out here are... There's like five people like sniffing for these, so... Um, ah, it looks like Questy's a little bit off, so... It, it, we're going to put on the goggles and go from there, but... Uh, get sweaty from downloading the Meat Mountain... Or from downing the Meat Mountain on Arby's and the Double Down from KFC. Coming in once... Oh my god, dude. Bro, I think you'd be hospitalized if you put those things down together. The KFC Double Down, I think, is a, is a cardiac arrest <laughs> in a sandwich, but then you, you throw the Meat Mountain in there. Fool. You're not coming back, dude. That's GG. More swimming ASMR, LMAO. Yeah, dude, it's like Vashir all over again. Dude, when I made that Plunderstorm like, video slash thing that I talked about yesterday, I had a fucking idea to put in some rage bait in there. I was like, you know what? We're talking about new maps and stuff. Like, Obviously, you know, there, there's you you guys and, and we, we agree on a lot of the map choices, like Hellfire, stuff like that. But I was like, you know what would be funny? It's what if I just like actually like uh, I, I just went down this path where I really acted like I believed we should have an underwater plunder storm map like the sheer and just wouldn't let it go. Like and, and acted full on no stop like I was being 100% serious. The next plunder storm map should be the sheer underwater combat exclusively. The rage bait would be insane, man. But I was like, nah. Nah, that's, that's a lot of effort for that meme, dude. I probably wouldn't be able to deliver it with a straight face. Have you heard about the KFC chicken pizza? Yeah, I've heard pretty decent things about it, man. It's I've heard it's like pretty similar to like a chicken parm kind of vibe. Was that your take? Uh, another streamer that I got uh, named Pastor Set. He's got his OCD thing where he has to be completely naked to poop to be super strange but dangerous when he's out in public oh he does oh damn okay i mean i guess if you're ritualistic about it you can't fuck with the with the ritualisticness yeah <laughs> can't change up the routine huh okay that's that's a new one i didn't know about that that's a new one um even if you get the nuggies and you want extra you gotta pay too yeah yeah it's uh thirty, I think it's thirty cents or twenty five cents to add it on. Um, now this is like delivery apps, right? I'm not in the drive through. If you're in the drive through, it depends on the establishment. Sometimes I've been charged, but most of the time I'm not, I don't get charged. Um, some some places will charge you for like Zaxby's. They charge twenty five cents for their sauce, but they've always done that, and it's like extra. So, hey, thank you, Chase. I'm glad you're digging the fit, bro. These you waffle stop at the shit. Fuck no, dude. Bro, what? Hell nah, dog. Nope. I, I just I have normal shower behaviors. Well, I do like extreme temps. Like I either like it really cold or really hot. So that but yeah, I'm other than that, man, it's normal shower behavior, I suppose. Honestly, underwater would be cool, lol. Yeah, uh, it's a chicken part with pepperoni. Yeah, that was my take too. And uh man, underwater. Whenever I was doing, like, uh, what was it? I don't know. I was doing something while I was going through the forums and looking at opinions with the underwater combat in particular. It was very polarizing. Some people liked it. Others did not like it. I err more on the side of, like, it was clunky. There were so, it, it was, They did it in probably the best way that they could have done. But there were some things, like, not being able to eat or drink underwater or, like, the AoE spell effects not being able to you know, be clickable, that were real big feels bad. I imagine the plunge, some of the plunge abilities uh, would, like, Quaking Leap, oh, dude. When you're moving in, like, three dimensions, oh, boy, yeah, that would probably break some things. The one that I ordered, they forgot the pepperoni. It's, like, third of the ingredients, yeah. The one thing that bothers me about the KFC chicken pizza is that they relabeled a chicken parm and put pepperoni on it and call it like they're crazy or call it their own like crazy, bro. I don't think about that. But yeah. Huh. You know what I would love to do? I would love to like have access to all the failed experiments from all the fast food restaurants, test kitchens and do like a tier list. Yeah, because we only see the finished products 
that come out of those things. And some of the finished products fucking blow. And so I wonder what was bad enough to the point where like the higher ups or the, you know, testers were like, dude, we can't put this thing out there. Like, like I want to know about the food experiments and like the Taco Bell taste kitchen that went horrifically wrong where they literally like burned the files on it and just cut it off after like the first go. There's got to be some trash things, right? <laughs> like what about like a Baja Blast infused hard shell taco? Yeah. We got the Doritos Locos taco. I bet you there's somebody that's cooking up and be like, dog, Baja Blast, man. That's one of our signature go-tos. We got to figure out a way to make, what if we make this, uh, put the flavoring and the color into a taco, All right? And I wonder how that tasted. Probably like ass. But there's got to be some stuff like that that they've asked, right? Not eating a drink out of water makes sense, though. No, it does. You're right. It's just one of those things where it's like, ooh, ooh. Uh, it just... Like, even now, it's a little bit better because I got, like, life tap and stuff, but it just feels kind of awkward. Do you wipe your ass sitting down, standing up, or do you let it crust? I'm team bidet. Let it crust. I'm team bidet. Bidets are bis. I want a tier list of the international McDonald's. I would love to sample some international McDonald's dishes. The biggest F tier is the pineapple burger McDonald's used to have. I've heard about that. Dude, I've also heard there, there's a Hawaiian-themed Chick-fil-A in Georgia, um, that's supposed to be really good, but I haven't had the opportunity to get down there and try it. Unfortunately. Oh my. Jesus. Alrighty, let's strap in. What is this? Uh, weird queen of weird food combos. What the fuck is she eating? Are those Reese buffs? What is this? A scone? Looks like a scone or something. Wait, is that a fucking hash brown? Oh my god, that's a hash brown. Nuggets and Nutella is fucking gross. Man! She gonna eat the whole thing? What? What's that's the next one, dog? I see you got sweet and sour over there. Let's do something with that. No, we're dripping with this again. Okay. What she got in that jar? Is that? Oh no, that's the peanut butter. Oh yeah, don't forget the crumbs. Yeah, dude, scoop up the crumbs. That's gonna make a difference. Is that ketchup? That that with the ketchup's fine. Wait a second, that's not ketchup. No, that's ketchup. Okay, cool. I, I, for a second, I thought that was like strawberry sauce. I was about to lose it. Uh, the ketchup's not... That's fine. Some people just like, bro. I, I'm over here eating spaghetti and ranch, so I really can't talk, but like spaghetti and ranch is based. And for those of you guys who have tried it, you know exactly what I'm talking about, so I kind of stand on that. But yeah. I can't. I live in a glass house, man. I can't throw stones. I uh, just got my fell guard on the four, first portal. I'm so happy for... Yay, Audrey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm jealous, but hey, real talk, Rats. That's pretty cool. But I'm very jealous of you, and I wish I had that fell guard. What, what, is, what is the name? Hold on, hold up. What's the name of the Felgar that you got? Because you know how it generates a unique name when you first get... What's the name? Okay, Al. I'm sorry. I, I was a little too salty. That's about, that's on me. I was just super jelly because I haven't seen a portal. But we can turn the tides right here right now with it. Lazily, it's just Felgar. That's it? You don't get like uh, like Grazgul or something? It's just, it's just called Felgar? Damn, dude. I always look forward, forward to seeing that. Like, look, I got grass. Grass gave my buddy now for the entire sod experience, dude. I was looking forward to meeting a new friend. Damn. If you made a TikTok eating spaghetti and ranch, I guarantee it'll go viral. Spaghetti Italian on TikTok is so wild. You think so? All right. 
I guess we got to put our things into into practice, man. I wouldn't even have a problem with getting roasted because I know it's unconventional and I know it's kind of wild, but it's one of those things, man. Like I've got this, I've got a reason to it. I, I didn't discover this myself. I wasn't like, hmm, ranch spaghetti, yeah. Like I didn't come up with this. This is something someone else showed me, and then I was apprehensive, and I was like, oh damn, okay, that kind of hits. Like I was proven wrong too. So like I can relate to how wild of a claim it is, right? Um. Damn. All right. Wrath it is. Wrath it is. Go to Hammerfall. Uh, I might just... I might read just later. Wait, it might... I might rename just later, but right now it's just Felguard. Damn. Hey, yo, real talk though, Audrey. Big grats. Big grats on the Felguard, man. That's hype as hell. So, the first one... Hopefully it's guaranteed. Hopefully it's guaranteed. That'd be awesome if it was. Because then we just want where uh what zone were you in? Because that was another theory. Ain't app secured. Hey, let's get it, dude. You make it sound like it's the proper Italian way. They'll go ape shit. Oh, so I should throw like a like um that classic Italian music in the background. Hold hold up. Like this. Um, I don't know if this is it. I just searched for Italian meme songs. And I found a YouTube playlist. Um, hold up. This is not it. I wonder if this is a French meme song. What is Tarantella? Not but what is this? It's kind of like that. Yeah. I just throw this up at the background and get like one of the little chef's, chef's hat and put a little marinara sauce stain there and just talk about it like it's proper. Yeah, it sounds clap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Learn how to say like one word with like, um, like an Italian accent, but only say that word with an Italian accent. Like, um, there was, a, who was that one girl that got some, some dip from Trader Joe's and she talked normal, but when she, like, said this dip, she put, like, a heavy accent on it. Y'all know who I'm talking about? I know this is so out there, but, like, bro, she went mega viral, so. Oh, God. That was a great heavens, but that was a banger, too. Yes! Yes, dude! Step Trash got it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the the, the Cacho and Pepe girl. Oh my god. Yes, dude. Nice, bro. That was so niche, but it hit somebody. Hell yeah, Step Trash. Yeah, that girl. That girl, dude. That oh my god. What is this? Oh Jesus, bro. What are we doing? Uh what are we doing with this? I could have lived a full life without ever seeing that, bro. Oh, imagine the nails that come out of that thing. This is why I use my prime here. <laughs> hey, the impeccable toe, I guess. It's the biggest big toe I've ever seen. Biggest big toe I've ever seen. Oh, you got a desolate? Okay, that was one of the areas that it was like, yeah, you can get that. Uh, from one of the portals here. Okay, cool. Hello, me again. You guys know how, like, I notice things about the world that have always been there, like that orange cat. What about this rowboat? Uh, has this rowboat always been clickable? Uh, ro rowboat. Always been clickable? Yes. Okay, damn. For phase two, maybe next time. One of these days, I'm going to come across something that is actually new, and, it, and it's going to feel fantastic. But not today. Not today. It's for, for a room. Unfortunately, 
You know, that day is not that day. One day though, we will. Did you see the quote from the Roblox CEO? I didn't. Speaking of nails, you ever got an ingrown toenail removed? No, I've actually, I've never had an ingrown nail. Been lucky, I guess that way. Yeah, been lucky that, that way. What the Roblox CEO say out of curiosity, man? The Roblox CEO said, uh, pay to earn in the game isn't child labor, it's a gift. <laughs> Dog, what? Dude, that's like um, that one other gaming CEO that's like, yeah, uh, like uh, something about like people should never own games, you should only rent or some bullshit. Let me read that. Pay to earn in game isn't child labor, it's a gift. Gift is a strong, I mean, gift is a strong word. I, <laughs> I know I haven't re read about the controversy with the robots and the child labor stuff, but like, yeah. Dude, I feel like there's somebody has got to be training these people wrong, man. It's it's so easy to just like not say stuff like that. I don't know. Man, my TikTok tonight, it's on another level. Dude, I'm currently um I'm currently down a TikTok rabbit hole where all of my feed is like basically like which type which thing is your girlfriend? Like which otter is your girlfriend or which raccoon is your girlfriend or which cat is your girlfriend? I don't know if anyone's getting those, man, but that's a cool trend. It's kind of funny. You get like 12 different pictures of otters. Like I thought it was fake at first, but he was also talking about how a poor kid in Thailand or Malaysia can go to a cheap laptop and credit. Jeez. Uh, I mean, that's like, okay, that's true. But like, because if you can like make a Roblox mini game and stuff like that, like it is life changing. Not only for people from those countries, but like, like if I were to make, I don't know, like the next Wally Towers, dude. We'd be big pimping. That's a lot of money. Um, but the delivery of that is a little rough around the edges. Man. <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, he responded to accusations of child labor on its platform saying, I can be like 15 years old in Indonesia, um, living in a slump. God, we could have just not said that. And then now with just a laptop, I can create something, make money, sustain my life. Link in the comments for more. Like, okay, I get what he's saying, but he is, that is not the way, that is the worst way you deliver that. It, it, it's, yeah, I, I get what he's saying. He's basically trying to say, like, their platform, like, gives anybody the opportunity to make money, young people included, and that the barrier to entry for game development and monetization is the lowest it's ever been, especially on that platform. But you don't deduce that as your fucking example. Dude, because again, I could sit here and make the next like Roblox game and it would be life changing for me. It's like the opportunity is there, but like, dude, that is so bad. That's so bad. Ah, uh, these my favorite childhood show. What is this? Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to save this for a send off, man. F two minutes. Of yep. Yeah, you don't have to say some stuff. Else. Yeah, exactly. It's just like, I mean, it's that's just a really bad way to communicate it. Like it, yeah, exactly. It's really that's like a really bad way to say that. Uh, is it bad that I can't not hear the South Park in you all? Oh, I know the yeah, I know that episode, dude. That's funny. No, I I it took me a second to connect the dots, but I got you do. Uh, Deej instantly seeing Kai ready to fight. You know what? I think this is a perfect beat to end on, man. Caillou being extra. Oh boy, two minutes of extra. Okay. So quit being a bitch about it, dog.
Kai needs some like manual labor put in on him, man. He needs like a Saturday at the farm. Yes, yes. Learn to swing yourself, dog. Be self sufficient. I hope he breaks his arm. He needs grit. God, dude, bail out. Dude, I just... I can't, man. Uh, my kid will... I can't. I can't, dude. Kai is going to be banned in my house. Holy shit. I'm going to think about that later. Oh, fuck. Yo, what up, Jim? I bet uh, I bet you can't wait to have kids eight each. Real talk? Yeah, it's, I think it'll be fun. You know, I have a little buddy. We'll build some Legos and stuff. But, like, I don't know. If my kid is over there quaking on the monkey bars, I'll be like, dog, what are you going to do? Figure it out, man. Come on, dog. What are we doing? Oh. God, he tells me, dog. It's just his voice. And it's nailed. <laughs> Perfect way to nail it. Perfect way to nail it, man. I broke my arm in third grade and it's up. Hey, my sister broke her arm on the monkey bars as well. What up, Poseidon? For somebody who hates Caillou, you do be watching it a lot. I will say, I don't actively seek it. It gets kind of brought, brought to me. Caillou and the giant dump truck ass breaking everything. He is a little clumsy guy, isn't he? A little clumsy guy. Post my favorite Caillou moment too. Oh, great. Hmm. Your favorite moment, yeah? Is it like the end screen? You know what? What a what a what a what a what a what a beautiful way to just wrap it up. Beautiful way. You know what? Let's just like forget the past three minutes of, of content, huh? Let let's let let's in let's Let's think about the, the, the big prog we had on the day, man. We got that new phase, got the warlock to like what forty three and a half. Big things are coming our way. We're not breaking any toys either, huh? Now, we may be over tonight, but I'm going to be back tomorrow at 2. We got some big sod slamage, man. It's going to be a lot of fun. But my friends, in the, uh, in the talk, I'm taking off on y'all first. I hope you guys have a great evening, and I hope to see you tomorrow for some more sod action. We'll see you then. Cheers, guys. All right, let's wind this one on down. Pop on over to you guys in the Twitch chat as well. Bang. Here it is. Here it is. Well, it's a fun time, dude. Hey, we splashed around. We learned some new things. We established some some new hatreds as well. And um, playground activities at the end there, dog. But it was a hell of a time, man. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, enjoying the longer streams, man. It's always fun when these things pop off. So um, I'm privileged and thrilled to be here, man. I, I'm just happy so many of you, you guys are enjoying. But I'm taking all, man. I'm going to get some sleep. I'm going to eat. We're going to do all the things. We'll see you guys back tomorrow at 2 p.m. for some more action, yeah? <laughs> Hey, put it up. Hey, put, add that one in, dog. Add that one in, man. Peace out, Meryl. Take care. Dog. Yo, Step Drag, cheers to you as well, dude. See you later. Verja, have a great evening, man. I hope to see you later. And Alo, P3 hyping Deej, man. See you tomorrow, dog. Engine, GG's to you as well, man. See you later, dude. And thank you for the memeage. And Audrey, I hope you have a buttery smooth Caillou filled night as well. Especially with that beautiful Felgard at your side, man. Congrats again. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hey, you too, Gugas. 
A big cheers to you, man, and thank you for memeing, though. Thank you for memeing. Full Metal, have a great evening, dude. Get some rest, and I hope to see you back for more later. Hey, Mechanoms, see you later, dog. Thanks for enjoying today, man, and I hope to see you tomorrow. And Spooky, hey, cheers to you as well, man. Thanks for memeing. Thank you for vibing, and we'll see you later. All right, guys, I'm taking off. Y'all get slamming into sod. We'll see you guys tomorrow for some more pop-off, dude. And Nero Loatup, hey, I salute to you on the way out, dude. Cheers to you, man. All right, see you guys later. Yo, Jen hitting it as well. Night, Jen. And thank you for the biddies, man. See you guys tomorrow.